ye of little faith. It's one minute late. Maybe he died. Maybe I had to do my physical therapy stretches. Maybe you guys are being ableist. You ever think of that? Yeah. And now you're cancelled on Twitter. I have a parrot now. Um, I did some things off stream. Uh, the only things I have left to do, I have to befriend the raccoons and I have to find these three books and I have to craft one more thing and I don't know what it is. What's the parrot's name? I don't know, it's a parrot. Um, yeah, so I have... These two achievements. That's what I'm doing. Saw someone on Tumblr excited you're reading Pokemon Special. Yeah. I'm gonna add Amy at least. Alright. I believe I've shipped everything new. Yeah, I've shipped all the stuff now. Vixen's traveling home for Easter, so they're not around. Who the heck is this guy? It's Aloha. Hello. Just telling me how excited he was to be involved in less streams. Hopping on stream because no one else is here. This is this is like barely a thing. That's true. We're happy for now. <laughs> this guy's this guy's happy for now. Um So frankly I don't really need to do anything. I'm just gonna be sleep spamming for a little while. Damn. That's so cool. Yeah, this is gonna be a pretty boring Sardu stream because the last stuff I have to do is pretty tedious. That's fair. So feel free to Q and A. Make some discussion, because uh, I hate yeah, silence um, on stream. Everyone who said aloha, aloha, uh, ban yourselves. Oof. Thank you. Do you know, do you know how, how much I get that? How, how often that's said to me? That is, that is, instantly if you say that to me, you're dead to me. <laughs> okay. We both, we both suffer a similar fate. Uh, get hello, a lot of, Jello. Yeah. yeah. It's, hello, Jello is one thing. But if you go, yeah. like, that rhymed in parentheses afterwards. Like, if you draw attention to it, I know. I, that rhymed, dude. Don't you appreciate my, my funny little funny little thing I did? You appreciate my funny little thing I did? Aloha and I were born under similar stars. We have similar flesh names. <laughs> yeah. um, and now we have a similar curse other than that as well. This way. Yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna more... wake up and pet my chickens and go to bed every day. God, I wish that were me IRL. I do wish I had a chicken still. I really yeah, like chickens. You always talked about how much you loved taking care of those chickens. Oh. Alright, chat. Name L Lutch. Gello! <laughs> Wow. Hello, Gallo. I'm not streaming, am I? Um, to you. No, you're not, but I Here. I had the, the, the Cena. voice stream open. Naki. Nippo. Nippo, baby. Snipe. Oh. <laughs> Grillbert. I like Grillbert. How do we feel about Grillbert? I don't know, man. Grillbert's kind of fire. Grillbert. I mean, that's fucked up to name a cow, I'm gonna be real. I'm not gonna kill it. I'll let nature do that. Yeah, boy. Am I the vi- Whoa, thank you for the $20. <laughs> Fake plaster brain avatar with the goldfish. Uh, yes, I, I am Mr. Puzzles in wow. SMG4. That's so cool. 
like solid Metal Gear 4. It's so cool. Feels like calling a pig nugget. What do you mean? You don't really make nuggets out of nuggets pork. Out of the, yeah. You mean a chicken? The fuck you want, chatter? Huh? So the raccoon family requires uh they're they're basically like mini bundles over time. And they refresh their I want something every seven days. So that's mm -hmm. that's what I'm killing time for. But yeah. also I kinda want my chickens to like me, so I'm petting them every day. Yippee. Oh, I gets gets four crumbs for dinner today. Dude, I am hungry. I'm so fucking hungry. You can go get some food. Uh, there's no food. Um, my family went over to a different family stuff for, like, Easter. And I'm praying they, like, bring me back some food. And, like, all day, we have Easter, like, here at my house, like, tomorrow. And they've been, my, my mom's just been, like, cooking all day. And I've been smelling that food. And I'm, like, dying, bro. Where did I get three diamonds from? I'm gonna keep those. Is that like period where it's just like it's too like it's too early to order me something? For, like it was too late for me to order something for lunch, but like I mean it's dinner time by you. Just get dinner. Yeah, I, I but but like what if there's other dinner that I could have that's free? Well then put that in the fridge and eat it tomorrow. That's stupid, Jello. <laughs> How we feeling, raccoons? It's raccoons? Whoa. This new starting update has everything. They're happy for now. What's my favorite holiday? Halloween. Damn. I bet this bitch doesn't even dress up, though. No. I'm giant. I'm already scared. <laughs> giant? <laughs> My, oh, children, children hate my vibes. Children don't gel with I, me at all. I, I don't think it's just children. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Aloha, do you mind, do you mind looking at questions in chat to see if anything interesting pops up or a good question? <sighs> Sure. <laughs> What's Vixen's favorite holiday? It, that's what you want, Jello? You want questions I, like I that? I said if anything good <laughs> popped up, I trusted you not to read shit like that. <laughs> also, mm -hmm. we we felt like demonetizing this stream, so I, uh, I, I said to Amy that we might do some anime guessing games on stream. On uh, this stream? Yeah. Fuck it. Damn. We got we got pizza game next week. Do you want to talk about the stuff that we're doing next month? Uh that people like, can join and watch. There's there's uh pizza game fully voiced, so that's nice. Next Friday. Uh six EST, I believe, if I'm doing my time conversions right. I think that's uh, correct, yeah. We're gonna we're yeah. gonna have me, Vixen, and Aram, and I think Chula. Yeah, and then on the uh, 13th, we changed the day, uh, there's Pokemon Adventure Book Club, uh, Manga Book Club, uh, the Pokemon manga. Uh, I think it's we the changed 12th it to... now, or? No, it, it was the 14th, and we changed it Fuck, to you were so, all right, I gotta change yeah. it back on the, uh, I, you were, you were a little too quick on the trigger, so I was like, well, it, Aloha certainly, certainly didn't change it yet, so I'm sure it's just one day back, and I didn't check. All right, it's yeah. a Saturday. Yeah, yeah, it's Saturday, because 14th is Sunday, because that's my brother's birthday. Do I have a Which scepter? is a week after my birthday, which is the 7th. But yeah, I, I mean, that's it. Like, I, like, I, like you, yeah, that was you're it. saying it like there's like, yeah, yeah. Like, you, you said it, and I was just like, oh, God, like, saying something like that makes, it, makes me think there's like three things going on, and I can only think of like two things. Is the book club for patrons only? Uh, oh no, it's free. This, the first one's free for this one, so anyone can oh. join. It's pretty cool. It's the first seven volumes, which I think is like the first ninety chapters or some shit. I don't know. A new chick, damn. Should have uh, should have kept my eye on things. Yeah, I'm gonna sell these these black chickens. 
because they uh, you can't eat the eggs they produce. That's crazy. And I don't need them anymore. They started the yellow arc and the manga is good so far. I haven't gotten my physical volumes in the mail yet. They should be coming in like during the week or some shit. I imagine, so one of, <laughs> to me, one of the selling points of doing these was that uh, we got to, oh, that's okay, Hang on, sorry. One of the selling points of doing this this thing is that at the end of it, we had this Imgur album. We had a great one for One Piece of yeah. us just chatting about it. And it's like really mm -hmm. long. It's like hundreds and hundreds of screen caps. Shop, yeah. Uh, but we didn't do that for Dunmeshi or Pluto because they were short. Because it was short. And like, I, I, if I was smarter, I would have not bought the physical versions and just read digitally. So but... what I what I think is going to happen this time is we're going to be very normal about red, green, blue, yellow, and then yeah. I think and maybe pretty normal about gold silver crystal even though it's hype as fuck yeah. uh and then i think as the series gets more mixed from there on out as one piece did we're gonna start getting spicy about it yeah. and that's where you can hop off the physical and start joining me in scanlation hell yeah because i i bought up to i bought pretty much up to i bought platinum so i'm like at platinum and then past that i i don't i i probably won't buy more it's gonna be real because uh, uh, buying black and white is a little bit harder because it's like out of print, like bullshit, right? Which is always stressful. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> that's where you go from paying like the normal standard for manga prices to like, I don't know, like $13 for a volume or like you can't find a volume and yeah, it's like $300 um, randomly or some shit. You know? Anyway, normally, speaking of money, normally the book club is at the $5 tier. But yeah. uh, for long runners, the first sitting is free. Any patron yeah. can join to check if they're interested. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back to bed. Let me tell you, it's pretty insane. Yeah, I'm I'm excited because Jill has talked to me about it. Like, God, I think like two years ago. I can't remember. You you told me about it at some point, and I was like, Wow, that's really cool. I should check it out, and I never did. Uh, because. Uh, scans of it or where they're not rough easily yeah they're not easily available which is you know so someone in chat I, I laughed earlier three hundred dollars from a manga hums in the uh, dude i so i've been trying to collect all of air gear and there is an air gear volume which is out of print and it's it sells for like 600 to a thousand dollars like maybe even more uh it's like wow that's like the most like guilty pleasure like purchase i uh other out of print manga i have is uh magi uh which i got for a steal because usually some of these volumes are like 80 dollars. i got the whole entire series for 400 dollars, which is like markets market price pretty much like uh, which, when it should be like a thousand plus to get it i was like okay i found it on like makari know some person from hawaii and i think a lot of people didn't buy it because it was like shipping from hawaii they came in perfectly fine magic's out of print yeah i mean like some of its volumes are accessible some of it's not like that's the thing about out of print is that out of print doesn't mean like the entire series is out of print it's just some volumes were printed less than others yeah when i and so you when i yeah. bought a bunch of physical golden kamui uh because it's like one of my favorite manga series of all time and i wanted to support it officially th that that's how i work is that i like pirate everything and then if stuff is good then i like support it financially after the fact mm -hmm. um so they make more of it and the fucking Volume four of Golden Kamui was what is here? Oh, it's a oh, it's a mushroom. Um, volume four of Golden Kamui was like hyper out of print for a while, and there was one place I found that was like, yeah. yeah, we got it, and it showed up, and it was in German, and I was like, useless, useless to me. Um, yeah. So I I did actually find a random copy in a store, and I bought that. So I've got like all the copies that were available as of a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. I'm a little, I'm a little sad, honestly. I, I think, I think in terms of why shit keeps growing in my path. <laughs> Three yeah, in a yeah. row, bro, for free. I uh, 
trying to tell a boring anecdote. So, um, I, I think for, like, for TV, I think the book club will be funniest because it's Pokemon special. Because it's all yeah. up and down. It, it, will, it will be so fun to talk about. That's for sure. Because It'll be it's fun like, to talk about, yeah. And because, that's... like, insulting it, I don't think anyone cares if we call something shit. And it, when some stuff is good, it'll be like, yeah, this is really fucking fun. You know, it's just going to be a fun time. Right. You're like, like talking about like Dunmeshi or all this stuff like that. It's like always this thing of like, oh, if we say something's bad, someone's going to like take it personally, which is like fine. But also it's just like I if you take us like saying things about Pokemon adventures personally, I'm like, <laughs> who are you? <laughs> Jello. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Yellow sucks ass. I'd, I'd be confused because, like, why would you? <laughs> why would you dislike why the, yellow? the objective best character? She's just a baby. She's one foot tall. <laughs> I love that. Mm. Like, I literally. So maybe I should. I'm probably just gonna reiterate this on the first book club. Did I ever tell you what my journey of reading this manga was originally? Uh, but someone someone gave a five dollar super chat before you get into that. Jello, do you still get to use the Whalmer voice, or has Yam banished it? Also, uh, would you play a dragon just for her? I mean, yeah, she, I would play a dragon if it were a good character. But yeah, I would do dragon related things for Amy. Yeah. Okay. Now you can go. On. I, I I you probably told me, but I just forgot because like. It, we've so, talked about so much shit that I can't keep track of all of it. Yeah. So, originally, you guys, you know how nowadays, like, fandom has taken over the internet? Like, the we the terrible Wikia website that sucks dick? That one? Um, where if yeah. you Google, like, anything about anything, it's at the top of the search results. Because it's, like, easy to make, but it's terrible and it's full of ads. Yeah. Tra a train is passing through Stardew Valley! Uh, Finally, man. thank God. What it, this is the most useless event in the game, by the way. It's like every like it drops like two pieces of coal. Yeah, it drops, <laughs> drops like wood. Um, but anyway, why are you going then? Because I I haven't done it in this file. I don't think. <laughs> mm. A train is passing. A train is going through Lego City. It's a cute train. Slow I think sometimes train. nothing. Can, yeah, it's a freighter. Um, <laughs> you're just a freighter. Cows! I'll free them and Move. they'll be mine. So, it, why is there a passenger car in the middle of this fucking... <gasps> Geodes! Oh, okay. Actually worth it, I guess. I don't know. The geodes no. are going to give you, like, one At gold. this point in the game, no. But, like, at this point, nothing is worth anything to me. But that is technically one of the better Damn. things. Um, Hey, Linus. You want some corn? There you go. Uh... So, the reason I bring that up is because I was like, I bet most people don't know what this is. People, Bulbapedia is still going strong. It's one of the only, like, fan-run wiki things that's still around. But in yeah. addition to that, for Pokemon, there's a website called Cerebi, um, which is mostly yeah. useful for its Pokedex entries. Yeah, it, even though I fucking hate that site as well, but you know. <laughs> um... Cerebi had a manga section that I don't think has been updated since I first discovered it 15 years ago. I, I just checked and it's only up to like black and white <laughs> and it's very, very old timey written. And someone had gone through and not hosted the, the manga on Cerebi, but had written a synopsis of every individual chapter, each on their own page for like 200 chapters. So I read all of them there because I didn't know what piracy was and that I could just easily find it. So I was like basically reading someone talking about the manga for 200 paragraphs. And I was like, this sounds awesome. I actually read all of Dragon Ball that way too, which uh, was the best way I've engaged with any Dragon Ball media, if I'm being honest. Um... And then I ended up reading the the whole thing that was available at the time. And I was like, wow, this is, part of this is great. Um, and then Will, Chula, Aram, and I read through all of actually exactly this assignment up through Yellow out loud for voice acting practice. And it was fun. And I can talk more about that at the actual book club. Is today Spirit's Eve? 
Hello. You married Hello. Ab- Hi, Savvy. You married Abigail? Ew. Did you... I'm calling you... Why? What? Why is that ew? She's, like, inarguably top tier in this game. She eats rocks. She eats... She's the easiest one to raise. She, she doesn't have the most personality. Emily has the most personality of the women. But... Um, young. They're all, they're all ambiguously, like, 19 to 20, 29. I'm, uh, I'm a Leia stand. Really? Stand, rather. Yeah. Why she's like... an artist. Okay. I like, I like that she's, I mean, I, you know, I can't be, help but see a little bit of myself in her because she's, you know, trying to be an artist in a world that's not really. And I just want to fuck myself. That. Yeah. That's of it. all my friends, <laughs> I would be the least surprised if Savvy said that. <laughs> Flair and I had a long oh. conversation about the ethics of clone fucking um, the other <laughs> night. Mm, I don't remember cool. why. I bring Is it... Flair's in the chat, so I don't, I don't know. Here's, here's a question in regards to that. Is it weirder... Is it le- is it more or less weird to fuck a clone that has been gender-bent? It equally weird to me. It makes no difference. <laughs> it makes no difference. I'm bisexual. It's still me. <laughs> so FMA meme words. Yeah. God. Yeah, but now I'm excited for the book club shit. It'll be it'll be pretty fun. Um, Pokemon yeah. manga, it's a really fun piece of Pokemon media to have consumed and be like, it's a very fun facty manga because like Pokemon comes up in pretty casual nerd conversation often, and it's, it's, it's yeah. I read the Pokemon. No, manga. I meant I'm like it's fun. Cool... It's fun to <laughs> yeah. be talking about like a type of Pokemon be some or something and be like. Oh, like we like Crobat or Ekans or something comes up in a conversation. I was like, oh yeah, I read the Pokemon manga, and in that it does this, and then people go, what the fuck is happening in the Pokemon manga? And you're like, yeah, and it's funny because all the people from when Pokemon was incepted and it became a thing, like all the people from that era, are like, this is the best Pokemon thing. They're, like the guy who made Pokemon was like. Yeah, this is what I was imagining it to be when we first made the games. And, like, the at the time director was like, this is probably the single most interesting piece of Pokemon media. But, like, because it's interesting, it's also the least universally commercially viable. Oops. So, you know how it goes. It's also... God, it's hard to find a full copy of. Legally. Yeah. It's hard to pirate. Uh... Yeah, like, uh, for the most part, from what I've seen, is, is you can buy it physically decently easy unless it's black and white. <laughs> and then, then it's like, then it's like black and white is when the everything is fucked. Uh, oh. Because they, they released box sets of it, which I think might be just reprints. That's no, a, I don't know. That's a very interesting super chat. Thank you for $20. With the wikis, if you change the fandom URL to anti-fandom, it removes ads and cleans up the formatting. That Yo, that sounds awesome. Poggers. I'm gonna try that right now. Yeah, but uh, um, big shout outs to any independently run video game wiki that's made it through the fandom apocalypse. Uh, Bulbapedia, yeah. the Stardew wiki is really, really good. Um, Zelda Universe, I think, has one. There is an Elder Scrolls Wikia. There's two. It's very easy to find the fandom one. There's another Elder Scrolls Wikia that's better. Just did it to the Toontown Wiki and it works. Hell yeah. Uh, oh, um, if you give Junimo's raisins, they eat them and go twice as fast at collecting that's crops. That's crazy. I, like, it's kind of useless information, but... Fun fact, uh, that also works on me. <laughs> Those are the Aloha snacks. <laughs> oh, crazy. Yo, that's... Dude, that's I... so pog. That's so fucking cool. Thanks for the tip, Super Chatter. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about the raisins. Uh, like, uh... I, I, I don't mind raisin cookies. You know, I think raisin cookies are not bad. I like them. I, I just hate it when I think I'm biting into a chocolate chip cookie and then I get raisin. That's when I hate it. But yeah. 
seasons are fine. Yeah. Do I wait around for Halloween? Chad, are you interested in seeing the Halloween event, or can I skip it? Someone asks, why does he keep talking to the raccoons? I'm trying to uh, get one of the last two achievements in the game. Wow. There's two achievements I'm interested in. I need to read all the books, which are newly added, and I need to get the raccoon family completely satisfied. So, when the bookseller's here, blah, blah, blah. I want to see Leo's Halloween costume. Okay. Okay. Well, I have to kill an hour. He's trying to get the raccoons to fuck more, obviously. Look, the raccoons, like, we're so hungry. Please. We need, we need mushrooms and berries. And I give them, and he's like, yeah. Now I can start a family. And I was like, I, well, I didn't, hang on. <laughs> I, this wasn't part of the deal. I don't want to be party <laughs> to this. Yeah, isn't Halloween at 10 p.m.? Yeah, I'll have to sit here for a while. And there's not really a way to speed up time. I don't think the well-read achievement counts power. No, it's... The well-read achievement is these books. It's these ones. And I don't... Yeah. I don't know what these are. Or where to get them. Uh, yeah. Parents just called me. They they are not bringing back food, so they're picking me something up on the way home. That's good. That is fine. Yeah. Getting some Arby's. Uh, someone asks Jello, what's your favorite thing about bubble water? Uh, do you like the bubbles or the water more? Tell me. The bubbles. I like that it's refreshing. It feels very refreshing to get home when it's hot out and have like a big thing of bubble water. Oh, this is actually a good question that I feel like you would have a lot of opinions on. Uh, Jello, what's your favorite tourist trap? Um, oh, there's a thing in front of the Junimo hut. I don't know if I like any tourist traps. Uh... Damn, I, I felt like that would, like... Because no. I know you were looking up things about, like, uh, that route. Yeah, yeah. I've, yeah. Like, I've been on Route 66, and, like, I went to a kitschy yeah. cowboy restaurant with Aram. Um, yeah. No, it's, that's just that's just not a thing I happen to have a lot of opinions about. Um, yeah. I'm not a traveler, is the thing, like... I, and I, I was, like, sure of that. Like, I knew that a little bit, but then I became 100% sure of it when I went to the Redwood Forest for the first time. And I was like, this is unspeakably gorgeous. This is the loveliest place I've ever been to. And then 30 mm -hmm. minutes later, I was like, well, I've absorbed it. And I was like, damn, if I can't be engaged by this for even an hour... Like, why bother seeing things? <laughs> <laughs> Aloha, do you actually wear those stylish sunglasses in real life? Yeah, I have a disability that makes uh, my eyes very uh, weak to sunlight. Uh, I'm very photosensitive, so I wear sunglasses a lot of times. Yeah, Aloha, has, just just be too some, Aloha yeah. has some kind of albinism. It's ocular albinism, yeah. I, I didn't I've... know that was a thing. That's wild. Yep. Yeah. It's not cool at all. I don't have red eyes or anything. I just have weak pigmenta pigmentation in my eyes, which makes uh, light get in easier, which makes uh, makes it where I have to fucking squint constantly unless I have sunglasses on. So you were... So, for yeah. better or for worse, you were literally the, like, stereotypical cool kid in the back of the classroom with sunglasses on. Yeah. Did you, did you wear sunglasses brand. as a kid? Uh, so, uh, I didn't find out about it until, like, God, I want to say fourth or fifth grade. I've, I've always, like, uh, it, it was this kind of thing where it's just, like, I hated, always hated fireworks. I always hated, like, I would always squint, like, crazy outside and everything like that. Ocular albinism, yeah, that's for this. And so, it was this thing of, like, my dad was just like, you're just a pussy. <laughs> and so it was never, oh, like, right. a medical thing for a while until I was just like, yeah, I went to the eye doctor. 
and they were like, yeah, this is a thing. And I go, oh, and then, and then it's just like, okay. And then I just started wearing sunglasses pretty much. And then I was like, wow, it's crazy. <laughs> Typical right, dads. Wild. Yeah. Yep. It's very hard to know as a child when you have a condition that's not mm -hmm. something that's ab like that's that's something abnormal because how the fuck would yeah. you know what you're like I remember yeah because it's just your life you know <laughs> yeah I was casually this must have been like six years ago I was casually on a stream where I was talking about Jay and Plaster was there so I don't know when this was but I was uh, Jay has really bad eye visual problem. snow yeah his jay yeah. has like terrible visual snow and yeah. like not even the kind of okay floaters and staticky stuff like he's got the he's got the eye burn after image where like if he looks mm -hmm. at trees on the horizon and then looks in a different direction he just sees them burned into his eyes for a little while um against yeah. the sky it's all it's no good and i mentioned how visual snow works and my sister was in earshot and she was like, what the fuck do you mean? What do you mean that's not normal? You don't have that? And I was like, no, do you have visual snow? And she's like, what? What? I thought that was all the time. And I was like, did yeah. you never question how like paintings don't contain that? She was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But yeah, uh, shit's wild. Uh, I just I just turn the glasses into a brand because it's the easiest way to like just I don't know own it. What's visual uh, snow? You there's a lot of different versions of it. The lazy way to explain it is yeah. just you see static all the time, flickering in and out of your vision. And um, do you ever have those things where this is like actually a thing? Well, let's see how long it takes. Let's see how long it takes me to get over there. <laughs> Um, hang on. This is gonna piss me off if I don't turn sound effects off. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Perfect. So, um, sometimes you might have noticed like little things floating at the edge of your vision, and then you try to look at it and it disappears. Mm -hmm. And it's like sometimes there's literally just a little bacteria or a little thing on your eye, and th that's how it be. Um, but with visual snow, those are like problems and they're all the time and they're everywhere no the little the little the little floaters are kind of normal like they happen yeah. sometimes but if you have them yeah everyone gets some all the time that's not normal that's weird hmm. it's it's the visual equivalent of tinnitus if if you want to put it that way oh axio i saw you on some other video i saw you made a comment and i i dm vixen and was like Hey, that's the guy who put his whole ass out for Lucario on one of our streams. <laughs> she was like, the oh, man, God. the myth, the legend. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Really just going to expose them like that? Usually floaters are mucus bubbles inside your eyes. Yeah. Yup, that's me. Mm -hmm. Anyone ever have that thing where you're just chilling and suddenly you get a spike of shock throughout the part of your back for a split second and it's just normal afterwards? Uh, I don't know how true this is, but I did once hear, that's your body checking to see if you're not dead. Because you've been sitting still for so long that it sends an electric shock to see if you respond. And it's like, oh, cool. We're not dead. Maybe stand up a little bit more, chatter. Maybe, maybe move around a bit. I, I know that um, if you are like looking at the same thing for too long, or if you're kind of just not really engaging your your eyes or your visuals enough uh your eyes will do that little thing where they just like do a really rapid fire shimmy back and forth for half a second um i know that that's a similar thing of just like hey we need to check that we could st we need to like make sure that things are still working and i'm having a i'm having a hard time keeping your eyes focused so we're just gonna give them a little shake you know <laughs> Does anyone else have blurry vision when standing up? Chatter, do you mean to say that when you're sitting down, you don't have blurry vision? Uh, if you, do you mean that if when standing you... up gives you blurry vision, I believe that means your your heart is too weak to be pumping. It doesn't pump enough blood to the to the upper or part you have of your some, body. Or you have some kind of deficiency in the blood in regards to, uh, you know, 
blood supply. Might want to take some but, iron but, pills. Yeah, but also, no, if, uh, if, if standing up causes your vision to go blurry, that's that's a deficiency. But also, uh, see a doctor about it, not us. Yeah, we yeah. are. No, we aren't, we aren't doctors. <laughs> can you, I, can you un unfocus your eyes? I can look can at something. If I'm, like, looking at my computer and I look at the edge of my monitor and then, like, I can move my eyes to the what's behind them and keep that unfocused and just be like, I'll, I won't focus that. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't like fucking with my eyes that much because uh, some people with uh, ocular blindism have like eye shakes constantly, and I'm like, if I fuck with my eyes too much, I might, it might, it might get stuck that way. So I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not fucking with shit too much. I, when I get older, I'll have to deal with that shit probably. But like for now, I'm just like, I'm good. I can shake mm -hmm. my eyes. I can shake I, my uh, eyes too, but uh, I don't, don't want to. No, I, I can also unfocus at will, but I did, I, I have heard uh, in some places, obviously not a doctor, but I've heard if you can unfocus your eyes at will, don't try and do it too often, because it does genuinely yeah. fuck with your ability to focus <laughs> your eyes. Yeah. Whoa, I can unfocus my eyes on command, I can look over the top of my glasses and see things out of focus. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's powerful. Here, let me make Bo a mod. So that I, mostly so I can see Bo's messages more easily and read them because they're more yeah. important. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me, God. If Bo Molly, only says funny shit. If Molly was a kudos manager in Toontown, how would her fight work? I don't know. Oh uh, you couldn't use you couldn't use sound gags. Yeah, but, that's crazy. Oh damn, hell yeah. Yeah. The only reason I would ever want subscriptions on this channel is just so people would be different colors than gray. TBH. I hate looking at like just gray names. It's so boring. At least like Twitch, everyone has like different colors by default that they can set. The one cool thing about YouTube is the fact that you can <laughs> set your sub price Oh, pitiful wretch. Shut the fuck up, Elliot. Oh, pitiful wretch. In what fetid grotto lies your kingdom? Bro, write your book. I accept the mod hood and it shunted me back to the beginning of the stream. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, all the, all the festivals have been a little bit remixed. Like... The um, yeah. mummy shit used to be top right instead. M mummy? I should make a plate of food for my husband. He's been manning the shop all night. Pierre, fucking hang out with your wife. My wife. Freak. This looks like something Abigail would like because it's purple. I've heard it's larger this year. Okay, did they change the layout? That'd be fun. I'm getting real sharp clicks of audio every now and then on the stream. Not like the YouTube stream, the Discord stream, by the way. Yeah, Discord streams do that sometimes. Someone did a run in Stardew was a boycott here. Hmm. That would be pretty hard since you source your seeds from him. Oh yeah, the layout's a little different. Whoa. And there's kids in here now. Well, it's nice to see Shane being nice for five seconds. Hey freaks. Hey freaks and geeks. Freaks and geeks. Sling Raider, hey, dollars. Freaks. Saw your most recent post on Twitter, and I can't wait for it to come out. What the fuck? What the fuck you post on Twitter, Jello? Uh, an ISAT preview. 
Uh, yeah. Hello. Is that? It's. Is, is that? It's it's Sir King. Uh, Sir King. <laughs> Ten dollars for Toon Gamer. Oh, hey Jello, remember that uh, that Green Rain? If you encounter it uh, first year, that the dialogue of everyone is very different and depressing. Like they think they're all gonna die, almost creepy pasta like with real, <laughs> real blood Started. eyes. Yeah, everyone. I saw a video of someone like overreacting to it because I wanted to see what the dialogue was. And he was also like, "What? It's like, it's it's like creepy pasta." And I'm like, "It? No, it's in line with how atonal Stardew is, where you'll be like, I love chickens. When, when I'm happy, I say I love chickens. When Shane Sadie says." I'm really gonna do it this time. <laughs> this also, is hello, Bo. This is my Hi. spot. This is my spot. Hey, Sebastian. They built the maze around me. I live here. That bird really wants you. That's my. They added these things now where you can have like a little accessory. Huh. Little bird. The bird That's gets so cool. me money. Its name is Aloha. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> I think I heard a girl screaming. She needs my help. I'm a football. Someone asked when the next plastic duck stream would be. Didn't you guys beat it? You found the secret bunker there's, of There's of Easter DLC eggs. maps and DLC ducks that I can get. So I can do it again, but I'm not gonna do it like anytime Am soon. I Sam? <laughs> oh, he's got an evil black background. Am I Sam? <laughs> Uh, Ain't that Sam, I am. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sam is cool now. No, that wasn't. It was. It's the witch. Oh, Leo got all the way in the maze. It's nice. Aww. I really like Leo. Actually, Leo is one of my favorite Stardew characters. I like he. Expressed a. Go on. Finish it up. He adds the amount of like new character in the late game energy that I wanted. Uh, Kent to add. Am I Sam? Am I Sam? Even he himself expresses a healthy degree of skepticism. <laughs> Introspection is what we should all strive for. Mm. That is a much less bullshit victory condition than the old maze, actually. Yeah. Oh, surprise ticket. Yo! Alright. Oh, I thought it was a ravioli. Oh, that's cool. A convenient way to... Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, that's a convenient way to do it. I saw that they changed up Halloween so you get a prize ticket instead of a gold pumpkin every other year. So it's like, even years you get this, odd years you get the other one. Good. So Good. What's, what's the best abridged series? Hamtaro abridged. Why do you say that? It, it's, it's true. It's not just because I made it. I'm better than everyone else. <laughs> Damn. That's deep. I don't know why, Aloha, but the way that you said, why do you say that, reminded me of... <laughs> what did he mean by this? <laughs> what do you mean by this? Yeah. Uh, I've watched three episodes of season two of Jujutsu Kaisen today. <laughs> you should wait, Amy's gonna I, show up. I, no, I'm leaving. As soon as that happens, I'm going, I, I'm leaving. I, I, I was actually sending Yam a few messages Is there, <laughs> while I was watching. Has let, discourse been occurring? Let people unenjoy things, Aloha. Oh my god, like, <laughs> here's my thing. Yeah. Is people complain about how annoying the stands for JJK are? completely fair but if you're gonna complain about it you become equally annoying as them okay <laughs> it's like there's no winning here it, i on one side i have people vehemently loving it which is annoying and on the other side i have people vehemently hating it i'm losing either way <laughs> so aloha am i to understand that you are one of the valid jjk fans who's just like it fun and that's the entirety of your engagement with it 
that's it. I, I don't I don't extremely love it. I don't extremely hate it. Okay, I'm you're, just, valid. Like, yeah, <laughs> you're valid. You're valid. It, but I have to walk around, and then it's just like people go like, "Oh, you, you, you like JJK? You fucking every you? Why do you like that piece of trash?" And I'm like, "Bro, I'm just trying to live my life. I am a fence sitter in this entire situation, in, and I'm in, just, I'm just." In yeah. fairness, let alone the the two weeks Amy and I were in Los Angeles. Oh yeah, winter outfits now. Check out my hot wife and her big dumb sweater. Love it. Um. Does Boom Moomo? This is Goku. Uh, does Boom Moomo get a winter outfit? I guess that's up to me. I can give. Oh, them your a baby is hat. like a, a livestock. You talk to it once a day, and it likes you more. Yes, even though they're six <laughs> years old now. Wow, that's the saddest bed space I've ever seen. They're six years old, and the only clothes they have are onesies. Would you like to come into my cavernous, unfurnished bedroom? I I don't like that you can have kids in this game. In a game where you're meant to be able to play it forever, I don't like that nobody ages. I think it's weird. Yeah, no, I'm not a fan of that. But, um, uh, you were saying? Yeah, so in the two weeks that Amy and I were in LA together alone, four separate conversations were people going like, oh, do you like this anime? Like we'd be hanging out with people. A lot of them were voice actors. And we'd be like, what are you into? Blah, blah, blah. And they'd be like, oh, have you checked out these things and blah, blah, blah. And eventually every one of them went, you gotta watch JJK. It's the best. And like, yeah. that yeah. is obnoxious. Look, yeah. here's, here's, here's the thing. There's always an anime every fucking season that's like that. You know what it is right now? Solo leveling. Fuck solo leveling. That's, now that's fucking <laughs> garbage, okay? That is at that... the top of uh, the piracy website we used during our anime opening project. It was always number one for some reason. And then Mashal was like number three the day after the opening came out. And then it like slowly <laughs> declined after people checked it out and were like, oh, never mind. <laughs> Just funny. Yeah, no, the, the thing with JJK, right? Like, I, okay, so certified hater here. Uh, <laughs> Use my card. I, I am a certified hater, but here's the thing, right? There is a big difference between being the asshole who's like, Oh, you like JJK? It's so trash! And being like, it sucks? People who think it's an example of good writing are uh, not correct. And here are the reasons why. And ba -da, ba -da, uh, ba -da. I don't like it. And like, there's a, there's a, what I'm saying is there's a big difference between being like, a normal, regular fucking human being about disliking something and being, uh, or even hating something and, and being, being a, a, uh... yeah, being one of those guys. Don't, don't be that guy. You can be a hater, just don't be that guy. If somebody comes to you and says, I just like JJK because it's a funny thing that it's just fun, it's action, and I like to watch it and I think it's enjoyable, then like, don't fucking get weird about it they that that's them engaging it in the way that it fucking should be considering it's like a fucking five out of ten show at best if Here, people come to you and say it's good writing that's when you start fucking talking to them about it let's um let's out one one to five rank everyone's new winter outfits got any hogs on that farm two it's just a vest also it's pam i always got hogs on me bro oh looks like these hogs are hanging out there <laughs> I don't know. Is that, what, is that what we call hands? No, the hands. Yeah, are hands, Aaron, what are you quoting? I don't know. Maybe. It, it, does he does he need to be quoting anything? Does Can't he know? Be original anymore? <laughs> oh, oh. Babushka. She's a little Russian grandmother. Four. I'm afraid. She's a baba. Too old. I can smell that man. You're just in a hoodie. Th th complete neutrality. Tres leches. Cuatro leches. And esta economia. Look like you're going fishing. Three. This fucking. Did you see Harvey? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> One. Try harder. <laughs> Looks exactly the same as his normal outfit. Oh, her hair is Aww. down! Five. Oh, Marnie. Why does she look so upset? 
Because she's dating Mayor Lewis. <laughs> yeah. I mean, all right. You know, honestly, four. It looks good in it a looks, blue suit. It looks really shiny. It looks like I'm wearing a coat made of, like, this kind of shiny leather that you'd see Elvis Presley in. That is the voice I give to Harvey. <laughs> That's the voice you're required to have when you have that mustache and those glasses. Friendship 101. I need this. Oh, this is just an experience book. Oh, is Unless... that just a copy of How to Win Friends? Oh, no, this is a new people? power. Okay, good. That's, that is Hooray! one of the ones I was looking for. Great. They they messed up my food order, but gave me more food than I ordered, so it's the, one of the good times that happens. All right, all right, all right. Well, did they give you the correct food and just additional food, or did they give you more? Yeah, they, but they gave me the correct food, okay. uh, a drink for free that I didn't order, and then an extra thing of fries. Nice. And it's the Arby's curly fries, so... You, you can't make me like Elliot by pretending he's wearing a scarf when he wraps a big liquid, uh, liquor, uh, Twizzler's pollen peel around himself. <laughs> this is this is the tongue things from Half-Life that get people. <laughs> Help me, Gordon! Help me, Gordon. It's I'm... the start of my Greninja cosplay, you see. Oz says, I'm drinking wine from a sugar jar. Hummingbird coded. Oh, Aram is here. I thought I caught the savvy sounds like Aram disease. Mm. <laughs> you know, you talk about how bad Pierre is. Can we talk about how bad Lewis is? He sucks so bad. I, I dislike, I dislike Lewis. He's nice to you, but he's so like performative like i care so much about this town but all he cares is that it's perceived well not that it's actually doing well or people are happy um hang on jelly you don't want to see what clint's winter outfit is. <laughs> <laughs> no uh mara will be wearing the wrong thing here's the savvy girl apparently she looks fine mm-hmm Clint's wearing nothing but the rain. It's his winter outfit because we're trying to get him to freeze to death. Honestly, it wouldn't make sense for Clint to wear a winter outfit indoors anyways because he works at a fucking forge. This is cute. Yeah. Be careful an icicle doesn't fall on your head. I have seen Haley's. Haley, fun mm -hmm. six. Six out of five. <laughs> hmm. I do you, I, I went for Haley when I played this game. Oh, I wish it were warmer. I thought she said, I wish I were a warrior here in Stardew Valley. <laughs> Haley all the Thank time God. be saying shit like that. Um, Haley is the second most valid pick in Stardew Valley after Abigail because she actually has like a character arc and your relationship with her makes her a better person which that's cool. It's probably because the only person she's been able to hang out with is fucking Alex. And you talk to him and he's like, football. Can you fuck the wizard? No, not that you'd want to. The wizard sucks too. Most people in this town blow. Realistic small town experience. That's true, yeah. The problem with being close to your community is that most people suck, <laughs> so. Have you ever lived in a small town, Jello? Didn't you like grow up in Chicago and then, you know, Dallas, LA? I went to school in downstate Illinois. Ah. I didn't know. Oh, so your college was like small town adjoined? Yeah. I mean, they're all like, it's, it's America. If you drive one hour out into the sticks, you'll find a bunch of rundown meth towns. My opinion is Abigail, Haley, Leah, Maru, Emily, Penny. I don't like Emily, but I would move Emily at least above Maru. Maru, I'm convinced the dev forgot she existed. Hey, meth is great. Hmm. You got anything for me? But damn, but damn, but damn. Nope. The internet has ruined so many like interactions for me due to the fact of like 
there's such a wide pool of people you can talk to that you can find people that are into exactly what you're into yeah but in like middle school and everything like that you just hang out with people because they're like at least like two percent adjacent to what you like hmm or at least in america yeah i mean i imagine it's like that everywhere yeah i uh in middle school i had a bunch of friends we all played video games but i had an xbox 360 and they had a P uh, playstation 3 <laughs> so i was never able to play with them online oh i thought you were going to say so between us we could do anything <laughs> no <laughs> I always hated having friends over here because it's like, like, like three hours in. Friends. I mean, like three hours in, I would get tired of them, you know, and I'd want them to go home. Introvert. And energy. then sometimes my my mom would come in and go like, I "Guess who can stay another night?" And I'd go like, oh. "Another night." Yeah. Oh no, you can't. No, oh my god, I would be so angry if my parent came in and was like, "Surprise." That's damn, it. They didn't tell friends. me what the surprise was. <laughs> damn. That's crazy. When you say surprise to someone, then don't elaborate, and then they have to kind of go room by room in the house doing a before and after picture to try and spot the difference. And I stare at them nonstop and, like, pivot towards them like Toad in Luigi's Mansion, <laughs> waiting for them to find it. Oh, good. <laughs> Okay, now I need- We noticed you have eggs you need for a quest. What if we took them instead? That's fine. I do Gus's all the time because it's easy. It's the easiest way to get tickets. Mm. $5 super chat. Emily was my first choice when I played this game for the first time, but I gotta say she'd heal people with crystals. Emily does have personality. She is a full character, which makes her better than Penny, Leah, and um, Maru. But, like, I do, like, too many red flags from her. Like, she Gross. definitely believes in astrology for real. Uh, she Is Emily Blue Hair Library Girl? I mean, she does nothing to do with the library, but yeah, she's I thought she hair. didn't she, like, teach the kids at the library or something? That's, That's Penny. Penny. Oh, okay, okay. You're fusing Penny into another character because your brain is trying to throw something away to make room for more important information. <laughs> hey, Aaron. Uh, I'm curious, when you're, if you're, uh, when it comes to magic, what would you say is, like, the point at which you transition from 20 to 22 mana versus 24 mana, in terms of, like, top of your curve? What? Oh. Um. I don't like to run less than 24 lands unless my curve tops oh, out. Oh, Okay. Ma magic yeah. gathering. Sorry, Jello. <laughs> so I, I know it's just called magic in short, but without transitioning into that topic yeah, explicitly, yeah. it's just like, so no, when I'm you're doing gonna... magic, when you're necromancing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, no, that's what we're talking about. I'm, I'm talking to Aram about our latest uh, spells we've been, uh, we've yeah. been casting, you know? So I'll do less than 24 lands generally only if my curve tops out around four with at most a few things at five uh that'll then i'll maybe re consider running like 22. 20 is basically the least i'll run virtually ever and only if i have absolutely nothing that costs more than four my mm. curve also tops out a little past four mm. <sighs> If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's natural. <laughs> Aram and Savvy are quite high on my list of possible wizards, though. Of course, Austin being at the top. Oh, Austin yeah. is our friend most likely to have learned magic. Glass is our friend most likely to just have magic be a in a supernatural born. creature of some kind. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Austin, I think, might be the only one... Uh, I know who I'd be more surprised if he conclusively proved he was not any sort of wizard. Austin is the only person I've ever met who, if he told me about an herbal remedy, I would believe him because he's like also really skeptical and very mm. aware of bullshit. So he's like, oh, this is all bullshit. This one works though. Here you go. <laughs> I would believe.
I love the Very way the music surreal. in Stardew. Someone on Twitter posted a photo of themselves at uh, Pike's Market in uh, Seattle. Uh, very strange to see a photograph taken that's like, this is a big landmark that's like somewhere I used to live but no longer do. Like, oh, that is that is a real place. And it still exists, apparently. But I'm not there. Strange. <laughs> The uh, solipsist era. I'm just like, why is that still there? I'm not why thinking does that about still it. Exist if I'm no longer there to witness it. Yeah, do, I don't understand what Oz is right there. Jello was in response to. Um, Pro I'll... probably like most likely to be a supernatural creature or something. Okay. No, Oz is Oz is another tabletop race. Oz is like a gnome or something. <laughs> Which... Oz, I think, is more like. Dark Souls NPC race. Mm -hmm. I was just talking the other day about it. How his, uh, his main archetype that most of his TTRPG characters fit into is fucked up little guy. Demi human. But Jello, you're friends with Mo and maybe Tiana Camacho. I I'm acquainted with Tiana. I. I don't I don't like using the term friend unless I've hung out with someone like more than five times or at least semi-regular, because I feel like it implies more than is actually there. Tiana's nice. We've worked together, right? but like I don't know her that well. Tiana is a non-ironic, actual practicing like Tumblr witch. So yes, technically That's there is that. Um I don't know. Mo Mo's energy isn't magical in nature. Mo is like I mean this in the kindest way. Mo is like the old hag that lives at the edge of the woods in a fairy tale that everyone thinks is magic, but she just knows things. <laughs> oh, uh speaking of magical creatures, I had the pleasure of witnessing the Dragon's Dogma 2 Sphinx the other night. And oh boy, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm very I'm a I'm very into that Sphinx. That's a good Sphinx. Highly recommend any monster fuckers look it up. Is that that green lady you were posting? Green lady? I don't know. Some lady. And someone was like, are you no. talking about fucking this creature? And you were like, yeah. I mean, then yes. But it it's blue. Look, guys. I've got an orange <laughs> filter on my computer 24-7. Alright? You're being ableist. <laughs> it's like teal anyways. Yeah, that's fair. Turn on your telepathic link. Oz, it, I've had it on for two years. It's not a telepathic link. You just don't know a thing about me. <laughs> I, I literally can't turn it off. It hurts my eyes so much to have blue computer light. Also, I'm using, I think I have the same main monitor Aram does and its lowest brightness setting is still really bright. <laughs> So my right monitor has like some sort of like anti-glare filter on it, uh, which sucks because uh, it creates like dark patches whenever I look at it through my sunglasses. Mm. It's fucking it's awful. Savvy, blue tree lady from Mystery Skulls, yes or no? Yes, but it's a soft yes. I don't like that design at all. It's too much going on. Yeah, no, that's why it's a soft yes for me. It's It's got the right energy, it's got the right idea, it's just a little too much. Oh. I did it. But well, I congratulations! But I still have books to find. But that Thank means that so I've crafted everything. playing my game. I still have books to find, so... I also have uh, Flux on my computer, though, but I've got it set so that it, uh, it's off during the day, and when uh, the sun sets, it gets 
slowly more and more orange. Yeah, so. you know, I told it to do that, and Windows is just like, nah. I don't know, I love it when our graphic uh, drivers don't work. So it's either on all the time or off all the time, and those are the only options. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> when Sammy's monitor is blue, but his bitch of a wife jellos is orange. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'll allow it. Hey, man. All right, cool. That guy sells um, things that can just cheat your way to perfection, but I got it there naturally, so. Yeah, I'm kind of cool like that. Uh... <laughs> I can't say any of my accomplishments without Aloha thinking I'm bragging. And, like, I am, but leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. Jello, yeah, why is it called oven when the cold food of the in and the hot food of out? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. Ow. All right, is this nice enough to let me put in any mushroom or nope? Ugh. Oh. Right. So okay, I have that to be dried mushrooms, which means they have to be five of the same type, which sucks. Concerned <laughs> ape. My apes. Those Man, apes should let me be tell you, concerned. I'm, I'm. I am glad that NFTs are dead and gone. Because my enjoyment of apes was frequently been yeah, was yeah. Frequently compared <laughs> no, to I, I get you, I get you, I hundred percent get you. Oh yeah, you guys are monkey people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sure asked for Savvy's like I was like I need something to represent you thirsting over Odile, so I need something to animate. Give me a, a thing to represent for you, and he goes okay and hands me his current icon, which I was under the impression was just a drawing of him. It is more than that. It is. <laughs> it, it, it is. It. It's my ape Sona as a clown. What's there? What's hard to understand? Right, what, what the fuck's wrong with you, Jello? You can't just fucking sit. What? You got a problem with it? It's me as an ape and a clown. It's not hard to understand. Seva, you are an ape. Yeah. God. Part of me really wants to play Ape Escape on this channel. You could. I could. I know. I can do whatever I want. Maybe not whatever. But. Are you gonna Are you gonna do it where you play it with the sound off, so you have no idea what Ape Escape sounds like? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, deep cut. Fuck you. <laughs> nice reference. Nice reference to my life. Nice remembering <laughs> things you've. I told you. We Just, should uh, start. We should start going. <laughs> Whenever we refer to a joke a friend made, we should go, oh yeah, is that a Jello reference? Is that a <laughs> oh, that would make Yo, me... Sick. That would make me so mad. I'm not even gonna yeah, joke. Yeah, like, no, same, <laughs> Make same. me so angry. Look, dude. I'm sorry, I couldn't identify the music. I was too busy catching apes <laughs> to really realize that there was other things around me. Ape Escape 3 has this, uh... Basically, whenever you catch a monkey, it's tied to like a date on a ca on a calendar, and so you can like uh, <laughs> look up your birthday, and it'll have like horos hor horoscopes related to the monkeys you catch. Uh, and I I 100 percented uh, Ape Escape three on my other computer, and I was gonna do a thing where I told Twitter to give me their birthdays, and I would give them their their Ape Escape designed monkeys. Uh, but I just never got around to it, so I have to like 100% of the game again to get all the monkeys, and then I can do that. I'm trapped. I know the raccoon is saying Bobo. Every time I see it here, I read it as babe. I just think it's saying thanks, babe. I, I kind of like that thanks, better. Babe. <laughs> thanks, babe. Like, it's a very strong <laughs> character choice for a random raccoon. Yeah. Uh, someone asked the question, what's the difference between monster fucker and furries? Well, furries are not monstrous in nature. I feel like furries are just more animals. closer to the... 
They're yeah. anthropomorphic animals. Also, like, monster furry yeah. fuckers want to fuck monsters. Yeah. Furry, well, like, furry extends to any anthropomorphized animal creature. Like, furry yeah. itself kind of has a standardized look in pop culture. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They got that. They yeah, got that specific anime eye dog they're not, snout look. They're not monstrous. You know, that's the like. And and here's here's the thing as well, right? You yeah. can have a furry that is a monster that is still just a furry. Like yeah. you can get chimera furries, and it's like mm -hmm. that doesn't it doesn't count as a monster because they are designed in a specific way. They have the anthro furry body and look to them. If it's yeah. just a straight chimera and someone's like, I want to fuck that chimera, monster fucker. Yeah. What's your opinion, Serum? on whether they are the same or different? I don't know, I was just trying to put you on the spot or some shit. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I like I like grilled cheese. That's pretty cool. That's an opinion. Aaron wants to fuck grilled cheese. You, when are you, you bringing him back? When are you bringing back the mac and cheese for you? That's true, I liked that. Yeah. Now you You're know in a new what area it, now. Now you know you what it's like to be a content creator, where it's like, why aren't you doing more of that? <laughs> you did that when you lived in seattle i believe and now you're yes. not in there anymore so you have more op different probably options for mac and cheese see the thing is i still shop at kroger though uh, uh so that's, they still pretty that's much because you're a smart same, shopper they pretty much still have the same brands uh that being said there's probably other stuff i could do in the mac and cheese space yes it's true yeah you can probably order special mac and cheese off online i can try right. mac and cheese from restaurants there's i didn't yeah. try the kind that you have to cook on the stove i was only doing or, mm -hmm. or rather i didn't try the ones that like you have to put in milk Bake. and powder i did the ones oh, that yeah. were like that were um just cook mm -hmm. the pasta and then squirt goo on it Look. so like there there are other kinds i could do it's true. i so real, i just feel real like... quick i just want to point out i love this if you want uh -huh. to play a cruel joke on my dad give him tortilla he might not forgive you. Though. <laughs> I love the idea of hating specifically just tortillas in any food that uses tortillas is really funny to me. That, that feels racially motivated. Go on. I Do I need to elaborate? Yeah. Look. <laughs> why would you Here hate? Sounds why racist. would you? Why would? Yeah. Why would you hate tortillas? It's just bread, bro. It's just like tortillas plain. killed my grandma, okay? He's just, like, <laughs> he's my just grandma. like, listen, I think two L's together <laughs> should sound like two Sounds L's. Sounds like tortilla. <laughs> my, no. my gut, I, I can't land this joke, so it's not going to be funny, but like my gut imagined a landing version of, I think two L's, listen, two L's together, it's Adam and Eve, <laughs> not L. <Elle. laughs> Do you see, you see the bones of a joke that could yeah. be yeah, funny? I, I yeah, I see where you were trying to go. Yeah. You know, I went to go fact check that, and no, yeah, there are two characters that hate tortillas, and they are Pierre and Kent. <laughs> Why? Oh. Racism. Racism. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh... I do remember, um, Bo, I think, I think Bo must have at least seen this, but after I finished my first, it, it was this Stardew file, but back when it was 1.5, when I did that run, I did a, um, Bo was like, I love insane tier lists. No more E to S tiers. I want shit like this. Who, what's the political spectrum of everyone in Stardew Valley? Mm -hmm. And I was like, mm -hmm. I'll do that. <laughs> I don't think uh, I was there for that, but I do remember you making those lists. There was, uh, there was also a super chat earlier of K-Lag, yes or no? Uh, K-Lag from Dark Souls? No, it's just a woman stapled to a big magma spider. Carry on. But that thorax, though. That thorax is gonna burn my body off. My whole body is gonna be burned off. No, thank you. <laughs> I just remember that person who was like so fucking down bad for the Reggie. For the Reggie. <laughs> Freak Smash ass. Smash your past Pokemon video. Freak ass. Oh man. You gotta love content. Don't ever say that sentence again. <laughs> you gotta love content. Ugh. 
Uh, you sound like a fucking snake oil producer. <laughs> God, I'm not even kidding. content, baby. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. The last month, I've actually been slowly developing a just, like, general... I say last month, like, my whole fucking life, I've been developing a distaste for quote content. But in particularly, yeah. in particular lately, I've just been, like, getting a real... I don't know, like... Just visceral reaction to where that whenever I find myself spending like more than five seconds scrolling on literally anything. Yeah. Like I just I, I I'm like, all right, let's put let's find something to watch while I eat. And then I'm I scroll for five seconds, I'm just like, why the fuck am I doing this? And I just You you I <laughs> I'm I just I've just started to really fucking get sick of it. <laughs> yeah, like you realize that how much of how much of your life has been eaten up by scrolling and then you go wait by a distraction. second yeah. yeah close out of the watching this stream right now chat and eat don't a, go don't. outside and or eat a burger close it and reopen it so the ad plays and then do that over and over again. Thank <laughs> you. see what ads come up and like it'll it'll let you skip after 15 seconds but you can watch an ad for upwards of five minutes tell if me, you're lucky. Tell me what ad you get. You know, it's funny. <laughs> this is this is funny at all, but like, legitimately, I have been becoming more of a stream guy in terms of watching streams. Because even though I stream, I never really like watched streams all that much. I've been watching a hell of a lot more of them because it's just like, yeah. oh, this guy's streaming. I don't have to think. I just tap and that's no, just on in the it's, background. It's this thing of like, I, I like watching streams because it's like, I don't need context. I can just turn it on and then just have it on. I don't need context. Right? I just need content. That's what I'm that's what I always be fucking saying. The only thing right? I need to be content is content. Oh, like these, I was about to make a similar joke. Like these uh these like Stardew Valley streams, like, yeah, this is like the third one. It doesn't matter. It's fucking Stardew Valley. Oh no, it's I, I missed the deep plot. It's like nah man. Like, I just turn on some guy who's playing fighting games and I just watch that for, like, fucking, like, while I eat or some shit. I, I don't need to know what the last two matches were. Thanks for the bomb, yeah. wife. <laughs> You're the bomb. Whoa! I'll let our I... kids play with it. <laughs> I had a moment after looking Whoops. up the likes <laughs> list for tortillas. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I saw... I was like, I should go to like another really basic one and see what comes up. So I just clicked the top of the list, which was fried egg. And everyone is neutral on it, except for Leah, who dislikes them. And Leah has the weirdest dislikes and hates. <laughs> Her hates in particular are bizarre to me. Because they are bread, hash browns, pancakes, Yeah, pizza, she just hates all breakfast <laughs> foods. I was just looking at that. What a, what a psycho. Who hates bread? But like I, but like not, not like universally, like not for a gluten region. She's just like, oh, Brad. If my you... wife, that's who. <laughs> <laughs> she also dislikes cookies, ice cream, pink cake, freak. rice pudding, freak, <laughs> yeah, psychopath, seaweed, survival burgers. I, no, 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 no. Is it, she it, diabetic? It's like savvy. Savvy's just like, well, I mean, if she doesn't like it, that's just more for me. Yeah, easy, dude. <laughs> it's beneficial. It's like it's like like dating someone who likes pickles when you hate pickles. You just feed them your pickles, and it's fine. Symbiotic. Am I gonna enter? I don't. Oh my fucking brain! I just imagine yeah. instead of some instead of somebody opening their burger and they're being sliced pickles, <laughs> they open their burger. <laughs> there is a whole pickle, and they and they slowly slide it into your mouth. <laughs> Thanks, Abby. <laughs> oh, stupid. Savvy really is a monster fucker for going with Leah. Goddamn. <laughs> yeah, goddamn. <laughs> That's funny. For real. For real. <laughs> Peek into Savvy's brain, yes. Peek into my, I'm, I'm a, into my twisted mind. Twisted mind. You know what meme I really He's liked just was normal that like frog to me. Yeah, the, yeah, exactly. That. <laughs> to the Joker, this is normal. This is normal frog. I love normal frog. It's Axel F. Hmm? 
Crazy Frog is the song. Axel F is the artist. Turns around and looks at Batman like he's gonna <laughs> throttle him. Uh, uh, me listening to a Creepy Nut song? This is just normal nut to me. <laughs> Bro, Creepy Nuts is fucks. They're so good. <laughs> I, I've I've always loved them so much, and I'm glad that they did an anime opening, so now more people know about them. I guess you could say I'm fallen for them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what came over me. So, Jello, is there a specific achievement or achievements from the new ones that you're working toward right now? What if I told you no? <laughs> I would not be that surprised. It kind of looks like you're doing the same things over and over, so I figured you might just I'm be, doing you know, two like... achievements. I need to read all the books. I don't know where these are, so I'm waiting for the bookseller to spawn in hopes that he has them. Uh, if anyone knows where these are or what they are, please tell me. Um, I can check. And then the one that will take more time is I am trying to befriend the raccoon family and help them have too many kids. Uh, which takes... We're doing great, babe. Uh, I need to feed them... I believe I need to give them shit eight times, and I think I've done it five. Uh, and once you complete one, it takes a week for them to come back with a new request. Here, Jala, can you pull up the books again so I can screenshot it and math out which ones you need? Okay. Oh, or the list I'm looking at doesn't have them in that order. That's fucking great. Sick. Well, have fun picking out their covers. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh. Uh, the witch. Uh, no, I got rid of... Is, I got <laughs> rid of my doing? void chickens! What is she what doing? What if you had more now? I've actually never seen the witch do that. Like, I know that's not that uncommon of an event. When can you get, like, a shotgun in this game? Um, you have to mod it in. Uh, that's bullshit. They only the give you a Luger. Not only a Luger. <sighs> kind of sucks. Like, what am I going to do with that? Threaten Indiana Jones? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's way very more, enthusiastic. Way more of a reaction. Than I was I've been, I've been, I've, I've just been thinking about Indiana Jones recently, and I want to watch those movies again. I want to threaten him with a finger. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that that's isn't like, that just like what everyone wants to do, you know? That's like a very that's like a random Pokemon NPC being like like. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about Indiana Jones recently. That means Feebas <laughs> yeah. is on this tile. <laughs> That's... Okay, one of them's gonna be at the bookseller, uh, and the oh. other one is found exclusively in mystery crates. Shit, alright. Well, uh, mystery boxes and golden mystery boxes, either way. Okay, uh, what is the best way to- has, does anyone have advice on farming mystery boxes? Because they kind of just show up randomly, but that means I can't just do this. I need to be doing something. Yeah, you- you plant- a mystery cube in the ground and water it enough and it becomes a mystery box. One day your tower is gonna fall. <laughs> My tower isn't too tall to begin with, so I doubt it will help you that much. Uh... Ah! You better watch out. Wait, why am I doing this? You better watch out. You better watch out. Your tower will fall. Threaten Indiana Jones with a ball. <laughs> Is that a ball? I guess that's my Indiana Jones voice. <laughs> balls. Ball. Why do they have to be balls? Oh, no, I don't want to turn on sticky keys. Bro, don't you love sticky keys? Uh... No one on Earth has ever wanted to turn on sticky keys. Bro, but the sticky key though. Like... Anyone in chat like sticky keys? Uh, what? type one if yes. Ban them. <laughs> Any, anyone in chat like sticky keys? Hit shift five times if yes. Do you like sticky keys? Uh, uh press control alt delete. Uh, yeah, you can get, you can get mystery boxes. You can get ten of them from the desert festival. Okay. You can just buy them. That's not, that's not like repeatable and that's far away. Damn. 
Uh, otherwise, they're in artifact spots, and I do you have master yet? Can you do the thing for that? Uh, I have master. Oh, there it is. I got it. No, that's Jack be nimble. Jack be thick. I already read that one. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> Jack uh -huh. do be kind of thick, though. He knocked over that candlestick. Demetrius, you're so... Can you turn it off? <laughs> He's so Jimmy Neutron. Ugh. Making Demetrius cry. Got a blast. Sodium... Yeah, it's salt, dude. <laughs> it's salt. Yeah, I guess oh, I Sam's baby. is a glow-up because it's covering his terrible haircut. He looks yeah. older when I can see his jawline and I'm not focused <laughs> on the Super Saiyan. Yeah. And it does it does better than his the 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 fan version of seasonal outfits, which fucking demullets him. <laughs> yeah, that was not the issue. Um I like that. I like that they That's edited it so it. Sam and Vincent are hanging out. Yeah. More yeah. often. What do you mean he should be a good? Person? I shouldn't have waxed my mustache this morning. Oh dear. Oh fuck up. Harvey. Man, Haley looks really cute in her winter outfit. <laughs> Yeah. What? What are you blind? Like are, you, are you gonna? It's not my fault that she looks the best. Concerned <laughs> eight. When I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Jello bait, and I'm gonna. Everyone else will just have a fucking fishing vest on, and then I'm gonna fully redesign <laughs> Haley. Yeah. How? Yeah. How? How fucking dare you, Jello? <laughs> Can't believe I'm getting canceled again. <laughs> no. Like, uh, it's fine. I look over I, at Bumumo. Someone wants to run directly into the freezing water. <laughs> Thank Bumumo God. Bumumo has been one year old for six years. He's just <laughs> tired of it. Bumumo's like a girl. Bumu who? No. Who Mumo? <laughs> look, Bumumo. Bumumo's pink. That doesn't mean he's a girl. He told me. Bo. <laughs> I support him. Imagine if we lived in an igloo together. Robin, my wife wants an igloo. 7,000 hardwood! <laughs> Amy hates, Amy hates <laughs> Robin. What you gonna do? I'm in your wife's room, giving her hardwood. <laughs> what the fuck are you on? Remember <laughs> when Piff was playing Stardew? Uh, that no! Was that was your the... Piff? I don't know, man. Oh, I'm sorry, Aram. That's the first bad Piff impression I've ever heard. <laughs> no, leave him alone. Hey. <laughs> Yo, oh my game. god, is that Piff? I don't think that's a fair recreation. Of the voice I was doing. Roll back the footage, <laughs> chat. That's very Louis Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see Piff's so blue. Hey guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what if I Aaron, you're great. I hope you know that. If I pushed I, Pam in and held her under, would, would, I, I any, do. would anyone help? Would anyone save her? Who would save uh, her? Drag them I down mean, with her. <laughs> if she has her way, the government won't. Oh, like, I just noticed the pig has a onesie. <laughs> he bouncing. Why? Pierre might. Why do you think Pierre would? I think Pam is the kind of person who would be dying like that and be like, well, I'm not going to hell alone and drag whoever's trying to save her back down with her. Like, I think, I think Penny would, despite everything. I do think Penny would try to save her. Mm-hmm. To begin. Penny Fish. Seems, Penny seems like the kind of person who, even if her abuser, like something, like she died or was gone, Penny would like feel guilty about it forever and never come to terms with it. Penny is. Penny would Penny try to save good. her, and I feel like Gus would be like, oh, honey, even I don't really 
care if she stays or not. <laughs> well, Gus is like, she owes me a lot of money. <laughs> He, he has to know by now she's not paying him. I mean, that's literally a hard event. Man, what is this thing? A fish thing? Wow, I am not catching this. Bro. Let it go. A just, fish thing? <laughs> just let it go. Just catch it, bro. Oh. Oh, I just catch it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Look, it, see? There you go. Oh, it was a lingcod. I guess you can catch different kinds of fish now. No. Yeah. Jello, the time it doesn't stop. I don't need to win. Man. Man. Wow. I, I just watched this really incredible catching every fish in Stardew Valley in one day video. Oh, Haley's taking pictures with her big no. Wind Waker Picto box. Wow, that's cool. You watch videos? What did I just catch? I do love content, you see. What do I think about cultural fingerprints for films or games? What do you mean? What's a cultural fingerprint? You mean cultural footprint? Even then, I don't a really understand the question. E.g., a lot of French and Russian live media stands out a lot. Yeah, I don't understand the question. Mm, yeah, no, I'm, I'm... Jello, notorious hater of French animated movies. I really do. I found one I liked. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah? Um, oh, I don't remember the girl's name. It's Girl Name in the World of Steam. That one was okay. It was a seven. That's the best animated French movie I've ever seen. Huh. I, <clears throat> I, uh... So I, I've uh, watched Wakfu. For which is a French animated show, pretty mm. good show. Uh, pretty pretty enjoyable. I had a good time with it. Um, the the dub which I helped to fund on the Kickstarter, mostly okay, but it's also mostly okay. They got a specific voice actress for uh, Princess Amalia, who I'm pretty sure they picked because she could sing first and foremost. And she does sing fairly often, but oh, <laughs> she isn't really a particularly good actress, unfortunately. There's a dog on the bed. Jello, you don't like French stuff. What do you think about Code Lyoko? Don't talk <laughs> to me. <laughs> Code Lyoko, bro. What? Uh, no. Sorry. What? What's so funny, huh? Oh, I'm playing a little governor of poker during this, and uh, oh my god, someone and I was like, oh okay, all right. After the flop, I'm okay. My 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 opponent's got a pair of sixes. I'm all in with something better, and then another six comes. I'm like, oh all right, well I probably lose then. And then the river is a fourth six. I'm like, well that was just unnecessary. You don't like French? Well, how about Quebec? What? Who in the world has oh, ever been like, yo? I hate all of French everything in media, but of all the like the mo the most tolerable French stuff, Quebec, Quebecois. <laughs> <laughs> also, your new goat's name sounds like someone trying to say watermelon, but their mouth is full. Watermelon. 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 Honk. I haven't even gone to see the two new baby animals. They're Damn, just, you're that, they've up. just made it their own economy, their their own ecosystem in there. I just, I provide food like to rats in well, a cage. Left to get milk. Well, I mean, I would go there to get milk. <laughs> That's what makes it so fucked up. <laughs> Outsourcing milk. You don't like French, but I sat. I, listen, Adrian is the <laughs> best creator who's ever been French. <laughs> That's. Mm. You say bin, bin French as if no longer. Well, I mean, if, if ISAT teaches us anything, it's that if you're born French, you can always You can still out. rise beyond your French <laughs> and write a good story. Stop. That's what I say to French French at birth. Too. Look, I, listen. We're doing great, babe. On one of the streams, 
on one of the ISAT streams, I mentioned, I was like, I don't really like French movies. Like, not even just animated, like, especially French art films. I'm like, shut up. Uh, Cause I was like, they're all just extremely telegraphed projection of the creator. And it's just like, oh, I wish I could cheat on my wife and it wouldn't be a problem. So he writes a movie about a man cheating on his wife and Adrian goes, yeah, that's most French media. And I'm like, I know, it's all that. <laughs> if you're French, you still have a chance. That's my one, that's like my, that's my one straight up prejudice. It's like, if anyone's like, you want to watch this animated movie? I'll be like, what is it? I'm like, well, it's from France. And I'll go, ugh! <laughs> The French really peaked at Lancelot, huh? Is there a piece of media called Lancelot? Or do you just think that Lancelot was like on foreign Imagine. exchange at King Arthur's table? <laughs> That's great. Wow, another bomb. Hell yeah, wife. Yo. French people are also super racist. I mean, that's kind of racist to say that, but... I mean... Bro. I mean, There's they were colonists. Chickens. Like, they're they're just as much of a, a target for Lamau this country jokes as Britain is. You know At who least always... The French have good food. That's true. <laughs> Fred... France does have good food. Aram's allowed to say that. He's he's British. God, it came up. I, Go ahead. I do not care for French food. That's because you're British. It's just, it's I, everything's, it's just, oh, I, if, if you do not fry it in butter, then you can fuck yeah. off. That's it. <laughs> it's just all fried in I, butter, and that's it. It's all just fucking that. It's not, so, I, <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm, I haven't eaten a ton of French cuisine in France, but I've eaten some, and um, I'm really mostly thinking of bread specifically. French bread is not overrated. It is exactly True. correctly rated as fucking outstanding. Yes, and I, I agree do with love that. me my bread. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said, yo, nice oh, Biff impression, Sappy. <laughs> <laughs> Italian uh. food is better, but French bread is better. I like, mm -hmm. yeah, I like specifically Italian-American food, to be honest. Italian bread uh, was actually quite disappointing to me. I was kind of expecting it to be good like French bread, but it's clear that they put their their carbohydrate eggs are all in the like pasta and pasta adjacent things basket. The bread was like fine, but it was not better than bread that I could get in the US. Yeah, but I, I can go to Olive Garden and get infinite breadsticks. I, I can't I'm, go to I'm, a rest, the French restaurant and do that. Uh, yeah, you're probably right about that. And I'm, I, I am no food snob. I love things like infinite breadsticks. I, I love all, I love many genres of American food that I think Europeans would be like, oh, about. It's funny, because, like, I feel like Aram's taste in food is very polar opposites. Like, it's like time is a flat circle like if if food taste is like lowest quality is at 12 and it goes around like a clock and high quality mm -hmm. is like 9 to 11 59 mm -hmm. i feel like you're that like you're that quarter of the clock where you're the lowest <laughs> and the highest and it's like hmm disgust like disgusting junk food garbage i know it's bad for me oomph into my gullet but i also think you're like oh yes the cuisine of Europe, or whatever. Yes. <laughs> I feel like, oh, is that what I was looking for? Hell yeah. Book of Mysteries. Nice. Nice. True. Cool, that was it's the only true. I can enjoy. Thing. I can enjoy a, a shit-ass fucky hamburger, uh, just like a, like a steak au poivre. The, Dude, I, I love going up to a place and ordering the shit-ass fucky hamburger. 
See, that's like... I think... He would protest. I do think the person whose taste in food I am most eyebrow raise at is Will. Because he's How from so? up north. I mean, I guess you are too, but like... I, yeah, no, I'm... Chicagoland has good food. Because Will... Will... In my mind, Will's diet is like... The closer it is to a, a food that a restaurant has as a challenge like if you can finish this in an hour you get a t-shirt the more likely will is to have it like i had an uncle who would always order like the heart attack burger and like will will always be like mm, it's pretty good also uh will is the whitest taste in food of anyone i've ever made mm, uh, met that's probably yeah that's true i i went to will the first uh the first time will lenti and i hung out and I think the only time we've all hung out together in person, we went to a sushi place and uh, Will was like, I'm scared of everything on the menu and got a California roll and was like, how exotic. <laughs> so the bar is not I, super high. I wish I could have a food opinions. Food doesn't exist where I live. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I want to eat. I, I wish I could have something like Indian food. Eat. But nothing like that exists around here, so. We have, like, a Japanese restaurant, and then a Chinese restaurant, and then we have some Mexican restaurants, and other than that, it's just, like, steakhouse! I... Oh, cool. I think I actually have a good sense of taste, like, for quality of ingredients, but I'm such a texture eater that I'm, like, too picky in general. Mm. Yeah. I just, I just want good food, man. My it's most fun. unpopular food opinion is that I don't really like mashed potatoes. Down. There are a lot of bad mashed potatoes out there. That's for sure. I also think all uh, southern comfort food is disgusting. <laughs> it's That's bad! Aloha. Does Aloha live in Hawaii? I always assumed it was either Hawaii or somewhere underground. <laughs> <laughs> Aloha is, is a mole man, it's true. Oh god, I wish my life would be so much easier. Yeah, I remember. I guess it makes sense that you don't like mashed potatoes. They're in the textural area of food that you dislike generally. I I also don't like I don't like butter as like the main flavor of a food. Mm -hmm. So like I like I never get buttered popcorn at the movies or anything. I think it tastes fucking gross. Um, um I the only food that I'm like butter should be an ingredient on this is I like butter on toast and I'm pretty good at cooking stovetop steak and um if you want it to be a good steak at the end you put a little bit of butter on it and let it melt to it, it gives it a little a little extra something something. A little something something. Um but other than that I don't like anything. <laughs> I, yeah, Sometimes I have three that. empty tortillas for lunch. Yo, don't tell Pierre. <laughs> Someone pointed out as well, uh, there's a Terraria Easter egg in the game now if you have an ancient doll. Oh, yeah, I did pick up like five of those, didn't I? I don't know exactly, like, the tile I need to throw it, but I need- I know I need to go to, like, the mines or the volcano, right? Yeah, you need to go to floor 100 of the mines and throw it in lava. Yeah, I'll do that, sure. Sick Terraria Brad. reference, bro. I always hated playing Terraria. Damn. It's, it's one of those, like, multiplayer games where I don't feel like I'm doing enough. I feel bad if my friends give you like one of those like magic mana containers or a heart container. I'm like, bro, I've barely done anything. I don't want to eat your resources. Squid Fest has begun. Squid Fest? No! Oh, hang on. Hmm. I, <laughs> I hate that. That's another. No! God damn it, Stardew. Wrong farm. Wrong farm. This is my JoJo file. Look at my bitch house. Mm. I have nothing. <laughs> Look at my bitch house. It's filled with bitch bitches house being with me. no bitch wife. <laughs> I feel like so every single one of these files is named after a character in my little like Fire Emblem style game I wrote, and yeah. this one's one of the villains. 
this character, Yaja, is such, such savvy bait. It's like the most savvy bait oh. character I've ever made. I don't, I don't have a good drawing of what she looks like. I do have one piece of Yaja art. Hang on. One piece? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we love one piece. Yeah, this is old as hell, but, um, this isn't super okay, what I'm, she looks I'm like. Looking. But oh, uh, I remember this bitch. Yeah, this fucking bitch. Yeah, this is the. I guess. Hang on. I. I guess I should show stream. I guess. I guess stream wants to see too. It'll take me a second. <sighs> Ugh, stream. Ugh. Ugh. Stream. We're being perceived right now. Hang on. Oh, okay. Just making sure I didn't have any porn open before I went to full display. <laughs> This this bitch. She's like a she's like a half Kitsune asshole. I I have never drawn good art of any character from that project. <laughs> like not never have I drawn one and I'm like, that's what they look like. I just get it wrong every never, time. Never have I ever. Never have I ever. Bro. Yeah, no. I, uh... <clears throat> the amount of times I've tried to draw a character and I've like pretty much had them in my head. I've been like, oh, they're probably gonna look like this. And then by the time I've finished them, they just don't look like that anymore. <laughs> it's just been a whole process where I'm just like, oh, maybe I'll change that, maybe I'll change this. Oh, this is no longer the character I envisioned. Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah, Some sometimes they change. I do remember the first time I ever drew Plume, Corn uh, drew plume Cornucopia, I went, oh, okay, he's gay. Hmm. Which had was not an explicit decision. Though he was very, he was very ex-boyfriend coded on paper. <laughs> so. I mean, like you know, I'm eating fried chicken with rice, fried chicken rice with ketchup. That's weird. <laughs> You're weird. I sat on sale on Steam. Yeah, it's on sale again. When What's is that game weird? not on sale? <laughs> I don't know why Adrian hates making money for a really good game. What is it, fifteen dollars right now? Uh, I think it's so. all about volume, baby. Let's see. Right. Like your ex-boyfriend? Yeah, yeah it's general? like sixteen dollars. Jesus. I've I've never had an ex-boyfriend. You can't call people weird. You well, drank straight mustard. It's an ingredient. Oh. It's it's weirder to mix ingredients and textures that are wrong than it is to just eat something strange by it's itself. It's weirder to mix ingredients into food than it is to eat them on their own. <laughs> All right. You now you know that's not what I meant. <laughs> you you go. You know what, Aram? You go eat a plate of rice and ketchup. It's chicken, chicken and vegetables. Here. That doesn't sound good, but I don't think that's quite as awful as. And I think you could have picked a worse example. That what you mean? Picked a worse example? That's what we're talking about. That's the thing that is the conversation. Oh, okay. He's I well, I wasn't paying attention. To well, that try part. better next time. <laughs> He's playing I'm poker. Eating. He has to win big. Anyway, because <laughs> right? ketchup is not out of the same ballpark as condiments that actually do go on rice normally. Even though I, I that's not something I would choose. I don't put ketchup on, say, you know, mac and cheese. I, I know they're scrambled eggs. There are things people put ketchup on that I disagree with, but, you know. I don't like ketchup. <laughs> I just remember the post, which was on... Like, a, it, it was a Reddit thread specifically for showing off shitty food and shitty meals. And it was plain rice on half a pickle. And it was entitled, <laughs> plain rice on half a pickle, recipe entitled, add soy sauce if you think you're better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Jello. God. Oh, if you ever wanna, if you ever wanna take psychic damage, 
go check out the Reddit thread, um, We Want Plates. It's oh, just- yeah, yeah, the, yeah. All the pictures of terrible alternative plating at restaurants that's just strictly worse than giving you a normal fucking plate. Yup, it's fucking awful. I think the worst one I saw was they served you- they served you soup by getting you to cup your hands and pouring it into it. What the fuck? That's gotta be, like, <laughs> a hazard, right? I- I would think- I- I'm- I'm gonna guess it's, like, gazpacho rather than real soup. Or, like, but... borscht or something that's not hot. <laughs> gazpacho isn't a real soup. Borscht is hot. Soup. <laughs> oh, is borscht hot? Borsh? I'm sorry, I Borsh thought that hot. was the cold one. I don't eat any soup nah, with that... any texture stuff, so... You- you- you can have it cold. Um, there is- there is a version of it cold. I don't like it cold, I prefer it hot. So, that's me. Um, but yeah, there was also a meal served on a shovel. Uh... <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. trying to face, remember though. some of the other bad ones. If it was like a zombie themed restaurant and it was like a big deconstructed chocolate cake of just chocolate crumble. That would and, like, be a, some... you're, yeah, that's way too clever to be on this subreddit. If it was on this subreddit, undoubtedly it was served on a shovel because they were like, that's quirky. It's probably one of those, you know, have many air quotes rustic artisanal kind of restaurants mm. that have like pitchforks and I just call them gentrification the restaurants. <laughs> yeah. Accurate. Dave yeah. Barry did an article on that kind of restaurant long ago where he said that inevitably you know, they have some name that makes them sound like they're owned by a swarthy Irish bartender like Flanagan's or O'Houlihan's but they're actually owned by 17 absentee proctologists in need of tax shelter. Yeah, that's about right. Anyway, it's Squid Fest. You can get Yo. a Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Hi, Amy. Hi. Oh, Amy, you're just in time. Uh, people were Four? saying as soon as you as soon as you showed up that we needed there needed to be a thorough examination of the merits of Jujutsu Kaisen. <gasps> oh God, please! <laughs> Where is Squid please? Oh, I Sammy's was been sending me some live reactions, which I've been loving. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think uh, I think my particular favorite that uh, by which I mean the bit I hated the most in the lot in the three episodes of season two I've watched is Gojo getting sorry spoilers Gojo getting stabbed directly through the fucking back through the solar plexus and then him just going turning around to the guy and going I'm sorry have we met before and smirking I want you fucking put him in a trash compactor. <sighs> you missed my vitals, Wamau. <laughs> uh, he has infinite vitals, so you won't be able to hit them. Shouldn't that mean no, you the space, hit no, them? this No, the space <laughs> in between his vitals is infinite. He can just, you know... The thing, the thing that fucks me up, right, is that you guys have- you guys both made that joke. And that joke would make- in universe logical sense, and I would be like, okay, fucking shit, but fine, right? Oops. But that's not the fucking explanation he gives. He just says some shit like, oh, I just, oh, I didn't, like, use my energy in time, but I just, like, focused on the c reverse cursed energy, and he missed my vital, so it's fine. And it's just such a non-answer. And then he just goes, I'm fine, trust me. Sometimes you miss your vitals. My my favorite anime, um, when like, this is unrelated, but I don't want Aloha to leave because he's my friend. So <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to buffer. Um, my favorite thing is whenever people get like really attached to and sad about a JoJo character death because like you never know when a character in JoJo is gonna die, and I don't mean that shocking. I mean that like. It is impossible to tell what... Oh, does the parrot perch on your head while you fish? That's really cute. Oh, That's cute. Um, I want a parrot! You can... They have these rare trinket items that you can equip now, and some of them give you, like, little follower creatures. Um... Because in JoJo, like, characters will, like, have gunshots in their head and be like, Ugh! 
they got me! And then, like, get up, and it's like, oh yeah, nothing matters. And then other times, they'll, like, take a normal wound, like, their leg will get hit, and then a character turns around and you see their ghost, and it's like, no, they're dead! And it's like, I can't tell when someone's actually dead in this series. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I thought you had a pretty good take with uh, your, uh, <laughs> that line in Stibbs, like, It's okay, I only got hit in the head by that bullet after it passed through several dogs. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Jello, so it's true. hard to explain his powers. Why are you editing me? Who are we talking about? Jojo? The Jojo? It is hard Mr. to explain. Mr. Jojo? The thing that fucks me up about Jujutsu Kaisen is that all the powers are as if everyone had fucking gold experience. Just like, fucking... just whatever. My complaint about JJK's power system and everything about it is that, like, they present being a part of, like, a grander family as, like, a big deal. But just some Joe Schmo can just make any power up, and it's just like, why is being a part of a family like important? It's not like genetic bar genetics barely play an effect on like the shit, unless you're like the main big boy, right? It's like it's like, oh yeah, I'm buff, silly man, and I invented this power to teleport when I clap, right? It's like that, that's cool, it's really dope, but it's just like I don't know, Me is it really I'm that hard click. to like? Reverse engineer. That's valid because at least it's like some guy can't go. I I can like in Naruto. I don't think people really invent things out of their ass a lot of the times. Not mid typically. fight usually. Yeah, the, I think right? the most. So I have not read all of Naruto. I have. But I, I have, uh, once again, that's another thing I, like, wiki-binged, essentially. Um, I will say, I think the most what-the-fuck fight in um, Naruto is when Daidara, my my boy, my first man crush, uh, fights Sasuke. And Sasuke's like, I use electricity, which is super effective on your clay powers. And I'm like, in what universe? Since when is clay super effective on the Earth? And so, someone just added me, Aloha and JJK, people are born with their powers, Gojo says it when he's training Yuji. I mean, yeah, sure, they're born with their powers, and it's like, uh, sure, uh, sure, dude. I, I bet Nobara fucking was born with the ability to have voodoo shit, and that wasn't, like, anything she trained or anything. Or the I sent that message when they were- that. I sent that message when they were talking about Gojo's powers. His powers are not difficult to explain. He just said His powers he are, he can do what he wants. His powers are, yep. he, he's like- a six-year-old boy with an action figure, and he can do yep. what he wants. Oh, like, uh, also, I know they I try to trick you with like, with like infinity fake math, shit. and you know the the concept of infinity. It doesn't matter. It's not consistent. It doesn't matter. His power is he can do what he wants. Yeah, and uh, in... I can say this now because I have witnessed it. Uh, I was seeing a lot of memes and a lot of shit online about Hollow Purple, and Hollow Purple is so cool that it was such a good moment. It's, it's, it's it wasn't Hollow Purple. Uh, and like, uh, it's it's like a it's uh, it's okay. Yeah, no, like, don't uh, don't explain it. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, I know. It I cannot know. be explained, though. That is the thing. It cannot be explained. I at least like in bullshit like power system kind of stuff hunter hunter is like whimsical because it's like some guy who's just like yeah i learned what taxes are and i'm gonna <laughs> I, I really power. like i really like hunter hunter's power system actually and i hate yeah, that show like, so it doesn't pretend like it's anything more than it is yeah right? it like the powers are that. neat and for the most part their rules are very consistent actually the only time they're not is when gone ages 30 years yeah, yeah, no, still the worst. Uh, extra the worst part of the yeah, show. Yeah, we, we, we've talked about up. it on yeah. stream. <laughs> we've we, talked about it, yeah. What were you saying, Aloha? Oh, yeah, that was just saying. Hunter Hunter is at least whimsical and, like, 
at least like it's like ah make up bullshit power he's like yeah okay i believe it but in jjk it's like eh, like reversed curse t- technique bullshit i'm like get out of here with that like just like p- name it something instead of saying it's like reverse this and th- therefore it's like healing i'm like that's kind of like dumb but yeah. mm. So you have healing powers, no fucking gives a shit. Every time they try to explain a power set, I want to kill myself. <laughs> yep. No, it sucks. It all sucks. It's all, it doesn't- and it doesn't fucking matter. None of it fucking matters, because at any given moment, it could- that you could just have a flashback to fucking Goon McGee, who's just gonna be like, Well, I've- I've fucking punched 20 pigs in the face in a row. <laughs> and no one's been able to do that before. And then the characters good, who's fighting twenty pigs is going to be like, those are, they're fighting twenty-one pigs. They're going to be like, oh, I've got to punch. I'm going to punch twenty-one pigs <laughs> in a row. Dude, and then they do happens. it. That literally word uh, for word happens. I, I that's fucking hilarious way to say it. But no, I need. Like, I don't know anything about Jujutsu Kaisen, and uh, I'm perfectly content with that. I think it's really, it's one of those (laughs) things, it's one of those things that I enjoy seeing discourse on while having no idea what anyone's talking Mm -hmm. about, seeing people get really impassioned about it. What is the premise of Jujutsu Kaisen? Um, It Uh, it asks the question, what if Chainsaw Man was boring? Yep. (laughs) Yeah. Yep. It's just it's just one of those like there are demons and it's a shonen and some people have demon powers yeah. and can it, fight the it, demons. That's it. It came out in a period of time where uh like exorcist like demon slaying stuff was like very popular, right? It's demon like chainsaw slaying man slaying stuff you yeah. say stroke skin. Yeah. Is it is it um like contemporaneous with demon slayer? Is it after Yeah, yeah, before? basically like chainsaw man JJK demon slayer uh, and some other stuff came out like around the same time in Shonen Jump. Shonen Jump goes through mm-hmm. periods of just doing the same thing like 20 times in the same like magazine, right? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, fucking, uh, there was a big time when spies were big, and so you had like, uh, like Spy X Family and a bunch of other stuff, right? Yep. And due to like and stuff becoming, yeah, like, and due to that like, uh, period of time. Like where exorcism stuff was big, Blue Exorcist came back and started yeah. getting like remade and stuff. It's, just, yeah, it's, it's very interesting to read because I used to read Shonen Jump like weekly every time something would come out, and I would check out all the new stuff. And so seeing these trends are like, uh, when are demons and exorcists not popular? I mean, it's always something that's somewhat popular. But what I'm talking about is like uh, how I can pick up uh, pick up Shonen Jump and then see like. 20 things of exorcism and all this other stuff right and then like the next phase would be like 20 things of spy media right like it, it's 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 trends that they try to push out because especially with how like cutthroat shonen jump is they just go we're gonna send out 20 things and keep like five of them right that's that's pretty much how it is how so... many waves of like or how, how many like graduating classes of shonen series running alongside each other do you reckon there have been since uh since the big three because like i, I don't actually read uh, shonen jump and i like, only keep question. up i only keep up with some anime so i'm probably i've never uh, even heard of a lot of them but it's... like i feel like you had the big three and one piece is still around but like you know there was the era where it's... it was one piece naruto and bleach and then there yeah. was my hero and yeah, well, it's so it's hard because like obviously i'm i'm I didn't. I didn't read Shonen Jump for like a certain period. I, I guess I started around the time Book No Hero and like Black Clover came out. Uh, but it's just like I would say Book No Hero marked this like new era of Shonen where it's just like everything is now much like Book No Hero, right? Where Black Clover represented like what old Shonen used to be. Black Clover is like every old Shonen mixed together into one little cocktail, while Book No Hero is like the new thing that now everyone else copies, even though Book No Hero copied twenty million other things, right? It's just. Uh, but like uh, I, I stopped reading Shonen Jump Weekly, like at a certain point, because I was just getting tired of like reading things and then them getting axed when I actually enjoyed them. Uh, but like I, I'd say like at least like three That's different eight. like I experienced like three different eras where it was just like Exorcism, Spy, other shit, and it just kept going like mm. that. So yeah, that's something I'd I'd be really interested to carbon date because like. I feel like, you know, yeah. like My Hero was the first big breakout, it seemed like, after the big three ended. Yeah. Or, you know, two of the three ended. And then 
I feel like and so you, you that and Black Clover were contemporaneous and then like at some uh, point I was like oh it looks like Demon Slayer is the big thing now and then I started hearing about Jujutsu Kaisen and like yeah I think it's, like yeah so it, it's uh, it's due to the yeah you're gone uh, I have I have a question for you Aloha was Demon yeah. Slayer's manga popular before its anime like I, I assume it was quite uh, popular but was it a, like the mega hit that it is like. It's so it's this thing of like I don't think Demon Slayer was popular super super popular as a manga and it wasn't until the anime came out that it really like blew the fuck up. The only manga that I've seen that had like so much fan content made for it before there was an anime was Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man had so much fucking fan content for it compared to like other makes stuff. Makes you think about uh, it for months after you finish reading it. Yeah, and so And so like it's this uh, from my experience, uh, like I, because anime is just advertisement for the manga. That that's pretty much just what it is. All right, that's like uh, obviously anime has evolved a little bit more than that, but it, especially like in older days, that's just kind of what it was. Right, they'd come out with a season of anime, never make a season two, just to promote the books, pretty much. And uh, season one of Demon Slayer came out around the time that Demon Slayer finished completely. And so season one of Demon Slayer came out and then they pushed out a box set of Demon Slayer. And so everyone who watched the first season of Demon Slayer like watched it and was like, okay, cool. Uh, oh, goodbye, Bo. Bo just and they Bye, Bo. Bye, Bo. Goodbye, they would, like, bye. They would then like, they pushed out the box set and people read Demon Slayer and was like, wow, this was ass. Because Demon Slayer's ending was very extremely rushed like uh, one chapter to just tie up like certain characters like character arcs and everything like that right and so it ended up in this funny thing where people watched season one bought the box set read the series and then went oh this sucks and so if you went on ebay or Macari or anything there's so many people just selling the entirety of the box set (laughs) (laughs) that's really funny did that yeah. have any effect on the anime's popularity, though? <laughs> uh, I well, I mean, just like after season one, I because like what are they on? They're on like season four or some shit. Demon Slayer right? done. Like, I'm pretty sure. Like the the anime? No, I don't think it is. Oh, does it not end but, with the sister getting cured? I assume that would be uh, the like, ending. I but like uh. Yeah, it's not the anime's not over yet. It's still going strong, but it, you say it's still going strong, but it definitely does not have the hype that season one had. Mm. Like season one had, like yeah, everyone had, was like talking it, about. It had all of the things that people who don't like to think about anime really like. It had cool action animation. animation. Lisa it had opening. a Lisa opening. <laughs> yeah, it had right. a, a Lisa uh... opening that is pretty boring, but has a great drop. And, yeah. like, that's all you need, really. Yeah. Dude, so, that like, fucking song drops within the first 10 seconds well, and it never recovers. And so, uh, Demon Slayer was the first I saw kind of create this trend of anime where after the first season they come out with a movie. Uh, and I think, due to the movie's release, I think that might have killed some of the hype from it because it's like ja- movies are harder to obtain than. Uh, like anime i guess right because it's like i don't know maybe people protect it more so it's harder to find it on sites that are very very legal right and it takes a while to come over to the west which i think legal yeah uh that might have killed like some of the hype behind it and any anyways they take the movie and they cut it up into anime episodes anyways i think uh yeah they did that with uh dragon ball z dragon ball super they did that for like the dragon ball super movies that came out but yeah uh Most shonen that aren't One Piece uh, shouldn't run for as long as they do. I'm um, IMO. One, I feel, one uh, Piece shouldn't run as run as it did. <laughs> like uh, I feel like the average length for like a series is like thirty to thirty-seven volumes. Uh, just from like my experience collecting and reading, like around the thirty to thirty-seven volume mark is when things get stopped. <laughs> is like, uh... but yeah. If you haven't read or uh, seen the Chainsaw Man anime, I would highly recommend it, even though it's kind of gory and... Uh, yeah, it's very adult. Um, yeah. Even it, though... It's not in Shonen Jump, right? Like, that's... It is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. Uh, someone someone show Aram the lesbian spread. 
Oh, <laughs> uh, the fucking uh, like, like the lesbian I, I've orgy. Never, uh, I haven't seen Chainsaw Man, but I'm obviously aware of much of it by reputation and linking so... things. And like, is there's like so... really explicit and so... severe gore in it, right? Uh, yeah. So... A bit. Among so other here's the things. Fun... Here's the fun thing. So I read on the Shonen Jump website, and that has like some other extra stuff on it. So it had like like the Shonen Jump website had Golden Kamui on it, but for like Hell's Paradise and Golden Kamui, you would have to make an account and confirm that you're 18. Mm -hmm. uh, for Chainsaw Man, you didn't have to do that. Uh, I didn't have to make an account to read Chainsaw Man, uh, which is uh, fun. Are these two uh, gonna challenge you to a Pokemon tag battle? Because that's what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Aloha, do you have the spread on hand? I mean, I can look it up. Oh, those I girls just, uh, are spread. Chainsaw can, Man plus the insect. Can you get it just to post it for Aram so I, he can this, look at it and be like, this was in Shonen Jump? The best part is yeah, I, I literally would not be comfortable showing that image on YouTube. Oh, d uh, don't don't show it on no. stream. I'm, I'm gonna, not going to do it. Are you kidding? Yeah, no. I'm going to put it in guest chat. Uh, there you are, Aram. This was in uh, Shonen Jump magazine. Ah, I see yep. it's foiled. All right, all right. Well, let's take a look. Hmm. hmm. Literally mid scissor. <laughs> Literally <laughs> mid scissor. Yeah. I, I love it. Hmm. Okay. Would you let your kids read this? So. I would not let my kids read Chainsaw Man. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's uh. I will say, Aram is probably like. The friend who I'm like smart enough to really appreciate Chainsaw Man would not like reading Chainsaw Man. I don't think. I haven't. I'm not interested in seeing it from what I have absorbed of it secondhand. Yeah, I. Uh, hmm. Isn't the target age demo of Shonen Jump like 13 like to 17? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's Shonen, yeah. Uh, though, like, it, things are, like, I, it's, uh, things go through periods where, like, Shonen gets darker and then, like, lighter and then darker. It's just, like, you know, trends change and everything, but, yeah. It's like moving, moving stuff I mean... Around. You got them dogs. Because, like, <laughs> um, if you, Sorry, that's, those are my dogs. dogs are angry. Um, but, like, because if you think about Naruto, like, Naruto, people died in Naruto, like, 20, so many times so it wasn't gory but at least they died and then in burrito it's just like no death happens it's like, oh is it i didn't know that yeah burrito yeah. um that's actually one of the my favorite things that yam and i discovered was watching all the naruto openings and going oh it was so annoying almost none of them were even worth considering mostly because of credits the, the songs are bops but mm -hmm. blah 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 yeah. um and then later i was like i guess i should look through boruto and we're like oh boruto and we open it up it's like yo this this is kind of great actually <laughs> like so boruto is uh hurt by its production cycle i guess is the best way to put it where uh the first volume, the first chapter of the manga is held like 60 episodes into the anime. Uh, what are the first 59 episodes then? Basically, like stupid filler shit. Wow, that's actually real. They must be hereditary because. Yeah, uh, it's really on brand. Because <laughs> Naruto. Well, like, are, they, are they doing the thing with Boruto anime that they did with Naruto back in the day where it's like. This anime always has to be running. There always have to be new episodes. Like, it doesn't it, matter yeah, how much it, it longer used, we have. It used to be like that, yeah. I, I think it... I'm I, really I don't know surprised, who because I feel like by the time Boruto started... Well, Boruto's older than well... you think it is, actually. So, like, let me... Oh, God. I guess dude, I just, I can, like... It I can write like... an essay about this shit. Um, it just like, feels uh... like... So, I'm, I'm not really... I don't have the chronology in front of me, but uh... when I go off of how it feels in my mind... The era when anime mm. was produced in that volume for a single series feels so, so far removed from how it works today that it's, like, impossible yeah. for me to conceive of now so, a show running like that. So, uh, the turning point where things started becoming more seasonal instead of just vomiting it out, right, uh, was when Boku no Hero started happening. Right? So, uh, like I said, it talked about, like, uh, Black Clover and Book and Hero, and how Black Clover represents, like, the older 
shonen, while Boku no Hero represents what shonen would become nowadays, uh, that also is expressed within how they were released. Where Boku no Hero had a seasonal format, and then once the first season of Boku, no, uh, Boku no Hero wrapped up, the next anime uh, like season had Black Clover. And I thought what they were going to do, which would have been smart, is rotate like Black Clover for a season, My Hero Academia for a season, mm -hmm. and do that. But Black Clover was actually on it on that vomit schedule where it just kept coming out until it like until they went, oh, this is bad. And so to do that, Black Clover, which is actually a very fast paced manga, they slowed down the pace for the anime, making it horrendous. Like I, Black Clover isn't amazing, but it's not fucking awful. But turning down something that's supposed to be fast paced into something slower will always just make it fucking awful. Right. And so that's kind of like the period where I realized that oh, this is how anime should be released versus, like, the, the vomit style, which Black Clover, like, kind of was, like, one of the mm. last ones that do that, right? Uh, but, yeah. Looking there for squid. Go. So, uh, like, I... The thing about Burrito is the fact of, like... Uh, the creator left and stopped working on Burrito when Burrito, like, came out, right? Because he was like, I'm fucking done. You guys can do whatever the fuck you want. And oh, then he made I a, didn't know that. He made a manga called Samurai 7, or Samurai 8. I can't remember what it's fuck it's called. Uh, it had very detailed art that muddied, like, what the fuck was going on. It had, like, three or four volumes, and then it then it got axed. It's uh, a mystery and then... box be anything. It could even be a boat. <laughs> and uh, basically, then when it when it got axed and he failed to make his other manga that wasn't Naruto, he went back to working on Burrito. Oh, I see. Oh, that it's makes so, it worse like... for the guy because oh, so yeah. sad. I didn't yeah, know any sad. of that. I thought he was just like, ah, at last, my magnum opus is complete. Um, mm -hmm. more money, please. Let's just keep doing this anyway. No, he he left to no. try to make. He tried. Oh, I hey, see. Willie. All right. Yeah. I guess my ire was misdirected then because I thought he was just mm -hmm. like, I'm going to completely cynically cash on my old work and coast instead of yeah, trying to do like, anything new because that's scary. <laughs> fairy tale creator. They're like, you got to think about how scary it is to like have one, to have no a talent. banger. Oh, well, to have a banger and have it be so successful and then that's try to make something new. That's such a you thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> because like uh, the fairy tale guy just remaking the same story over and over oh, again. Oh, is he? You know. Cool. Fairy well, I mean, Tale like, has uh, a sequel now, I think. I, uh, it has uh, like a hundred Fairy Tale shouldn't even but... have a quoll. <laughs> You're right. Like, yeah. It's like Rave Master Fairy Tale, then they made something called Eden Zero, which is fairy tale, but like sci-fi. And then they Bro... make, they're making something else new. Uh, but yeah. Bro, I watched a significant amount of Fairy Tale. Wow. Yeah. I don't, same. I don't, I don't think I could tell you what happened in Fairy Tale. I watched it during a summer between school where I was like sick and I would wake up, watch Fairy Tale until I went to sleep for like yeah. a week. And then I got to the point where there was the time skip where it was like a time skip happened and they were like, we got to train so that we're strong as people, the people that like, you know, kept training and everything. And then they got distracted and didn't do the training arc and went to a tournament anyways and then won. And I was like, this is bullshit. I hate this. <laughs> It's like, and then I stopped watching. I, I just remember... Uh, I just distinctly remember watching that show, and it was just like, here's Lucy, she's the main character. Here's <laughs> this other guy, oh, Natsu or whatever. So and then I went... I, Go ahead. And Yeah, I, I, and I was... So they introduced Natsu, and I was like, here's Natsu, isn't Natsu so cool? Natsu's so cool, Natsu's so cool, isn't he? Look at Natsu, I'm just like, I'm starting to think Lucy isn't the main character. <laughs> I, so admittedly, I am distracted from everything else about the opening of Fairy Tale by how much I hate everything. So I don't really yeah. remember too specifically, but yeah. I definitely just, with the context, like, oh, this is a shonen series. I don't think there was ever a point that I assumed Lucy was gonna be the main character. I was just like, oh, yeah. you're the girl. No, I'm afraid the only, uh, I guess Soul Eater has a female protagonist, but the only modern yeah. shonen True. ballsy yeah. enough to have oh, a female yeah. lead is Chainsaw Man it's, Part 2. It's, I, just, I love Chainsaw Man And then Part it's two. even ballsier because it makes her a suck-ass fail girl loser. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, so it, it's this thing where it's like obviously shonen is aimed towards boys, so they have like, uh, male protagonists. Uh, there was a manga called Candy Flurry. 
uh, that was in Shonen Jump, and it had a female protagonist that got axed. And it was like everyone had candy based powers and everything. It was it was neat. I don't think it was like amazing, but like you know. Uh, but yeah, that was like the last oh. one where it was like female protagonist. There is something in Shonen Jump with a female protagonist. Fuck, it's that. Uh, Isn't that the some clock based thing? No, I'm, I'm thinking is about that, uh, Akane Banashi, I think. Oh, okay. I think that's its name. It's like some, like... Yeah, oh, Millie Vanilli. What is it about? Uh, hey, can I... Yeah. Uh, can I interject with a... Do you know what does have a female protagonist and is very good and has good fights and a cool power set? Epithet Epithet is... Erase! <laughs> <laughs> For once... I'm actually not doing a bit. I'm genuinely going to recommend to people to go out and read the webcomic, which is currently still ongoing, uh, Clown Core, oh spelt C-O-R-P-S. <laughs> it's so good! I believe it's you. so good! I believe you that it's good, but like the only thing I know about that series is you on Tumblr reblogging hot clown characters, and I'm like, well, the more things <laughs> change, huh? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Listen, I fully believe so you that good. it's good. Clown Core <laughs> spelt as in like corporation, so C O R P S. So chat. look, we've had it's t it's time. We've had pirate manga, we've had ninjas, superheroes, and we've had boring manga. It's time yeah. for clowns <laughs> to be the. No, I've dude. always no, I've Straight always up. been saying that though. Honestly, like that's like the one thing that's kind of like missing from like the shonen. Just like oh, there's like it's that, and then like where's my cowboy shonen? It's right. it's uh, Golden Kamui. <laughs> That's not a shonen. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Sorry, I when, I don't read shonen because it's all bad. When yeah, you said the... when you said web comic savvy, and then you started to say cloud and core, I thought you were gonna say cloud factory, which I wow. Don't know about. <laughs> the literally the only thing I know about it is that Jello hyper specifically singled it out as a web comic that like at, had a bunch of fanfare and like patron stuff and then like had it had a crowdfunding campaign where it raised i don't want to get the number wrong it might have been like 30 that it was a five digit number i think it was seven thousand seventy thousand dollars or something and they produced seven pages of comic damn dude that's ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars per page that's yeah. a that's a grift. That's a good grift. It's a grift. It's a straight up grift. Chan, I don't really know if Trigun is a shonen. Trigun's not a shonen. Yeah. Like, it's only no, got no, one guy. Chat, chat, you wanna know how you can find good shonen? Uh have it be a series that says it's a shonen, but is definitely not. It's definitely a saint or something else. And then and then have it have a female author. That's pretty much that's a two, yep. like, that <laughs> legitimately I now yeah. will like re enthusiastically <laughs> read manga if I'm like, oh, the manga is female. Okay, good. Then I won't have to deal with that shit. TM. Yeah, that shit. TM. Yeah. <laughs> won't have to, to get be, hit over the head with the old Oda special. To be fair, female authors often have that shit. It is just a different of a shit. Different flavor, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll take but it. But sometimes, so. sometimes there, that's refreshing. Yeah, because there are so yeah. many more ale authors that you get their flavor of that shit way way more yeah because i think uh magi is made by a female author yeah it is because um, i, I think and that, myself. is magi and good Ma magi's like not as shonen as well it's like a political drama very <laughs> oh, suddenly. So funny. oh uh, no I, I, that explain so, that explains why Doro Hidoro is really good as well because that's also a female manga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, like literally, like uh, that's what I always say during our book club. It's just like, hey guys, just remember, if you want to read something good, that's like, that's why uh, Full Metal Alchemist is as good as it is. Do I do I think Magi is good? I really enjoy Magi. Uh, do I think it falls for some normal shonen stuff like power scaling and everything? Yeah, but like, do I enjoy it from like? the manga's thing is like the most powerful thing you can be in the world as a merchant and like i love that <laughs> like it's like it's like yeah that's great it just makes sense it's i man i'm doing terribly on these squid things um you should read star impact on hive works if you want a good shonen webcomic with a girl hero it's about boxers with superpowers the i should um I should ignore you more flair if you're gonna give me money <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
one of my so Amy it's been a while but Amy has been pitching slash summarizing Pandora hearts to me and one of my favorite things is that one of the main characters Gil th this is in response to oh female female authors have their own that shit Gil is the most girl bait character I've ever seen in my fucking life he's yeah. a he's a brooding hot sad anime boy with black hair and like a long black coat and a extreme and cries and cries cries all the time. <laughs> He's like one of the most fucked up, weird, freak ass antagonists. Is his brother and his brother like only cares about him, so they've got that dynamic. You think Gil only has one tragic, sad backstory, but then it turns out he has more. <laughs> oh, they give him the Apollo Justice treatment. Oh, I wouldn't. I. I wouldn't say that. I have some critique over Pandora Hearts, but I don't think that's one of them. <laughs> I, uh, I will always stand uh, Kaiman from Doro Hidoro. I love him. He is himbo, and he is uh, lizard boy. I love him. There's too much shit to, like, read and consume. I have not gotten around to Doro I thought you said you loved yet. content. I love, dude, I love content, but there's too much of it. It makes, like, 20% less, and then maybe I'll, like, get, get around to it. Guys. Plus, I, like, have, like, uh, chronic, I do not consume things that I like disease, where it's just, yeah. like, if someone's, like, if something's, like, oh, this is the most Aloha thing ever, I never get around to get to actually fucking yeah. reading it. Dude, I booted up, I finally, after literally years of having it in my library, I finally booted up Signalis, and, like, I can confirm, after having now played it a bit, I'm like, damn, Signalis is like 1,000% like, up my alley. I've played it for 40 minutes. I've not got I, to it. I, one of my favorite games is KOTOR, and then I really like martial arts shit, and so everyone's like, you should play Jade Empire. And I literally mm -hmm. think Aram bought me Jade Empire, I and I have not played it. <laughs> Aram <laughs> loves to buy people games that are way up their alley I, and then not have those people I, well, play so it. So Aram, I tried to play Jade Empire, and I had to do some, like, I had to, like, go into, like, its files and do some jank shit to have it boot on my computer, because mm. it's, like, an old-ass game. Uh, and then I, then I was like, yeah, that's too much for me right now, and I just never did. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. That You know, that's yeah. fair enough. That is a major, like, uh, activation yeah. energy required, and, like, yeah, that, do yeah, that does yeah. suck, because I, I do think you'd like it. <laughs> Aram bought me Crusader I'm... Kings 2, and I, uh, it crashed five times in 20 minutes, and I went, nah. Yeah, that's also fair. It never crashed Maybe that that's... much. Me. Maybe that's part of the curse. Maybe it's Aaron buys a game that would be right up and your alley, but work. in exchange, it doesn't that's run. That's so sad. Yeah. I... Aaron, Aaron only likes things that are old. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and that, people where, think what's I'm older a than the fucker. Crusades? It goes. It goes. Big Bang, dinosaurs, Crusades. Now, <laughs> so the Crusades, pretty old. Uh, Ten dollars from Doc Queen. Uh, welcome to Demon School. Arumakun is good woman up. A good woman authored manga and the main three give strong thruple vibes and one girl in the class wants everyone to be in one big poly cool and she's right i like I... if you have a thing oh. on that specifically go ahead uh i i i read i read it when it was coming out and i just stopped reading it because i read too much as it's coming out and so yeah it was pretty good i i need to like get deeper into it before i can really like have like opinions on it but yeah jello going um when i read Comey can't communicate, which I don't recommend it. I literally, it sure had an ending, and I was like, that's the end. And I was reading it live, and it just didn't stop. Like, it just had an ending and then kept fucking it's going. Um, and it already stuck around for too long by that first ending. Uh, but I was like, I am not convinced that this is written by one person. I think this is written by a really disgusting shitty horny man with no talent and a woman he keeps locked in a basement who he occasionally is like you write this chapter because like hmm. once in a while there's like incredibly realistic interesting well-written like and it's always girl talk between the two female leads and i'm like this is great and then it goes, it's like, but what if, I know you want them to make out, what if they were naked and wet? And I'm like, I didn't want this! It's now I'm here! <laughs> I, you know, oh, good I don't know, I don't get it. I don't understand, I don't understand fan service. If I want porn, I'll Google porn. 
We live in 2024. You, I can Google the word boob. Yeah. I can Not see, if you're in Texas. Uh, I, I, can, I can see at least six boobs right now. If I want. Real quick, before the conversation has moved on too many stops, I just want to register with you, Aloha. While I am disappointed that you haven't played Jade Empire yet, I'm way less disappointed about yeah, that uh, than where uh, you stopped in yeah, Dishonored. Yeah, Dishonored 2. I know I, right I was waiting before the here, best level in video games. I was literally sitting here like, when is Aram going to bring that up, huh? When is Aram going to fucking bring it up? I, Did I you have think a lot you more... had survived? Did you think no, you, I, the danger no, was No, here's asked? the thing. I know that you are always waiting to hit me with it i i every time i think about you aram i 78 think about how moves I huh yeah i you live in my brain rent free thomas laughlin okay like i i but yeah i should i have a lot more free time now and i should uh finish this on it too i hit that Squid? that puzzle i tried to solve very oh, badly right. yeah 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 no, yeah and that's and, that's, and it sucked all the, the energy out of me <gasps> and then yeah, i got really good. busy because i got a job Sorry, <laughs> that will do it. No, that's fine. I'm using you as an excuse, Jello. It's fine. Is that um, why I'm fishing? No, I is, just the squid is, event is new, and I would like to get Jello all the Jello your from unhealthy it. coping mechanism, Aloha. I wouldn't say that. I uh, <laughs> I tug his chain. <laughs> so one uh one manga I would like to bring up in response to um the what's the point of fan service and also but like here's the thing right this is not well written it's written by a man who doesn't understand what humans are i tried read i fuck me i bought the first volume of bakemonogatari that uh... fucking shit is so i i i when i got to the end i did i was I've never, I've only on one occasion so quickly realized it was a mistake to purchase something. <laughs> that's, dude, that's a pretentiousness litmus test. You you show that to someone, if they say they like Bakke Monogatari, you can punch them. <laughs> I, I really want to consume it because uh, one of my favorite artists does the art for it. Hold on, I, uh, I, I actually, I'm gonna go grab it because I want to find a particular page where there's a, there's a little period, there's a little like speech that happens, which is just like nonsense, and yeah. I want to oh, yeah, read yeah. it out to you, but it's not in my room because I don't want it in my life. Savvy. So it's just <laughs> sat on a, it's sat on the sideboard in the is corridor. It, one Savvy moment. picks up the book and begins reading it. He just, I wouldn't say we're, yeah. We stimulate each other with our unique perspectives. Mm. Is it in the room with you right now? <laughs> no, uh, the, the artist for it is uh, Oh Great, who did the art for uh, Air Gear. And oh. I have uh, their art book in my room, which is really nice. You know what? Yeah. You know, I lied. There is one series that's like chock full of fan service that I really like. And I do like the fan service in it. Back. Yeah. Golden Kamui. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Golden yeah. Kamui is wall to wall man ass. It is that like Golden Kamui has drawn panels that made me go. They can get away with showing that much of a penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fair. Right. So uh, before I so while I'm finding the particular speech that I wanna I wanna read out, I wanna emphasize to people that the uh, the opening. To this manga is a sequence where the main character, or sorry, the two main characters are interacting, and uh, the 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 female in the situation, the woman in the situation, starts pretty much immediately within the first four pages, going like, "Oh, you're gonna like sexually assault me, aren't you?" It's just like, "What? What? What are we? What's happening? What are you talking about? Why is this what we're opening with?" And then she pulls out scissors and threatens him with various office supplies. Yeah. Fucking... Yeah. Oh God. Someone asked me in chat, Hey, Aloha, why do you think fan service and weird stuff seems more common in the anime and manga compared to other media? Because uh, it sells. Boring. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it sells. I wouldn't say fan service only exists in Japanese media. It's just oh, yeah. that fan service mm. in the West looks different. Different, yeah. But like, it's still fan service. Yeah. 
Like, because a lot of people just go, oh, that's just, like, Japanese media. No, it's everywhere, bro. Like, it's everywhere. It smokes. It's just you're desensitized to the American version. Yeah, boy. I was talking to someone, and they were like, the, like, perversion as comedy is more uh common not only in japan but apparently in australia too like they were talking to like someone was like yeah i have a couple friends in australia and they're like we love that master roshi mineta shit over there it's great i'm like you guys are the problem <laughs> you need to your culture's wrong <laughs> you need to change it okay you can get a you get a squid hat from this event i love it it's the only thing I've worn um, since I since I won it. I don't think I they didn't give it to me. There, it's on multiple days. I think you have to win it on the last day. I did. This is the last yeah. day. It's two days, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, By the way, chat. You can tell if I delete a message. Uh, people can retract their own messages in YouTube chat, and it just says "message retracted," which means that they personally deleted their own message. Meanwhile, when I do it, yeah, I think it's two just days deleted or something. Unless shit. it's hidden behind Harvey, which I don't think it would be. No. Somewhere you know. Oh, well, I got a squid hat. You don't have to keep bragging, Amy. <laughs> You're so cool. Yeah, way cool. Thanks! Not that I'm comparing or anything, but... Oh yeah, you only got eight squids. You're supposed to get ten. What? But the yeah. ten, eight was on the board. What the fuck? Alright, whatever. The first day it's eight. The second day it's ten. It was eight twice. I'm looking back at the stream. <laughs> Damn, that's fucked up. Fell class, fell victim to the classic squid hustle. I think like, come on. You know, um, I'll play, I'll play Dishonored. You were right, it was day. ten. I know. Mm -hmm. Why did Aram, can I? Me? Can I just say, Aram, you're like my biggest fan. <laughs> you're telling me that I am your biggest fan. I mean, you you watched a lot of my streams. That I did. Oh, okay, sure. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. I always remembered you would always like, and you'd you'd even if you couldn't catch it live, you'd always watch the bot, and you'd be like, "Ha, hello, hi." I loved how you got closed in the safe and died. That's hilarious. I've never seen that before, and I'm like, "Thank you, Aaron." It was very funny, and I did <laughs> I did very much enjoy the little noise you made when you tried to Spider Man and then fell. <laughs> Spider Man. Oh. Oh, did he make his aristocrat yodel again? <laughs> yeah. Always, dude. I'm, I always be making noises. Eggs. What? I'm glad that people enjoyed the Garden of Ban Ban streams, because god, I hated those. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I feel like Someone... that was more of a pitched up Hank Hill. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I can't do the noise. I'm not Aloha. I'll never be him. Sounds well, like Jello's your biggest Dishonored fan. Too, so the three people who, who love D2 can cheer you on while you finish it. I, I do. I did stream Dishonored 2 on like just like on my channel though. That was before I worked here. I also tend to stream. I want. I want to continue the Assassin's Creed games, but I'm just fucking lazy. Oh yeah, I forgot you were doing that. Yeah, yeah. me and Amy got like, we almost finished Assassin's Creed 2, but I was... Just, uh, oh yeah. yeah, I was supposed to be looking for purples. I forgot that I forgot that you guys were doing that since you ended up doing a shit ton of things and had no free time for like a month. <laughs> a year? If I, like I, uh, yeah, like now I have like, uh, days open, which is nice. But it's like, I, it, it would be stupid of me to be like, I'm tired of streaming every single day, and then just be like, you know what would be a good break from that? Streaming. Hmm. <laughs> me ass move. But it's like not streaming on everyone else's You wouldn't do that for streaming, streaming Jello. That's just you for like every other form of work. Sometimes I am like, damn, I envy Jello's work ethic, and then I no. usually get over that really quickly. 
Wow. People, people always say that about like people like Jello or like Jay, where it's just like, I envy your work ethic, and it's just like, I mean, I like, look. Do you? I'm Jello Apocalypse. Jay's insane. J Jay leaves right. no fucking free time for himself, and then he'll he'll I... do like twelve streams nonstop and be like, oh, well, someone's someone's cat has a cold, so we had to move something onto my birthday, so. I gotta do that now, and it's gonna take uh, 68 solid hours of me doing maps for it. I wouldn't want to disappoint them. It's like self-flagellation. <laughs> I have found the thing in question, which demonstrates how people don't like don't talk like fucking humans in this fucking manga. Mm -hmm. If you would like to hear it, so. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the main character has just finished talking with a different girl, right? And the, the, the main girl of the manga whose whole thing is that she is weightless because a crab spirit stole it from her. Don't worry about it. Um, she, she approaches him and goes, What were you discussing with Hanikawa? Don't move. She sticks a, uh, a blade in his mouth. Oh no. I should have said, you can move, but it would be very risky. Curiosity is such a cockroach, isn't it? Flocking to precisely the secrets that people want untouched. How insufferable you dare get on my nerves. The trifling insect that you are. The right, and then she staples uh, his cheek and goes, the right side was feeling lonely, wasn't it? Oh, I can't believe how careless I was. I try to be twice as careful uh, as the average person when I climb stairs. Who would have imagined there'd be an actual banana peel on the floor right there? They're not kidding when they say a single fart can ruin a hundred days of sermon. What the- I... yeah. What does that- I- so here's the thing- What's that like, mean? Yeah, obviously half of that is just fucking incomprehensible and terrible, but when it's- when it's manga, I never know how much of it is uh, the original text and how much of it is mm -hmm. shitty transliteration, but, especially where idioms or sayings are involved. But it's the official translation, so it oh, all right. Well, all right, fair enough. In that case, I thought maybe this was a scanslation or something. No, 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 no it's, it's the, the manga. manga. I was reading from the real thing. Mm, <laughs> physically, it's, in his hands. And I'll remind you, though, that that was those were high schoolers talking. Like that was a high school. Oh, talk. I he could tell. Talks like that. Yeah. This is Borderlands psycho dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. A single fart can ruin a hundred days of sermon. Oh man, yeah, that is Borderlands <laughs> dialogue. Yeah. The the uh, the thing that is unfortunate as well, right? So you might be wondering, Sav, why did you even try picking it up? Well, one, there was a period of time when I was picking up volume ones of various manga, just because I wanted to, like, just, you know, if, if something looked Feel vaguely something. in... Yeah, like, if something looked vaguely interesting, even if it wasn't, mm. like, super up my alley, I was just like, fuck it, I'll, I'll buy it, I'll try it. Having spent money on it will make me actually engage with it because I'll feel obligated. And like, as a result, I discovered like Kaiju number eight, which I'm genuinely enjoying. And I wouldn't yeah. have done that if I wasn't doing that. Um, the, the fuck of it is mm -hmm. Bakemonogatari. That was one I picked up because I was like, oh, I've consumed a piece of media to do with Bakemonogatari before. And I thought that it had some good qualities to it, even though it was a bit too horny in a too, too horny brackets derogatory. Um, which is, oh, fuck it. They all have pretty fucking confusing names. It's about, yeah. it's, it's like, there's three, there's a series of like three Bakemonogatari movies where the entire, uh, premise of it is watching, like, the main character become a vampire by virtue of finding, uh, Orion Kissshot Heart Underblade. Which I thought was a really oh. fucking. <laughs> yeah, I liked the name because it's over the top. Okay. That's a fucking but, um... name the Death Note author would give to a character <laughs> who's supposed to be American. Aram, I was thinking the other day about how I love the disproportionate ratio to which you and I reference Beyond <laughs> Backyard birthday. Bottoms and yeah, Beyond. Backyard birthday. Bottom slash I always forget about because that one feels like you yes anding and escalating the gag, but it's not. That's just a real That's character. a real one too, yeah. Oh, sorry. But yeah, the no, is... we... 
<laughs> the on birthday always gets me. The 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 full name is longer. Sorry, I got it wrong. It's Kiss Shot oh. Acerola Orion Heart Underblade. This is another. Um, uh, yep, it sure is. I just got another one of these trinkets. Makes you immune to debuffs. That's not bad actually, but it's not a parrot that flies behind me. Um, but yeah, no, to because so those movies again way too horny in a derogatory fashion. Um, also just there's some various there's various shit that's wrong with it but the thing hey, Jello, that really got me yeah do you know when we were going through the openings and then there was uh that one opening about like the cat girl uh and i remember and us gets, going like, through the openings i don't remember that one but um go on it's the one where she gets like groped at the chorus oh yeah now i remember <laughs> okay and the series yeah. Sorry, Savvy. <laughs> no, no, it's cool. Bakemono Gatari has. A, I, I, I have now become aware of the fact that it's just like that all the time. Yeah. Um, but the this because it it drew me in right by by going, hey, Savvy, put the anime puts its arm around my shoulder. I've got a little something for you here. It's a big titty vampire lady who's really fucking crazy, hyper violent, and like very narcissistic and kind of has like dommy mummy vibes mummy vibes and i'm just like okay okay i'm mm -hmm. listening and mm -hmm. then they lean in even closer to my ear and go and here's the best part savvy she reminds you distinctly of the first ever villain that you got to run in a long running D, D campaign almost to the t and i went oh baby and i engaged right oh baby and it's to a, a triple yeah oh baby a triple it's <laughs> It's to a point where there's Savvy, like. I'm missing. <laughs> there's the, but that's the thing, right? I, it's only in one particular scene in the final movie that it really kind of like was. It kind of hit right for me because it was like the. It's the final fight where like it just goes completely off the wall, insane with the gore and the fighting, and she's. Because I actually found out about the movies through, get this, an AMV. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> which was done to the final fight. So the final fight was the first way that I got involved with it. I was just like, oh, I want to see what this character is about. And as I watched the movies, I was just like, okay, eh, eh, this is, there's a lot of shit going on here. Namely, that th that same, like, big titty goth vampire lady um, has a whole thing where she gets depowered and the main character has to help her find, like, get her body parts back so that she can regain her power. But in the meantime, she reverts to child form. Oh no! <laughs> That's why I was wincing. <laughs> yeah, no, that like I, I felt I when you said that, I felt I needed to give the context of I first engaged with that character no, in I her know. final form. Yeah, you and you like so when I watched, <laughs> yeah. I, it was like it was like getting fucking blindsided by a flashbang, dude. I was just like, "Oh God, no! <laughs> what have you made of me?" Yeah, no, but no, um, no, no. So I thought, erroneously, maybe maybe the rest of Pokemon and Guitari isn't like that, but no. unfortunately it is. No. no. Do you think there will ever come a day? when anime will stop having characters where their two forms are big titty dommy mommy and child. Maybe, but I think it's like at least 50 years away. Hmm. <laughs> we'll be dead by then. There's yeah. a whole conversation in one of the Monogatari animes because there's like seven of them and they all have a different name. But there's one conversation, one long extended scene where uh, Araraki, the main character, is talking to her the vampire lady as a child, but they're in the bathtub the whole time. And it's shot like, look how sexy the nine year old looks in the bathtub. <sighs> And this is they're just it's, speaking about gibberish. <laughs> it's so bad. And I've been reminded in chat oh. that the Monogatari series is also where the infamous 
brushing the oh, ghost Oh, that's that, huh? Seen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's where it's from, is Monogatari. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I... Jenny Nicholson has this great video about the history of the My Little Pony fan base, and at one point she takes a little tangent to, um, she... She talks about the history of, like, there's a whole section called, So, is it a weird sex thing? Yes! Um, <laughs> and, and she's right. But she's also like, okay, not entirely. Like, like, yes, but there's nuance to it. And she does at one point go, I hate talking with people about the fact that there are some fans that sexualize, like, the Cutie Mark Crusaders. And the main... The main six ponies are pretty ambiguously aged. Like, if you told me they were in their teens, I'd be like, huh, okay. But, like, they could also be adults. Like, some of them run businesses. So it's like, yeah, they're cartoon horses. It's weird to sexualize them. But, like, they're adults. And it's like, and she has this whole section where it's like, there's this terrible energy where if you have to be the one to confront someone like, hey, man, why are you sexualizing Sweetie Belle? They'll be like, what are you? Like, they'll put on this fake energy of like, what are you talking about? She is just lying on this body pillow because she was sleepy. That's why her eyes are half closed. And it's like, yeah, I can't prove in a court of law that this is weird, but we're not in a court of law. I, we're in social situation and I judge you creepy. <laughs> and Yes. And I'm like, yeah, that really is it. Like, I think that's a big thing is that people who are just pedophiles will like to kind of rules lawyer They like you. to do that. Yeah. Well, that for sure. And then like rules lawyer it where it's like, well, the instant like a character is 18, it's okay. Or, well, she's technically 2000. It's like, my problem isn't the number, man. Like, that's not my, my issue is... That's a baby. That's a, <laughs> yeah. And, and she right. she ends that section by going, and it's like, and like I know, like there's there's no reason to sexualize these baby ponies. And she says something along the the lines of like, everyone knows that Apple Bloom is just underaged Apple Jack. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. No, it's uh, I very much subscribe to the uh, to the idea of if it stinks of i don't give a fuck what the surrounding or uh, like explanation or context of it is if it stinks it's probably rotten and that is very much the case for 1000 year old lollies that's it doesn't a, fucking matter fucking, how old they are that, that pluto panel that's just like you can't be saying that or they might think it's discrimination yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> pluto is pretty good it was pretty good it's pretty good good to read a pretty good thing yeah. Instead of one piece. A pretty bad thing. <laughs> it's so weird. I don't understand. It's so weird <laughs> because, like, with One Piece, I was like, I do like One Piece. And every every time, because, like, I've consumed One Piece, like, two and a half times. And every time I start it, I'm like, yeah, it's drawn so well. Fun cartoon adventure. And then by the end, I'm like, do I hate the back half of this enough to go don't even bother? And I'm like, I think I do. I think I just do. <laughs> yeah, the the if it stinks, throw it out. Like, it's such a good, like, listen, the expiration date is a guideline. It's an art, not a science. Like, sometimes yeah. you can go past it, and sometimes shit expires before the expiration date. Like, I don't care that the number says it okay. Uh, it's okay. There's mold on those berries. I'm not eating them. Mm. It's it's why you get these situations with, like, um, Rebecca from Cyberpunk Edge Runners, right? Where she's pretty explicitly an adult, right? Like... She's is in her the, 20s. Is that the green lady? That's the second time I've yeah. asked this today. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. the bad mouth the, the bad mouth green lady who wears the big coat and has the pigtails. So, so but she's she's pretty explicitly adult an adult, right? And the thing is, people get understandably a bit like hmm does this stink about her because she's got like the big cult coat which makes her look like a kid in some respects she gets like the big hands like cybernetics which again further makes her look like a kid but she's like 
Everything else surrounding her is like she's an adult, except, weirdly enough, that she is the single female character who never gets shown fully nude, which I know is a weird point to make, but hear me out. <laughs> by, by virtue of Rebecca being treated, like, being excluded and treated differently and never depicted that way, it makes you go, like... Oh, like, oh, they knew. Narratively, is this character child coded based on the yeah, language like, of how they sexualize the adults? Exactly. It's it's weird, right? It's no, like, I, I, I get it. I, I understand what you mean. Hmm. And it's a shame because Rebecca is exactly the kind of character that I'm generally into, right? High energy, very like brash, forward, like. Everything surrounding her, I really like, and she is an adult, so I'm like, cool, whatevs. But it sucks that the, you know, fucking Trigger, yeah. whoever wrote it, they decided to be like, hey, we're gonna sexualize everyone in exactly the same way, except the one that we want to be lolly based. Sorry, basically. I stepped on Aram's foot. <laughs> Someone good. else said it. <laughs> it was, it was uh, Chill Shark from Dungeon Machine, weird to sexualize. Nah, dude, that's just Short King, bro. I do think it's so. No, but I do think it's weird that the people who are into the anime, who are so early on, are and are just, like, thirsty. Like, they just want boys to fuck, and, like, they don't know the elves exist yet. And it's like, you can just fuck Senshi, and they're like, but who are the boys? A oh, lighthouse is too main character, I'm not interested. So they're like, I will ship Chilchuck and Senshi, Senshi, sen help. And, uh, I'm like, man canonically and maybe you don't know this yet but senshi sees chilchuk as an actual child he doesn't understand halflings which is very stupid by the way um but he like doesn't get it and he's like that's a baby that's a, like an eight-year-old boy so i hate that ship i think that's gross and i know they're just ignoring that because either they're before that that they're before that gets brought up or they're like going after it at which point he's like oh this is embarrassing i guess chill chuck's a full ass man it's like i think that's weird i think that's weird and i don't like it yeah also chat pointed out apparently trigger themselves used the word lolly for rebecca which i was not aware <laughs> of and i ne and i now fucking hate that gross yeah also I think another man, good finally a reason to dislike trigger i think I think CD Projekt Red was like, hey, could you remove this character? And uh, Trigger was like, no, the lolly stays. And that's pretty much like the conversation they had. Oh my god, fucking hell. The, the, I fucking hate this shit, especially because of another point that was brought up in chat of like, um, like, because of this fucking bullshit with like characters like mm -hmm. Rebecca, like, Sorry, anytime. Yeah, yeah, anytime there's a Joke. fucking petite woman, woman who, by the way, petite women fucking exist in real life, you know, like people are like, oh, is this lolly base? Like, no, she's a petite woman. How have we gotten to this point where we are now like, now there is just an entire body type, dangles, which is apparently dangles Mara oh. Solomon over Aloha like a carrot. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, fuck you say to me? <laughs> Why Aloha specifically? I don't know. You, I don't here, know you, you can have it. You can have a character. Who are you, too, Aram. Who are you talking about? <laughs> what did you say? Nothing. Don't worry. I didn't hear it. you. It's fine. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. uh, did uh, uh make your list? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Someone in the someone in my Patreon was like, "God, I can't wait you guys to uh, I can't wait for you guys to rip uh, Black Clover Ten to shreds." And I was like, "No, that's the good one. That's the best one by a huge margin." Oh, he was talking about Mara. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. Are Look, you uh, are you a fellow Mara liker, Aloha? Have we had this in common character. all the time? Yeah, Mara good. Mara, Mara good. good. I, I appreciate her as a character, but mo I will be honest. Mostly, it's because she's yeah, you know, she's she's an Aram girl. Yeah, she's she right. takes the aesthetic and personality boxes that I like in a character, irrespective of the character's actual quality. One foot tall, blue Aram like Smurfs. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, that Smurf can get it. <laughs> Great so, tweet. So for <laughs> Jello, I hope you realize. So uh, for one of Jello's videos, I had to like record footage of like various like kart racer video games, right? Uh, and, and Smurf 
Smurfs have a uh, kart racer. Yeah, game. they do. I used to and play so, that shit all the time. Well, it's a new. It's a what? new one. There's a what? new Smurf kart. Yeah, there so, is. It, it's on Steam. Look it up. Smurf kart. It's it's based on like the new movie, like movie shit. But Amy, and re so real quick, I I I'm sorry. I just want to point out you just reacted the way that actors react in E3 trailers for video games. <laughs> and so, uh, Incredibly pretty much rude of you to say that to me. Pretty much, there there was a there was a uh, Twitter post by Jello where he was talking about just like official posts and stuff, and it's just like, and someone was like, then I was like, how are you how are you else are you gonna shame me, Jello, if you don't post on this? And he's like, what do you think I mean by official post? Aloha thinks this Smurf can get it, and I grabbed a random photo of a Smurf, which was the farmer Smurf, and posted it. Uh, and so in that footage, Jello, I recorded me playing the Farmer Smurf in that kart racer game for you. Deep cut. It's a deep <laughs> fucking cut. <laughs> and oh I just my want... god. I would. Yeah. I'm glad you pointed that out. I never would have noticed that. I know. I know. This would have been something for me. A little treat. I literally bought like a bunch of kart racing games on Steam, like Garfield Kart, and I recorded like a race, and then I refunded them. <laughs> it it sucks. This I don't know if this is something any of you could relate to, because I I just don't think any of you have been in this situation. Let me tell you how it sucks real bad to have like have a series that's out. That's like, yeah, this is mine, and it's got my OCs. But it is demonstrably the thing you've made with the least number of pandering to yourself character. Like, there's no Jello girls, except, like, Yumta, technically. And she's not technically an epithet. Like, who are we kidding? Um, and be like, well, I guess that's the one that's out. So when people are like... Oh, like, what are your characters that you really like from, like, I can't be like, let me tell you about my OC because I don't want to be that guy. And then I have to pull out, like, a scroll from a different project. And people are like, who do you like in Epithet? I'm like, no one. All the characters are children. <laughs> like, mm. I have nothing. Uh, the video I'm talking about isn't out yet, chat. It's, it's for, for Dokapon one. It's for Jello's Dota Pond video. It's called Dota Pond Jello. Catch the fuck up. Sorry, I had I to did, uh... get myself out of that habit for recording purposes. <laughs> I I did see in chat earlier that people that somebody mentioned apparently there was someone in the Epithet community who was getting upset uh, about people shipping Yumta with Naven <laughs> because Yumta is child coded, which is just insane. What to are you? Me. She's not coded as anything. She's not in the fucking series yet. Also, if we're going by like Yumta as like what we know of Yumta, because obviously she's, she existed in an anime campaign. Um, if people being happy and high energy and silly is child coded bro i need you to get some joy in your life <laughs> i need you to know some people i need who are you not to miserable. be able to hear the bell again <laughs> i dude like i literally i was like so like tired for like the past month and i was like you know what i need i need more whimsy in my life and i i've been doing so much better now that i'm like you know what I need to whimsy max it, bro. I've started Dude, straight uh, whimsy up. Straight right up. now. I've started yeah. explicitly playing again, like just picking up. Like like earlier today, I was picking it up uh, up an umbrella and wandering around and using it as yeah. a sword. Yes, it it's the like small things. It really relaxes your brain, especially when like my job is so like my many jobs are all just like this is also my hobby but like i need to yeah. show something for it it's very nice to be like i am imagining <laughs> mm, just do no, like I, walk uh, around doing little dances like i'm you doing know. it i'm imagining ah! <laughs> i when i'm because i mentioned earlier how i don't really like uh finding videos to watch lately it's been yeah. bothering me uh i instead just elect to put on uh music playlists now of stuff mm -hmm. that i know i like and as a result i've been doing something similar i i dance now i i didn't used to do yeah, that when do i'm in the kitchen gig, i just dance bro. like a dumbass and it's great do air drums air guitar all that shit, dude it'll make your life so much better 
give me Y'all need to whimsy, Max. By, by the yeah. way, chat, I didn't mention it. I'm looking for purple mushrooms, which, uh... Now, I was just advising Amy that, like, oh, you picked the mushroom cave. That's not the right choice. Well, the fucking recent balance, if, if you want these stupid raccoons to be happy... God, purple mushrooms are hard to find. Mm -hmm. Yeah, say doing that, improv but I'm, speeches. Go I'm ahead. still crying from lack of apples. Lack of apple? I have Me no and apples. Applejack. <laughs> <laughs> are you... So I assume you're a rarity guy, but are you at all an Applejack person? Because, like, my... I'm a I'm a Pinkie Pie guy. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that checks out, yeah. And all, yeah. and Applejack Applejack's my second favorite. Okay. You know what? I'm also all for Pinkie Pie. But this was before like the friendship is magic thing came out and as in like I was a little girl that bought the older my little ponies and mm -hmm. Pinkie Pie was my favorite. Yeah, that's crazy. Pinkie Pie is I, I clown coded. Was, You're right. She I, is. Amy, I was so I was grabbing those anime openings for you. And yeah. I just want to. I I I've been thinking about this about you for a while. You are the most older sister person I think I've ever met. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's true. You're, like <laughs> legit. I, I am an older sister. <laughs> I know, but like I I have an older sister, and you're just like the most older sister person I've ever interacted with. Like the anime openings you've sent like all that stuff just like your interests all this other like it, it you're you're just like you you exude older sister and i just want you to know that because i think you would love that that, that fact <laughs> i do it's very nice <laughs> and it's mostly because like you are like the same age as my older sister so it's just like I see things like you like things you say like the My Little Pony stuff and like I wouldn't be surprised if you had like Beanie Babies or whatever the fuck you know it's like I used to have a couple yeah yeah it's like <laughs> not it's, not it's... very many but I did have a couple yeah, yeah. oh yeah Oni uh, maxing chat. shut the fuck up chat <laughs> chat, uh, chat has brought up the fantastic detail that um t technically weird L. Uh, Mary's won. Pinkie Pie, yeah. He won in the Brody community, and everyone was upset because <laughs> cause she ended up with the Weird Al pony, which is so... What was it? There was that guy who was, like, full-on imaginary relationship with Pinkie Pie, if I'm not mistaken. And he, like, made a whole comic about him, like, <laughs> yeah! learning to let go of Pinkie Pie when he found out that she got married God, to I, Weird Al. That's, what else <laughs> is art for? <laughs> I, I wish I could have that level of cope. You know, like... Dude, I mean, if I, you're I gonna I get... solve my issues like that. I can't think of anyone I'd rather be cucked by than Weird Al. Like, how... Al, can yeah, you be mad? Weird you can't Al. be mad You can't yeah, be mad no, at Weird Al. You can't stay mad at Weird Al. No, I wouldn't And be. you can't be mad Al, at Pinkie like... Pie for get, for being Weird Al pilled. <laughs> if you yeah, love Yeah, because you're like... <laughs> look, if I'd like, yeah, man. Yeah, exactly. I'd go with Weird Al. catch. That's crazy talented, very influential, by all guys, by all accounts, very upstanding guy. Have you what? guys seen that lesbian gradient graph where it's all Weird Al? I think, yeah, it's been a while, though. <laughs> yeah. What? There's like, okay, so you know how there's like a lesbian gradient where it's like femme to butch, and there's like butch oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, like yeah. whatever, and usually it, I guess it's supposed to be like a bunch of pictures of boys being women Proceeds, to like yeah. as like expense uh, examples but someone did one and every single picture is weird out and it works <laughs> and it Do works I mean? and like half of the comments on the post is just like man i was looking at this and looking at one picture and thinking why is weird Al here and then i went oh they're all weird <laughs> Fo fox owl in chat no weird owl is child coded <laughs> <laughs> He's happy. Weird Al is much too clever to be child coded. He's you also like chill... 60, isn't he? Yeah, Weird Al's quite old at this point, yeah. Although he's one of those Keanu Reeves types who like, yeah. he, he, his immortal. face looks a certain way and hasn't changed drastically with age. He, 
he does you can see it a little like he, he does have yeah. some wrinkles on his face i don't think he's quite keanu levels of immortal yeah he's 64 he's oh. like he's old enough i found the image let me, here you go oh my god let me tell you when it comes to keanu actually um keanu is currently only still got that rep because he's keeping his beard if you see keanu without his beard these days man looks his age finally they got him you know who actually genuinely looks um, immortal is the guy who writes JoJo. He, I, I'm convinced oh, he's, yeah. I'm convinced he's an alien or something. A vampire? How old now? It would explain his standards of human behavior. Yeah. Good for him, dude. I'm, I'm... the the top right like high school photo of Weird Al looks so much like a lesbian woman. It's a little unreal. This yeah. is someone that, like, Alice and Bechtel would draw <laughs> in a comic. I think a lot of these look pretty, convincing. like, convincingly, like, lesbian women. That's all Weird Al. Yes, all of them are Weird Al. The gender icon, honestly. Mm. Gender <laughs> child Weird Al's great. Stop. <laughs> Crying. You can't keep Stop getting it. away with it. The concept of the concept of somebody who is happy and high energy equaling child coded is fucking insane to me. Get some fucking yeah. joy. Lo be around people who aren't fucking miserable losers. To be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You Yumta does have big Pinkie Pie energy though. I love it's. Why do you think I like her? I know. <laughs> I like that. Our. You know what's so funny is like I'm I'm a noted uh, trigger production hater i don't like a single thing they've ever made and um i saw when kill kill a kill was coming out i saw a picture of no no and i think is her name and yeah I, and i was no. just like oh i love her and then i went no this is a trigger show i'm gonna watch this and i'm not gonna like her anymore so i was like i'm just gonna make the character i imagine you are and that's why uh, Yumta's original design had a marching band hat, uh, a Shaco hat, or whatever they're called. And I was like, this, I, I get to make this. It's fine. Deplore. It's fine. Yumta. Yumta Deplore. Uh, opinions on Dungeon Meshi being done by Trigger, then? I haven't watched the anime yet. I mean, generally, I think... Trigger is at their best when they're doing someone else's story. But it's, when they're yeah, not writing, when... yeah. When they're animating and not touching the fucking script at any point, they're you, great. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say something controversial. This actually this is a cute outfit. Hang on, I'm gonna put this. Uh... Is that the controversial? I thing? can't believe you, John. No, it was I cute. Please, it. it was cute. So I don't like the way Trigger animates either. And uh, this this was a point of contention when Amy and I were looking over openings and we were looking at the uh, Gurren Lagann opening because there's a big shot of the the robot like fusing like like I know by context of the angle the shots are at that it's like arm arm leg leg drill head and I'm like I hate this this is this is the extreme end of cheating by using the way humans perceive unfilled space of like, like if I draw a straight line with a hole in it and then have another layer in Photoshop and draw a mountain in front of it, um, you will just assume that's like the horizon and it continues through there. I don't remember what it's called. It's like a facet of human vision, but it's it's like extrapolation, but that the line's not a full line. You just assume that. And that can happen with animation, too. It's one of the reasons that people are always like, oh, I love the sketch layer, but I can't get the line art right because the sketch has a little bit of leeway, right? And there's multiple lines mm. and it's looser. Yeah. So your brain just goes, I'm, I'm averaging the parts I like. And then when you actually have to make them, it sucks and it's hard. And I think Trigger just goes, let's animate the sketch layer, like, a lot. Like, I would need to pull something up but they are very much just like it's action. You, you know that you know that Tumblr post of a guy going like, "I'm going to do a drawing. It's two men and oh, they're yeah. fighting. They're fighting." And like, <laughs> that's what There's Trigger energy. does. That's how they <laughs> animate. And I think it sucks. And I'm a Jello. 
Jello. I don't think if, there's anything wrong with it. I think not, it's just the style. If oh, thank God, it's still here. I had to check the pins real quick. If not for trigger, <laughs> if not for trigger, we would have had to go without this cell. I'm waiting. I'm, I'm waiting. waiting with baited. Oh, breath. sorry. I put it in. Let me put it in your server. General guest chat. Here we go. There. <laughs> <laughs> This is fine. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Thank you. Cool. I'll allow oh, this. Pro yeah. uh, Like, I also, like, yeah, I also... Is... Go ahead. I will stand by the only thing that is by and written by Trigger that anyone ever needs to see is pro yeah. yeah, it's, it's just a shorter it... version of all their other of things. All their other it's shit. short. It's short, it's sweet, it has okay. all of the trigger trappings, all of the the fucking like the the scale, the 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 curve that it always fucking goes on to the fucking moon. Mm -hmm. It doesn't overstay its welcome, and then it's over. Yeah, because it's wisely <laughs> a movie and not a twenty-six episode anime. Yeah, Trigger loves God. to they haven't done this in a while, but they love to hire the same hack writer they had since day one. He's like, I have one idea, let's do it again. Bro and then he's Dude. got a fetish for ruining act two of everything he's ever written. <laughs> Dude, I'm... I when I when I realized that because because their whole thing is like, and then it goes to space, and then we were watching fucking cyberpunk, and the entire second act, you can fucking feel the CD Projekt Red, like, leash and collar around the rabid dog, which is Trigger, that's just being like, can we, can we just go to space for a bit? Can we just go for a bit, please? <laughs> I love it, God. But, but no, like, I, like, I haven't watched the anime, so I don't know, but it's just like, I don't think Studio Trigger is a good pick for Dungeon I, I don't either at all i would it does seem like it. a weird combination and i haven't read dungeon meshy but like nothing it, in it suggested uh, to me oh trigger would be the right pick for this i it looks f like i've only seen stills in a couple clips the problem is like so i prefer manga over anime because i i'm a speed demon reader and i would rather just yeah. plow through something and enjoy it uh yeah. but like, Dungeon Meshi's art is the best part of it. It looks so goddamn I, good. Yeah, like, it's... I, I would prefer... Like, I, if I had to pick a studio that wasn't, like, MAPPA, because God, stop, MAPPA, please. Um, it would be Studio Bind, uh, which is the studio that does Jobless Reincarnation. I feel like they could do the world that is Dungeon Meshi justice. You know what? Uh, you know what studio I really like is um I think it's Studio Wit. They yeah they do a lot of like heavily stylized studio. I, I like their stuff. They do a lot of like very stylized, interesting, They're... weird shit. And I studio appreciate that. Ah. Studio Wit's good, but the fact that they do like a season of something and then Mappa picks up the rest of it, <laughs> it's kind of like yeah. Like... I like Studio Bones. Yeah, remember when Studio Bones and Madhouse was like the 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 thing where I was just yeah. like. Studio yeah. Studio Bones is good at everything except putting fucking credits on their openings. Hmm. <laughs> Incorrect. Uh, no, they did it really, really well for one show ever, Amy. <laughs> one show ever, and all the other ones. However, <laughs> I, I tend not to remember studios other than like a couple specific ones like Trigger. What are some things Bones has done that I would Full know? Full Metal Alchemist, oh. uh, mm -hmm. they did Mob Psycho, they're Wolf's yeah. Rain, right? Like, yep. uh, Soul, Black. Soul Eater. Soul Eater. They, uh, yeah. they have, like, there's a way they draw young men intense eyes that I'm always like, oh, that's Bones. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking shaft head tilt. Cut type yeah. shit. No, for yeah. me, for me, it's the way they do women. There's like a specific bones woman, woman I that's in almost all of their shows. Yeah, controversial. I love, I love it when women have bones. The bones yep. woman and the clamp boy. Love a love a <laughs> yeah. skeleton. Can they ever find love? Clamp. 
What are they doing? <laughs> I actually... I don't think I even clamp. know any clamp things other than clamp. Code Geass. Yeah, has <laughs> clamp done anything since Code Geass, or have they just been making Dude, Code Geass? Dude, clamp, clamp is, um, Carcaptor Sakura, Subasa, Reservoir Chronicle, fucking... Not, are they Rosen Oh made? my god, you, you would have consumed fucking Reservoir Chronicles. <laughs> I... attempted, and... <laughs> and could not. Yeah. I was like, this this is enough. This is too much. <laughs> yeah. Dude, speaking of fucking shows that absolutely shit the bed during the second act slash season, Code Geass was so good and then they just fucked mm. everything. That's mm. how I remember it uh, from when I watched it, but uh, I will say from the little bit I popped in when people were rewatching it here, I, I came in pretty early and I was like, oh. This is not as good as I remember. Code uh, Geass maybe. is good in the way th uh, Tommy Wiseau's The Room is good. Uh, I would yeah. not say it's nope. good beyond that in any direction. Yeah. Full disclaimer: uh, it's been a lot. It's been a number no. of years since I've watched I, it. However, I do remember liking the first season more. Than I would second. recommend to Getting all drunk. people, <laughs> no, to all people who have seen Kogias when they were a teenager and now they're an adult, watch it again and laugh your fucking ass off at how stupid Ooh. and baby-like Lelouch is and how, like, it's a miracle he got as far as he did. I, I... I couldn't watch it with you guys, mostly because, you know, the editing? Like they have the funniest editing choices. It's, it's unwatchable for me. It's like <laughs> it's so have you ever you know those movies like like that tight this is just the most recent example that's in my head, but like that stupid Titanic movie with the rapping dog that John Tron did a video on and like like Italian animated movies or like anything out of Germany that's like like the Snow White and the Seven Princely Small Men, or whatever, where it's like something you'd find in Walmart, um, but like, and it's like dubbed by a company that had like two people, and the, they're always animated where the dialogue is like normal, normal dialogue talking over you. We didn't balance it, faker. I, I think you're the fake hedgehog around here, and usually that's a European thing. Like, I I don't know why, but line to line and scene to scene shot pacing. Central Europe doesn't know how to do it. Code Geass, they were like, we are taking inspiration from those movies. And it would just jump cut like a millisecond after a line finishes. And it's like, is that how it was in the Japanese? And it is. And it's like unacceptable. I, I, I was love like, it. It was it's getting hilarious. me. It was making me literally dizzy watching it. Mm -hmm. They don't just they don't just do it with dialogue though. They like jump around with like scenes. Like two people will be talking and suddenly you're looking at Jupiter, but it's it's been another half second and we're looking at something else. Uh, it's someone great. In chat, someone in chat was talking about David Productions. And I, I think David Productions are really good. Uh they are yeah. they're really good at adaptations. Like yeah. the stuff they did with JoJo and everything was just so fucking well done. And Uruse Yatsura. I hear that show kind of blows, but like in a way where it's oh. not their fault. The old oh. one or the new one? The new one. Mm. Though, I mean, from the concept is just either, but... the man's, like, the world's shittiest fuckboy ends up attached to the one girl in the universe he doesn't want to fuck. And it's you know, like it's one of the OG, like, harem shows, right? Or am kinda, I, am I, I mean, misremembering it? Maybe. It, it's a bow series. Oh no, hang on. I was I have conflated it in my memory with another show I've never seen, Tenshi Moyo. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but Ursa Yatsura has some good ass openings though, and that's David my my theory is that David Production has like a team that does the amazing JoJo openings. And instead of using them for part six, they use that team on Urusei Yatsura. But they like started <laughs> the JoJo openings, which is why the first shot of the first JoJo opening has these great letters made out of string. And then it cuts to like the rest and it's like, we got Ariel for the rest. <laughs> like the mermaid? <laughs> the mermaid? Oh, I just noticed that I'm dying. The mermaid? Nice, nice joke, Aram. 
Thank you, Aloha. I see you are also my biggest fan. Yeah. I, I I I watch Snake Dot Mo before I go to bed every night. Man, well I haven't should. thought about Snake Dot Move in so long. I randomly mentioned Snake Dot Move no. on Vixen's stream the other night, and I got a new comment on the video that's like, "Had to check this out after heard about it on Vixen's stream. <laughs> Worth the wait." Ugh. Oh, speaking of Aram, you know that one video you linked of the guy doing the the fucking the Dumbo octopus? Yeah. Is this, you know, <laughs> there's now there's now a comp there's now two comments on that video. One, thanks Aram. Two, the creator of the video saying, "Huh?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. He's not Tom. He, he doesn't know. Apparently, there's a whole panel because I I was linked another one that's about the blue-footed booby. He <laughs> he said booby. You would you he he would choose the wacky voice for the blue-footed booby. Only appropriate. The blue-footed booby. Is that my Aram on TikTok? Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I think you're I make a faker. I retract. I, I I'm not allowed to make fun of your piff impression. <laughs> hmm. Oh, chat. Aram is gonna be joining us for the next fully voice thing, which is pizza game next Friday. Who will he voicing? Mr. Aram. I wonder. Is. Whoa! I think I think he's gonna be Aram and Chris, um, and then Chula. Chula is not gonna be playing herself simply because it's always so dangerous to make the main character anyone but the person who's advancing dialogue for Discord-related reasons. So I'm gonna have Chula be inner Cayenne, and I will be I will be Cayenne. The thing I find very funny about Pizza Game is that there is a character called Savvy in the game, and it's not me. It's a different person. Yeah, we can pretend it's you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's gonna be uh, Aram, Vixen, Jello, and then Chula if they are available. Those four. It's not gonna be a full casted thing by the people voicing their characters. No, That's, that. That would like, be hell to schedule, getting, and then also like getting run. Chris would be like nigh impossible. Have you heard from Chris in the past decade? How's he doing? I don't know. Uh, I mean, like he's not like I could probably get him to interact with me if I wanted to. Um, I don't know. We just we just haven't really. How's his death? Yeah, he. No, I, I still have his contact, and occasionally I'll see him. The last time I interacted with him was after Lovey made the... Uh, there was an epithet short for TikTok and YouTube shorts that was a Scott Sice audio, like, one of those Ikea guy angry, like, I'm gonna kill the customer, I hate them. Uh, mm -hmm. And we put Agatha fuck whistle in it. And... <laughs> And I, I sent it to Chris. I tagged Chris and went, look, Agatha Fuck Whistle got adapted. And he was like, amazing. It's what she deserves. Like, I'm sure he's doing fine. I talked about Chris pretty recently because I brought up the fact that... Bionicles. Yeah, the funniest thing he ever... Really anyone I've ever met did, which is someone on Tumblr sent me an anonymous ask out of nowhere, I guess as a joke, that was like... What do I? I was what watching the Bionicle movie, printer? and I came when this scene happened, and I sent it to Chris, and I was like, "Is this valid? You're my Bionicle friend," and he went, "I'll take a look." And the next morning, had released a video called "What to Do About Your Bionicle Gasm," and he was in character as like an apocalypse movie professor, like the kind of guy who takes off his glasses before saying the wham line that zooms into his face. <laughs> Yeah, and wasn't the big twist that the character, they said they, they had their first orgasm to character X dying, and then Chris, like, looked at it and was like, actually, that character doesn't die in the movie they cited. Yeah, he was basically, like, fake fan, but he said it in a very funny roundabout way. Sometimes that's how it be. Give me a fucking purple mushroom, by the way. Purple mushroom. Sorry, only mommy. Only mummies. Ain't that That's where I make the real money online. <laughs> yeah, we were, yeah. Ain't that the guy I play in the second Hero Academia movie? 
<laughs> Timely reference, my friend. Thanks. Everyone loves second My Hero Academia movie. Whoa, you're so cool. You mean the one? You mean the one where they do the same thing in every shonen movie, where they have to reset back to the normal thing, uh, off to the to the normal status quo? No, after this is the one where definitely Bakugo, shaking it up. This is the one where Bakugo also gets all for one for two seconds, which don't think yeah, about that. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. They go, oh, it's definitely passing to Bakugo now. Isn't this so emotional? Never mind. Dude, I. <laughs> Don't worry about Dude, it. Dude, when Naruto pulled out the rainbow Rasengan and then never <laughs> used it in canon, I, just... I, I wild. I do remember watching the the Naruto movie in the Land of Snow with like bated yeah. fucking breath as a little kid. Yeah. I just have in terms of the Naruto movies, I did watch a couple of them when I was a teen. I have like fever dream memories of Naruto what I can only describe as being isekai into just a different fucking anime, basically. <laughs> I It was just so jarring. I can't even remember what the plot was. He, like, got fucking spirited away to some land where they were like, ninjas? What are ninjas? And he was like, you know, the hidden villages. And he was like, don't that's have anything not like Dr. That. Bio. Like, yeah, and then he also, like helps out, and then he morbed all over them. You, you, you know, they're called the hidden villages. They're like they're not very it's this well thing hidden. of like, oh well, it's just like they are though. There's like real world outside of the villages and ninja world and everything like that. It's just like you know they're hidden and you never see the real world. Uh, That's where the refrigerators like, come from, though. I and assume. the thought of and the thought of Naruto being like, yeah, the hidden villages. Don't you know about my hidden villages they would <laughs> that are that, supposed though. to be secret? Yeah. The funniest, before we've completely moved on from My Hero, I want to share the one thing that I like has stuck in my brain with that show more than anything else. I never got that far in it. I watched the first three seasons and every time I've tried, I'm like, oh, maybe I should pick it up again. I, I never, I always start at the beginning and then never make it that far again. Um, but the one thing that has stuck with me is that on uh, the entirely legitimate site where I would watch it, because uh, this was before I had a Crunchyroll subscription, I, they had, they had typoed the name of one of the episodes in the tournament arc, where the one where Todoroki and Bakugo fight, which I guess is the final, and they had just, they had left out a letter, so now the only thing that has stuck in my brain about that series is Todoroki vs. Bakug. <laughs> <laughs> that's, Bakug. So, that's so you. That's just something you'd say on your well, like, own. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, oh, fuck. Music is Bakug. so... Music is so important. Because I, like... But the Book No Hero anime is so fucking carried by You Say Run, the fact that mm -hmm. they just remix it every single fucking season. So, and just over and over and over I, I again. I actually, you know what's funny is that is my, the last time I ever engaged with that franchise, other than being in it, um, I, so I was, um, reading forward for the, so this is basically what we were doing, because I was like, yeah. oh, we want this Gotta to be future-proofed, you know, and, um, yeah. gotta adjust something. That sounds like I'm moving my dick. My my rug is tugged up. I, it, it, no, it doesn't sound like that. Gotta adjust what, what, something what, down what you, there. Sorry. What do you what do you? What do you, you know when you're moving, moving your dick, dick like it's like... walking around like a Pikmin. You gotta keep track of it. So <laughs> <laughs> so um. Yeah, it sounds relatable. All right, all right. Let me be an idiot. <laughs> so... <laughs> I mean, if you want us so bad. <laughs> Um, I was reading through the manga up through yeah. the gentle villain arc was the furthest it got. Yeah. Uh, so this was, this was like six years ago. And yeah. I remember reading it and being like, like really into it. And I liked the anime a good deal. And at the end, two days after I finished reading it, I went, what happens in My Hero Academia? And I went, oh, you know what? This series is really good at riding the wavelength of manga emotionality of yeah man we're at the end of a big arc and i read manga with music in the background um because it's it's yeah. part of it for me i love giving characters themes mm. and yeah i had you say run on and i was like oh this isn't yeah. like it's not bad I, or at least the part I, I don't know about 
like the back two thirds of the series, but I was like, this isn't bad. It's just, it's popcorn. I was like, okay, cool. So this is just, yeah, it's happening the series. And I was like, okay, mm -hmm. I guess I'm never gonna read it again then if that's the case. And I didn't. So, uh, yeah. I mean, from what fine. I've heard, like they stuck the landing. So, uh, the interesting thing about the My Hero Academia manga is I was reading it as it was coming out from the first chapter, and then I started- I watched the anime weekly as it was coming out, and one very interesting thing they did, and they, they, they did for a lot, like a lot of chapters and everything, was I would watch, like, the anime, and let's say it's like the Rescue Cat characters, like, showed up for the first time, right? And then I would read the same chapter that came out that week, and those characters would show up again, suddenly. Mm right and so it was like the manga release and the anime episode release were like connected together through the fact of like stuff that happened in that anime episode in season one like or season two or whatever showed up and became relevant again during those chapters of manga that came out that same week uh which was uh I, it very interesting. I don't think it's needed, but it was just like, uh, yeah. wow, that's that's something. Oh, I don't. I think her name's Ragdoll. Uh, yeah. That that design. I was like, oh, I hope you matter, and she didn't. I was like, but oh. Oh, is she the one with the far away look in her eyes? She's the one that looks like a fucking calico cat clown doll girl, and mm -hmm. and I was like, I love this who are you and then something does happen to her she gets her she's like one oh, of the yeah, first characters who loses her powers but. oh yeah, so the one i'm thinking of yeah she, yeah, yeah yeah she's she's technically plot important because her power gets stolen and that power is like part of one of the most important powers the villain gets that, to track vienna but yeah but she is not relevant in the fact that she which is a shame because i also liked uh unfortunately yeah. from what i'm aware of when i because i kind of I didn't read the rest of My Hero Aka. I just kind of looked up what's been going on with it. Uh, apparently, it's been getting really bad and shitty, and even fans have been, like, getting annoyed because Deku has started to pull powers out of his ass at, yeah, yeah. at the most convenient moments when they are exactly applicable. Yeah, it's Shonen Power Scaling. Yippee! Everybody loves it, bro. No one can no, escape it. No, people hate it. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I, I, I know, I, people love it is very sarcastic. Oh, okay, sorry, that was me yeah, being yeah, yeah. dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my brain being dumb, you know? Yeah, a fucking, uh, it's, it's the crux of which everything goes, where it's just like, the series goes on for 20 million years, and then it just like, but we need to up the stakes and all this other stuff, and through the powers getting stronger and stronger, certain characters get forget forgotten about because they just don't get power level ups either. And so it's very it's funny to me in a way that that's still going on because I've heard it's been years and years now that I've been hearing people describing events in the going on in the manga that I've been like, oh, so that it's in like the finale. Like the sound oh, like they should yeah. be the end of the story I, and then it's just still going somehow. I, I dropped My Hero Academia probably two years ago in what I thought was going to be the final fight. Uh, and no, it's still fucking going. I think the anime has caught up around to where I dropped. Uh, and yeah, I I just couldn't handle it anymore. Hey, kid, like, you found my secret kit. Oh, all right, see ya. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate Hell you is. actually trying to give any commentary over the extremely boring gameplay <laughs> footage I'm streaming right now. I don't... What? You're playing a game? Pretty much. It's hard to farm purple mush. They only appear on yeah. random fucking floors. Yeah. I don't know, you guys just happen to keep talking about things that I'm, like, somewhat knowledgeable about, so I'm just like, yeah, I'll yap for a second. <laughs> Bakug ho Bak should have stayed dead and Bakug. Like that. Bakug. Bak yeah. Todoroki versus Bakug. I don't like the thing is is I I'm I'm G checking your memory because I don't even think they fought each other in the tournament arc. They're the, the final battle. Yeah, it's the they're final. But the Kug and Todoroki do fight. I don't remember. Yeah, that at all. it's, yeah, a, it's, it's a, a no battle. contest fight because Todoroki passes. Oh out. yeah. Oh okay. That, that that's why I don't remember it. Yeah. Yeah no it's uh. Bakug.
It's that's a it's shame. A shame. I liked. I thought their their stakes and power levels were in an okay place uh, yeah, from the was... start of the series. To be honest, yeah, I didn't think I they mean, needed scaling. I, it's not it's much. The anyway. thing of like it. It's good until it isn't. That's all things really with power scaling because it's just like you're sitting there and then you go like, well, I mean, our bad guys have to get scarier and scarier, and so how is our protagonist going to like meet that kind of thing, right? I like. I think. Spoken a hero failed with the fact that Deku got powers in the first place. It's gonna be real. Not, not to be, not to be adult coded, but <laughs> something which, something that the opposite of, is, uh, of lolly coded. I'm gonna yeah, start saying that coded, whenever yeah. I'm bummed out. <laughs> yeah. so I'm feeling very <laughs> adult coded today. It's not great. Not to be adult coded, but one of the most fucking exhausting things or discussion types online is. Could this character beat this character? And then it's a 40 minute video about fucking Goku versus fucking Omni Man or some oh, shit. God. Like, I fucking. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just because I had a lot of them in my feed at one point. There was a point in time where they were just constantly showing up. And every time, it just legitimately put me in a slightly worse mood because I was just like, who fucking cares? Oh, I feel like such an <laughs> adult right now. Yeah. <laughs> It is true, though. There are there are modes of consuming media, and I'm not even just talking about shonen. There's just like there's habits that people have in how they think about media that I think are just fundamentally misguided and responsible for a lot of a lot of poor comprehension among readers and bad habits among writers oh, in catering dude. to them. Bro, I just remember my least favorite videos. It's so when an anime series comes out and stuff, mm -hmm. people make theory videos, right? They make these theory videos of like, is X this? But the answer has already been revealed in the manga. Yep. Hmm. So I think a lot of these videos are people who are manga readers watching the anime Baiting. and going, what if I could just bait anime mm -hmm. watchers into watching this video in making me feel smart for an answer that's already confirmed in the manga? I mean, it's like, <laughs> really, it's just content farming. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. content farming. No, it that's is. why... It, that's why it's annoying. It's just like, Love I, I just see that shit. I see that shit and I'm like, you ain't slick. I know what you're fucking doing. Like, here's, here's the thing as well, right? I saw it was brought up in chat, uh, Death Battle. Like, Death Battle doesn't irk me, though. And the reason is because, like, yeah, Death Battle was just, like, power scaling stuff of who would win, right? But it's actually got effort put into it, and it's, like, a yeah, whole thing. It's, like, it's like a project. It's, and it's, really it's animation. And it's voice, voice acting. Actors. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like the TikTok but, like, wacky guy. I know, right? Crazy. But, you know, I'm, it, genuinely, it's not me being... God, you can you're, you can not believe me if you want, but I'm not being biased because my friends are in it or whatever. But genuinely, like, people put a lot of, of effort into the animations. I watched the Omni-Man versus Homelander one and had a fucking blast. That one was, in, that one was really good. And, like, it's, it's not... Because it's not inherently about power scaling, it's about actually creating something and having a little mm -hmm. bit of spectacle and doing something yeah. with the concept. And Death, like you know Death Battle's okay because they'll all they'll like do a little bit of research and be like, Oh yeah, Goku would lose this fight, and then people send death threats to their staff over yeah. it. No, exactly. They actually it's yeah. it's not just pandering <laughs> crap, they actually give a fuck about what they're yeah, looking it's, into. The fun part about it is the fact that it's research into this stuff to produce an accurate, fun version of what the fight would be. Exactly. It's just like it's the dope shit, man. That's hmm. that's what that's what the shit should be, right? I yeah. I know it probably sounds weird to say, but I always kinda disliked how violent death battle was yeah it is really if that makes sense it is really yeah. new grounds energy oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. sonic versus mario with blood and gun yeah like why? i mean it made sense it made sense for omni man versus homelander because that's what their yeah. home yeah, series are like superman but, yeah. but gory yeah. but yeah 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 but, but not I'm... the rest yeah no i no i'm agreeing with you i'm just saying there, there is what like in the instance of the Homelander well, like, versus Omni Man one, it worked. 
But like even in instances where like yeah, a bit of a bit of blood and shit is still appropriate, it it'll always be elevated to like oh, we we tore them in half vertically and shit, and now but there's blood and I'm, like stomach juices everywhere. And Amy, it's like I need what to for? know who will win, Superman or Goku or Happy Tree Friends. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even kidding. Happy Dream Friends legitimately traumatized me as a kid. I don't fucking know how people thought that shit was funny. I, I never enjoyed most, like, Adult Swim kind of, like, yeah. shit. It, it's like, it, what's fucked up about it is that like, you would be a kid watching Cartoon Network, fall asleep, and wake up to the most traumatizing shit ever. <laughs> it's uh, like... It was Adult Swim. You weren't supposed to be swimming. Uh, you were too happy to be watching Adult Swim. Yeah, you weren't cool. adult coded enough. <laughs> yeah. Um... yeah, I I really respect Adult Swim from like a creator standpoint of like yeah, giving a bunch I... of people a platform to make weird art. Yeah, but like, like I do think that art all sucked. <laughs> so like there was a lot of good things that come out of Adult Swim and, and like a lot of cool music and I think like. I enjoyed, uh, like, how Adult Swim presented itself, like, the commercials, the text, and all that oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, great, Adult Swim had a like, great brand. Yeah, it had a great brand, but it's just, like, a lot of the content on it was just, like, at least, like, make an entirely different channel and not have it, like, be, uh, it, it, it was made for kids to stay up too late and watch, you know, like... That's... Yeah, like, there was a reason they start, like, they, they started with, like, Family Guy or whatever, because that's yeah. the most, like, yeah, I'm 13. I'm old enough to watch Family Guy and talk about it in middle school and be the cool kid. Like, that was, yeah. I don't know about you guys. That was very much a thing when I yeah. was, mm. yeah. When yeah. I was no, little. that you're right. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Griffin, I'm him. Flying Lotus Peter was Griffin. the best thing to come out of Adult Swim. Yeah, Flying Lotus is great. I... Sorry. Stepped on Aram's toe again. <laughs> yeah. <fine. laughs> I stepped on Aram's toe oh. while he was mid Animorphs transformation into a humpback <laughs> whale. Mush? Mushroom? Mushroom? There we go. Which one did Purple. I get? Purple. Purple mushroom. Right. mushroom. What do you need these for? I need five of them to make a dehydrated purple mushroom to give to the raccoons, which will get me closer to the last achievement. Mm. Too many, too much media recently is uh, focused on appealing to edge lords. I feel, I feel like that's just a constant. You're just talking about has been, aren't you? I, before it, I, I was thinking about it in the context, and we were talking about like, oh, you know, it's it's sh the shonen power scaling. It's not good, but it's like you know, it always happens. And people's obsession over who would win in a fight X or Y, which I feel like is related. And those are definitely like. Those are the kinds of, like, uh, I'm annoyed that people consume media this way. Like, there's no canonically wrong way to consume media, but there are ways to consume media that I feel miss a lot of the point of media and encourage bad writing habits. That's one. And the other one that's been on my mind a lot is uh, obsession with continuity, particularly over really long series or series that have multiple in semi-independent contributors because it just irks me so much when there's long discussions and lots of energy given over to like how do you reconcile this thing that was stated by this character in this thing and this thing that happened in other thing that's technically in the same continuity but was written like 40 years later by a different writer Aram, and the amount Star of Wars. you can just tell me it's my Scooby Doo discourse it's, you yeah. don't need to talk <laughs> Star Wars like sci-fi is really bad about this cuz there's yeah. a lot of long sci-fi so Star yeah. Wars Doctor Who like, uh, there's this shit yeah, yeah there's oh. a ton I was thinking about Zelda. Zelda, actually, <laughs> maybe, maybe uh. that's why it came up as well. Because, well, because like I feel like so much energy goes into trying to tie these things together, and I'm like, I don't understand why you people can't be satisfied by the explanation. Hey it was written a long time apart by a different writer, <laughs> writer. And sometimes there are minor discrepancies that get introduced like that. And they're yeah. really not that important to understanding what this piece of media means. And yeah. Yeah. and it, it just, it, it's annoying because then you, you causes writers to 
put like spend I, you know to, to be like this is what the fans want and so you yeah, get whole yeah. like long comic series that are devoted to trying to reconcile so, some stupid continuity thing no one reasonable should care yeah. about yeah. so like i agree like uh star wars for example which was the big thing that i was in used mm -hmm. to like uh it's like when disney took over they completely just made like so much shit just non-canon out of fear of making a mistake and making things in the new movie honestly a making. decision i'm fine with which is like, very funny considering how they decided to staff and handle their major three trilogy movies. yeah right so, have you ever one, explained one why yeah. they chose to make the flagship new trilogy with no plan and with two different writers who clearly had entirely incompatible views of what it should be about. I the mean, themes. oh, easy. So, oh, easy. They wanted one. They wanted money. Two. They was they were far too concerned, and I mean this genuinely, mm -hmm. far too fucking concerned with what the fans were saying about the movie. I just straight uh, up. That's that's the reason. So they, they pivoted I, I would, so hard all the time because of that. Like, I used to be, like, a massive Star Wars fan back mm. before it was Disney. Uh, and I watched the first movie of the new trilogy, and then I didn't watch anything past that. Mm -hmm. uh, which is, like, you know, it is what it is. So it's just, like, I just hear everything that's happening happen to it, and I'm like, damn. It's really... Yeah. I, yeah. It's I, really funny because I... The first... The first one of the new trilogy, I was like, all right, this was very, very by the numbers, but this was clearly like, we want to try and like reintroduce Star Wars. Yeah, a return yeah. to form for a new generation of fans to whom, if they've ever seen Star Wars before, it's been people memeing on the prequels. And so they were yeah. like, you know, let's just make A New Hope again. Let's make OG Star Wars again. Yeah. And, tr and I was like, all right, that's boring, but like, th this is a competently made movie. So yeah. do something interesting with your next movie. Yeah, and they actually like have... kind of did. A lot of people hate the second one of the new ones. I think it's the one that has the most artistic merit. I... It's actually got ideas. Yeah, because Ryan Johnson made it. Yeah. And then no, I agree. It, I, I was actually fairly on board with the second. I movie. think it has significant issues, and in particular, it's got an entire last act that shouldn't be part of the movie. It should have ended literally 25 minutes earlier, and, and I would have respected it a yeah. lot more. But, like, that's the only one that was like, huh, okay, Th these were some interesting things to do with Star Wars. And... I was very disappointed that they... I Before I even saw the last one, I was like, oh... They went back to Joss Whedon. Okay, is he gonna actually pl work with what he was given? And the answer no. is no. He's gonna no. actively undo everything and piss on it. And I was very angry. So, um, again, this is, of all the many video mm. essays I have incubating somewhere, the one, one of the ones I'm like, I'm gonna do this one day. Mm -hmm. is uh one that's current working title is artistic obsolescence um and it's a lot about companies not caring about things to oversimplify it and mm -hmm. disney is a really big offender of this and they they'll do this thing with their big properties so um i don't know if there's any frozen heads <laughs> in the in the chat but like frozen pretty fame frozen one even in a vacuum Pretty famously, tumultuously made movie. Probably had at least seven different scripts and probably went through like 30 things, but they're like, this is the schedule. This is what you gotta do. They wrote a bunch of songs that were for different parts, like different versions of the movie. And you can interview, like you can look up interviews with anybody on it. And they'll be like, yeah, we didn't know it was going to happen. Like, there's a famous one from Frozen 2 where they were like, yeah, mm. we we had this big moment where we were like, managed to, it was going to be a huge explosion of like an ice dam or a frozen waterfall. It was like, this is the most rushing animated water that's ever been on screen in a movie. And they were like, yeah, we spent a ton of assets on that. Didn't know what it was for. Didn't know where it was going to go in the movie. Script wasn't done. And uh, stuff like that. Because what they'll do... Uh, what what happened with Frozen 1 is it, like, started as, like, Elsa being the villain because it was an adaptation mm. of the Ice Queen, which actually was a fairy tale I really liked, Frowns. Um, mm. And and I like Frozen 1. It's not a well-made movie, but I do like it because I think some of the dialogue, especially between Anna and Kristoff, is pretty good. I hate Elsa, though. I think she's a fucking piece of shit. But um, <laughs> the... 
she's an annoying character. Um, so, but like she's you know she's pretty. She's got an iconic outfit. She's got a good song. So like of course like the little the little girls really like her, and she's. I mean, she's kind of villain coded because she was originally supposed to be a villain, but then she's not. And they were like, "Yeah, this movie's kind of a mess. Like, you've got these like there's there's a ton of celebrities who originally had cameos with one line as like the dwarves when the dwarf subplot or what what are they ogres the rock the little rock trolls the, the, the trolls that's what they call them." Um, and it was like, yeah, we all recorded these things. And then I was like so excited to be in the movie. And then I looked and I wasn't in it anymore. Like they just cut my character. And like that happened to a lot of people. And then with Frozen 2, it's like Frozen was a breakout success. It made billions of dollars, like multiple mm -hmm. billions of dollars. And you would think, you would think that with that property, Disney goes, okay, this is now an untouchable cash cow. We're gonna get like our best guys on this. We're gonna make sure it's locked in. But no, they did the same thing they did with Star Wars where they're like, we're gonna put all our money into marketing and it doesn't matter what the art is. Like, we're just gonna keep changing stuff and executives are gonna keep going, no, don't do that. We don't want, we don't want Elsa to be too mean because then people won't buy as many dolls or like we don't want this to happen because this that and the other thing and at the end of the day you can't do that with an animated like it's hard enough to refilm scenes of like a star wars movie it's impossible mm. to make a late game change in the last two months of an animated movie um like like, I think one of the only examples is that Lilo and Stitch originally had a very different chase sequence spaceship ending because they flew through New York and a skyscraper blew up and that movie was scheduled to release like three weeks after 9-11. So they had to go, they were ah. like, change that, change that, we gotta change it! Uh, yes. So, <laughs> makes sense. Understandable, and, yeah. And, uh, like... That makes and that section looks worse than the rest of the movie, and it's like, of course it looks worse because they they were doing that. And with Frozen, they like Frozen Two is like five different boring kids movies stapled together, and it's it's just a terrible time. And all the songs are basically like sequel resurrected versions of songs that were from Frozen One. The only new one is they gave Kristoff a song because they were like, I mean, we didn't give Jonathan Groff a song the first time. That was pretty mean. We should give him a song this time. Mm. And then they did. And like they were like, oops, why was Kristoff yeah. in the movie, <laughs> actually? It isn't Yeah, uh, no, there was there was a super chat earlier which was basically on the exact saying the exact same thing from Toon Gamer saying Disney is just fucking terrified of their fans and they refuse to take risks. It's it's because they, like B uh, mega corporations all they care about is money and there's like uh i'm trying to remember which video essays are which but like the art the artistic obsolescence video the big thing it's talking about uh i, th I think that actually the biggest fuck you this company is uh the pokemon company because um, ah. and i we all know how i feel about that um but mm -hmm. it it's like the one thing i genuinely uh and, and, like, I'm very open about this, and I fucking make fun of her for it all the time on stream. But it's, like, the one thing that I mock Vixen for where I'm, like, my the only thing I don't like about you actively is you could not stand a picket line if anything monster, monster collecty happened. And I was driving, I was driving her home from a surgery and I was like, you, you couldn't do that. And she was like, yes, I could. And I was like, no, tomorrow, if a monster thing came out that was like pro, pro blowing up children in Gaza, like it was actively funding it, you would buy it. And she goes, no, I wouldn't. And then like that day later was like on stream casually like, oh yeah, I really, I'm really feeling like McDonald's and, and Pal World. And I'm like, you mean the thing we're supposed to be boycotting for Israel and the thing we're supposed to be boycotting for AI? And she's like, shut up. And I'm like, people can't do it. They can't do it. They can't not play the Pokemon thing or not watch the live action Lion King. Did you know the live action Lion King made like almost the most money of any animated movie ever? Isn't that the saddest oh, fucking thing you've I ever knew heard? that it was I knew that it was relatively financially successful, yes. Which it was is a, a little depressing. massive it was bill it was a billion dollar movie. It was a massive success. And everyone knew. They knew it sucked, but they went to see it anyway. 
Don't hate watch anything. Uh, don't even pirate it. Don't platform anything. Anyway, I'm not going to To, 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 uh, to quote like, Tumblr, uh, no fucking hate watching. Uh, <laughs> quote Tom uh, Bombadil, my wife is super hot. Here's an eight page song about it. So uh, in Kingdom Hearts 3, uh, the frozen world is so nothing and bad <laughs> because they told them to make the frozen world before the movie was even like really conceptualized. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Kingdom, wait, what? But Frozen came out in like 2013. How could that? I mean, could... Kingdom Hearts 3 was in development for a long time too. I like... guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why did they even order a Frozen World if it wasn't out? They didn't know if it was going to they... succeed. Why? I mean, for the same reason, Chicken Little is a summon in Kingdom Hearts 2, Aram. Because money. It's just, I mean, Disney kind of hedges its bets on shit, which is like, you know, they go, this is this is going to succeed because we're Disney, and then it, it does for the most part. Hang on, hang on, then. hang on. Did Buck Cluck get norted? <laughs> <laughs> no! The Disney uh, Chicken Little was not important <laughs> after, like, Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> My favorite Kingdom Hearts fun fact is that people seeing yellow... Uh, yellow with aqua eyes aqua with yellow eyes and assuming that like people getting taken over by xehanort was gonna be a big thing which is where the norted meme came from and that doesn't happen in the game that's not a thing that happens god no Man. one gets norted they get funny little eyes but yeah I, I, every time I hear about Chicken Little, I am just reminded of one of the funnier things one of my friends said, where someone said, uh, Chicken Little? No, I'm more like the opposite of him. And my friend goes, Cock Lodge? <laughs> I don't think the opposite of a chicken is a Again, cock. Is... <laughs> but I, I respect the gumption, though. Cock Lodge just fucks me up, dude. Yeah, I. What do you reckon is the opposite of a chicken? I. Toad? I don't know. Um, an egg. <laughs> Whoa! A very oh, meta pick. Yeah. So, someone said something else about Kingdom Hearts that made me. Um, I think this is this is really based on what you were saying, Aram, earlier, which is mm -hmm. like people it's like well why like how do we connect these things made by different writers 30 years apart i think there's this collective misconception this is the this is um the crux of a different mostly making fun of five nights at freddy's video uh i also and exactly the garden of ban ban shit that's a, such a good example of it um oh yeah the mascot horror shit yeah yeah mascot horror is because it's it's all coded after five nights at freddy's that did this first yeah. um but Everyone who doesn't make things, everyone who's a consumer, a person who exclusively consumes, there's this big thing right now, especially if you're young, with all these, like, iceberg videos, which stop fucking making those, and, like, oh, secret yeah. facts, and the deep connections, and is Ash dead, like, the fucking X Zelda is the darkest Zelda, that's why I love that fucking video essay, it's such a good satire Yay. and deconstruction go watch that it's still my favorite jacob geller video by and he has good videos um but i think people who don't make things assume better of creatives and they just mm. think like well surely everything they did is a tactical decision and the reason that this seems inconsistent that's not a flaw that's a clue and it's not it's never a clue. There's just, hmm. there's so many, there's so many fires. You have no idea what's going on in a production bay. And like a lot of productions are just, everything's on fire. Which things do you put out? And like, sometimes it's just like, we just added that as a joke or whatever. And like, I like not to call out this person, but I did see, um, for the Neighborhood 3 game, which I was the voice director for, which is adjacent to Mask... It's a survival horror, and it's good. Um, so I, I... Even though it's very clearly mascot core adjacent, I don't want to call it that. Um, I mean, it, it really isn't. It's like its own thing. It just kind of... It's more Resident Evil. It's more Resident Evil. Yeah. Than anything. It's very Resident Evil. So... Um, Someone had found this. There's there was like a very hard to unlock secret note at the end of the game, and that game also comes with like golden eye style unlockable cheats. Like there's mm -hmm. like an a, there's like you know yeah. aim bots and no clip modes that you can unlock within the game, and yeah. notes accessible for like super one hundred percent completing stuff. And someone was like, 
going through, I saw on Tumblr because I was like trying to reblog fan art to promote the game. And someone had found, like they were looking at the note and it signed John. And they're going through all this stuff and they're like, who is John? Who, who is this character? Like, they think it's a purple guy situation. And they're like, so I scoured all the in-game text and here's this. And I found in this background image, Gordon's middle name is Jay. Is Gordon John? And I just, I retweeted it and I like, or not retweeted it. Um, but I, I reblogged it and edited them. And I was like, John is the name of the developer. And they were just like, I feel so stupid. And I'm like, yeah, man, because you're poisoned by this present day need for everything to be secret. And it's not like that fake secrecy and like the Garden of Ben Ben, like what happens next? You decide shit. That's all. It's Demetrius. Oh, great. I got to get something for Demetrius. Um, it's... Don't tell anyone. I put my shorts in the stew again. It's it's all advertising. Like it's, I, I don't want to go into that, but like, I, I hate that shit. I hate the idea that everything is secretly important or good or well-constructed. Sometimes shit, shit's just like, like the first time I ever got Twitter canceled was by the JoJo fandom because I was like, please stop showing me JoJo video essays. The creator has gone on record going, I didn't think about that for like big, like the big thumbnail questions of like, why did this happen? And she's like, cause, cause I forgot is the answer. Like a Rocky forgot is a meme because he does. Yeah. And he he admits it. He's just like, yeah, I just didn't think about it. I was working week to week and I just fucking forgot about it. Um, but like probably the biggest, most obvious one is in part four, uh, at th there's part four has like three acts between it. And it starts and it's like, there is a guy killing people using a stand probably in this small town in Japan. We're looking for him. And they can't find like the mastermind. It's not Kira. There's like an act one villain. It's the electrical theme guy. And um, the protagonist of part two, who is alive in three and four as an old, old man, has a power that allows him to pinpoint people through use of cameras and televisions. So he's got this like, he's pretty much got the perfect find the serial killer stand. And they, uh, they forgot about it. Like they, they bring him in to do that. And he's like, here's where the electric guy is. And they figure it out. And there's a whole arc about the bad guy trying to kill him before he can reveal his location. And then the second act happens. And like, there's another serial killer named Kira. We got to find him. And Joseph is still fucking around in town. But they don't ask him. And there's these big essays where it's like, why Hermit Purple, this power couldn't have found this. And the answer on record in interviews is, oops, I forgot. But people have these big video essays. And I was like, please stop showing me JoJo video essays. They're wrong. They're just wrong. Because like, I understand author is dead is a tool you can use to read a work. But I also think that ignoring obvious flaws without like outside of the work that are affecting the work itself. I think that's a stupid way to consume media, especially when the answer is canonical and obvious and you can Google it and look it up. And people are like, no, cause this is how permit purple works these four times. It's like, yeah, guys, he makes shit up. We know that. <laughs> Did you read part five? It's all making shit up. That's why it's bad. And like, um, mm. It's, it's exhausting. Like, I I find it really... Like, lately I've gotten really into... Like, you saw it, if anyone was in One Piece Book Club, you saw us doing it with Oda. All, like, we had a full psychological profile of Ichiro Oda as a person. And so this is basically One Piece I'm working on. I'm sure people are going to get so angry at because I, I straight up... I hate him as a creator because his foibles and his interests are too evident in the comic and they're bad and they're really gross he really wants to fuck a 16 year old which is like extra bad because his daughter is exactly that age right one of his two daughters the other's 14 and it's like that's disgusting and i hate that and i think he deserves to be called out for it because stop making 
Stop making 16-year-old princess characters. Stop making child-coded characters. Stop making child-coded characters and then putting them in bikinis. <laughs> and then, that's one thing. Don't have a Q&A session where you're Ichiro Oda of the most successful manga of all time. And you go, which letters should I answer today? Hmm, how about repeatedly the ones that are like, is Rebecca the 16-year-old baby wearing any underwear under there? Would it be, what would happen if a stiff breeze blew by? Could I see her child vagina? And Oda's like, oh, I'll never tell. And it's like, I wish you were dead. I wish you were dead. I hate you. The fact that you choose to do this, that really escalates. You, that was, you that was read, stuff. you read the SBS corner. <laughs> you weren't there. You weren't in the just, war. <laughs> it was just so funny because like, we were talking about like Star Wars and then you like pivoted to Jojo and worked your way up to One Piece and like the froth at the corners of your mouth got more you and going? more pronounced you... as you No, I agree though. Could oh, you, I agree, right? fuck that. I agree. I, I, I understand really the escalation is funny, but that like, was, I've shown yeah. shit on stream that has made people yeah. made people go, "Oh my god, is that yeah. real?" From the One Piece Q and A. Have you have you seen the movie Network, Jello? No. <laughs> it's the the one the the famous like I'm mad as hell and I'm not gonna take it anymore. <laughs> Someone dad help me. Losing yelling. his shit on air. <laughs> uh, so I. I feel I feel very passionately about people who have a very huge position of power in an industry and choose to do the worst things with it. I think Ichiro Oda could do so much for every other mangaka by going, I need to take breaks. I'm literally killing myself. Um or like let I'll have my assistants draw a couple characters, but he's like, no. I must draw every living creature. I have to draw anything that moves. I have to draw smoke. If it's waves, I draw that. No one else is allowed to. And he is the guy who makes the most important manga in the world right now. It's the it's like like the tenth longest one. It's the most financially successful. Nobody sold more shit than One Piece except like Doraemon, I think. And if he was like, no, manga guys who run the industry, I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna take a break. The fucking Berserk guy just died. There's never been more eyes on this generation of people creating manga going, mm. no, I'm gonna take breaks. I'm gonna take a break between Chainsaw Man part one and two. What the fuck are you- like, manga, ca manga ca legitimately have a 20 years lower life expectancy. And, it's that bad. And it's fucked up. And like, I know most of them are workaholics because they have to be. And I understand it's like hard for an old dog to learn new tricks. But like, I I hate that this man is like, I, I have so many eyes on me and I know it. And I'm going to do the worst habits out of pride. Mm. And I'm going to sexualize children over and over yep. and over again. And... And One Piece is the most sexist piece of media I've ever read in my life. And it gets worse as it goes on because young girls are like, I really like this manga, but it makes me feel bad. And I don't understand why the women are written this way. And so he makes a character whose gimmick is a joke of anytime someone talks, they go, that's sexual harassment to make fun of them. I fucking hate this guy. I think he sucks. I mean, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> what else is there to say? I just sorry, I I get so mad thinking about this man. No, no, I dude, I I have been there before with things, with creators, with uh, with pieces of work. Um, obviously, the fucking meme one at the moment that we keep talking about is Jujutsu Kaisen, but I have gotten exceptionally upset over things which were which were so fucking close to the mark and just ruin everything but with the same kind of shit of just i am good i have decided that my personal like this this writer has decided that their personal fucking dis, like fetishes and shitty fucking you know, sexual interests are going to be your problem. Yeah. Now. It's... Because, because... Oh. That, that yeah. I will say, you get that, you, you get that from, like, American media. Like, there's the big thing that just came out about, like, people reopening. Yeah. Reopen yeah. that Dan Schneider investigation. I mean, but, like, we all, Quentin we all, Tarantino yeah. feet. 
Yeah, and like you know that, but it'll be like a movie, like the fucking I don't remember who directed it, but like the Scooby Doo live action movie guy has like who a who likes pissing on. No, what? No, okay. I don't... There was there's a lot. Of, there's like Go on. there's like I think I thought there was a thing about like the inclusion of Scrappy pissing on people being oh, like. I'd be surprised. That just. Hmm. That happened Maybe, once. you know, Maybe. I might literally just, it might just be because we talked about JoJo five minutes ago yeah. and I had, I had JoJo piss is on the brain. Going on. I, I, I think what you're thinking of is that James Gunn intentionally character assassinated Scrappy-Doo because he personally hated him. Which is funny as hell and I respect him for that. Uh, even though I'm not a Scrappy <laughs> hater, I just, I think anyway. it's, it's great. But yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. It's just so... I guess I don't read American comics, which I imagine are a medium where that's like a big problem as well, like like superhero comics, but it's I... just very tiring reading manga and going, I get it, man. I think superhero comics, to my understanding, have the, the big issue that they have in common with what you've been describing is that a lot of uh, superheroes are uh, are under adult age, um, are, you know, teenagers. And a lot of them, and yeah, unsurprisingly, disproportionately, the female ones do get extremely sexualized regardless of their age oh, when a lot of them are also in that, you know, 16-ish age range. Wait. Yeah. But uh, I think there's a little bit less of like, oh, here's a really weird, like, uh, I'm not gonna shame anyone for having a fetish, but oh, Here's what's obviously like a sex kink of this particular author that they're gonna put in all their comics. I think is less common compared to manga. Yeah, it's it's very prevalent in manga. Sure. And like, I don't know. It's it's just not hard to not include your kink in non adult oriented work, which is to say, sad work that's adult coded. <laughs> yeah. No. Where like, is your whimsy? But not that kind of whimsy. Calm down. I, you know, I'm I'm someone who is extremely sexually positive and somebody who believes very much in you know we should be able to have media that is you know extremely sexual and that should be out there and porn should be available, but it should just be under. It should just be in the places that it's meant to be. I'm sorry. We, can I interrupt real quick to just say? I think it's hysterical trying to imagine what Abigail must think about your lifestyle when for like a week straight she doesn't see you at all because you leave at 7 a.m. and come back at 1.40 she, in the morning when she's her already asleep. I every morning. And, and, but, but here's the kicker. That that happens and then the next day you're like, all right, I'm going to hit the hay and it's 3 p.m. Yeah, there was a running joke hmm. in the initial run about her divorcing me. <laughs> um, anyway. What were you yeah, saying, Sammy? No. I was saying, I, I am the forefront believer in the fact that adult content should be available to adults just for in places that are only for adults and children should be kept out of them. But it, it's, it, you know, the whole thing of we shouldn't have to fucking get rid of adult spaces because children could stumble upon them when they shouldn't be or when we have tried to but how do out. i sell like, things on the apple store if i can't put as many ads on them because they're not universally child friendly no it's, it's, it's we're not gonna get into puritism thing my, <laughs> my point is i i am a strong believer in that and i'm also somebody who at the same time is like hey Stop fucking injecting your fetish shit into everything you write. It is not... If you want to do your fetish shit, just fucking do it in an adult thing oriented for it, where it's meant to be and advertised as the thing that it's there for. Don't fucking be like, hey guys, come check out my cool series. Piss. You know, <laughs> like... Yeah, like... I mean, Aaron, I hate it when they shoot me with a piss beam. I hate it. Like, Jojo, the Jojo guy for sure has a piss kink, and, uh, you know, the Trails guy has his incest mm -hmm. kink. It's, it's the most comically obvious one I can think of. I really, I really can't think of one that's, like, less hidden. 
Yeah, you're not wrong. Like, let's get those barrels a wigglin. I'm I'm also uh, going to be very clear here, chat. Um, you're allowed to have, a, you're allowed to have fetishes, you know, assuming they're not the ones which are like literally fucking, you know. I'm cool with whatever as long as shit. everyone's a party who can consent and they all do. Which means there you go. That's what I was trying so to say. So as long as you're yeah. not fucking like, animals or babies or corpses or then, whatever, like or, fine, whatever. Yeah. Who cares? Exactly. Yeah. Like it. Did, like it is. The problem is not the kink. It's it putting it in places where people get fucking blindsided by it. Like you know, you know my favorite chapter of My Hero Academia is the one where they introduce um night. The the tickle uh, the tickle uh, one yeah where uh yeah that just they just do that and it never comes up again what the fuck oh somebody's <laughs> coming up uh the uh, <laughs> whoa look, there's Ooh. yeah there's a for those who don't know they introduce I want to say Nightwing that's a different superhero <laughs> yeah that's a Night Eye Night Eye Night Eye uh All Might's old whatever he is and they're like great here's this guy and he's super cool and the first time you see him. He is torturing his secretary on a tickle machine, which is just a thing that like only exists in tickle fetishism. Like it's not even it's yeah. in no other media. And uh, then she never does anything and he never does that to anyone else and never acts that way again. It's like, why and was the, that the there? Wasn't the assistant like a fan made character? He was a fan made like, character. And like to that, I, I gotta wonder like, did the fan ask for that? Like. It's so weird. I was like, was that their request? Did they get the did they put their whole pussy out for the ballsiest commission of all time? <laughs> also, uh there was a purple mush. Oh you oh you got it. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. Thanks, yeah, no. Bobo, take this. Thanks, babe. That was Thanks, babe. That was so out of fucking nowhere. I I, I still I, I I think I distinctly remember that during the final scene with Night Eye. I think once it all wrapped, I like to myself went, "What was it, the tickle thing?" Mm -hmm. Like just, <laughs> just it just tainted his entire fucking presence. Yeah, no, in the dude, show. you don't get it. It's gonna be the last chapter. Deku is gonna need to beat the villain, but the <laughs> only right, way you can beat the power. villain is with the tickle machine. So <laughs> do you? Do you? You don't get it. Ray is gonna confront Kylo Ren. Oh. <laughs> And have, oh. have you ever watched something with a family member who's like a normal person and like <laughs> some, something something happens and you're like, uh oh, I know uh. that some like I'm I can't bring this up because like me being like, oh, that's weird and making a joke about it without me as someone who knows about weird kink spaces. And then I have to explain stuff and like, I don't want to. And you just have mm. to sit there like, I know. I know, and looking into the middle distance, and like reading <laughs> reading that sequence with I I think I opened that page, and it's the last page of the chapter. Like it's a cliffhanger. Like Deku walks in, is like what? And she's like on a t it's like a full spread. <laughs> yeah. So try watching Chainsaw Man with your fam. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Chainsaw Man is not fun for the whole family. <laughs> no, it really fucking isn't. Oh. Aloha, what is this thing you posted here? <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. What? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I yeah. can't tell how many layers of satire I'm looking at here. I don't know what, what you're talking fuck? about. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not touching, I'm not showing that on stream. <laughs> what? The, you, what? I don't know what you're talking about, guys. I'm just dying. So, sorry, what do I do with this doll to unlock the Terraria thing? I think you throw it in the lava or some shit. Like, I don't know. That's like a thing. Oh, okay. Oh, bones. Oh. Wow, it's nice bones. terraria, re terraria reference. Right, you did it, dude. Nice. You. It's it's a reference. There's another part. Don't you? Don't you? Oh. <laughs> oh, so yeah. Fair, fair, funny thing about Chainsaw Man. <laughs> We've, which we discussed, right? Because it, and it does thing. carry on from the puke thing. Because I initially clocked it as, oh no, does the author have a puke fetish thing? And like, because it happens twice was... in... 
it does. And my response was like, no, I think he just thinks it's funny and weird. <laughs> yeah, because it's weird because it happens two times in very rapid succession close to, to each other, which initially made me like go like, oh, what the fuck? And that's what set me off. And then like <laughs> as we talked about it, it was like, no, it doesn't really happen again. Like, like I remember because Jello read it and was like, "I was so me legit mad at you." <laughs> <laughs> Why? What, what? What were you mad about? There is a scene where another character pukes into oh, yeah, yeah, a character's yeah, yeah. mouth and swallows. Yeah, yeah, you better yeah. not be taking yeah, I... swords out of my cat dimension. <laughs> I, and... I literally had to be like, Jello, don't worry, don't worry, it doesn't happen again. <laughs> and I was like, how dare you not give me a content warning about, because I, I hate puke stuff. It's really yucky. I don't um, know you. I don't, I don't know your content warning stuff, man. Uh, all of Chainsaw Man's a content warning at some it point. It is, I know, but like uh, the puke, puke stuff fucks with me. And it was when when we rewatched it with Oz, Yam, and Will, I did. I was covering my eyes and looking away. I don't know how they animated that scene. I was like, I'm not consuming this again. Like, man, I things I now know about you. You don't like puke, and you have a flux filter on your computer. Like, I, I'm learning so much about you, and I'll adapt my life to adjust to this. So anyway, it was, <laughs> it was, it was a very, it's very strange because it happens twice. She won't talk to me. And then like, it just completely never comes up again. And it's one of the weirdest instances of genuinely once Jello like was like, I think he just thinks it's funny. I went back and looked at it and I was just like, yeah, no, like, I don't, I, I yeah. don't know how to tell you, like, I don't know how to explain it. You consume enough media in the weird parts of the internet and you like, you get a sense for it. Like, it's too unapologetic. Like, with kink there's stuff- no, There's no like coyness. There's always some like justification or like this needs to happen because this, and he's just like, lol vomit. I'm like, no, you're, this is just a joke that I don't like. And that's fine, I guess. Um, it's fine, but like- I think the only fetish that the Chainsaw Man author has is like women who treat him like shit. Oh yeah, no, yeah. he definitely is. He, oh, even, he, even, he, even, he, even, he even confirms that, which is like, he talked about like how in school, some girl like pushed him down and then pushed his bike over and he loved it. <laughs> that fucking, the, the Pepe with the spilled school lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, fuck. I, I fucking love every single excerpt I read about the Chainsaw Man author so fucking much. He's, I, it it's is so anthology. rare that like a mangaka or a Japanese creator, I'm like, he's crazy affectionate. Like hmm. that doesn't happen. In, at the beginning of all of his like anthology series books, he writes some stupid story about himself. And it's just like one thing that I, I, I one thing I remember about him is just like how he was like taking oil painting classes and he like, started drawing manga to like uh fund his oil painting like habit because he like didn't have enough money to buy oil paints and he was taking a class with a bunch of old people and he just like looks up at all these old old people oil painting and he goes if i don't become better at them i'm just gonna kill myself <laughs> like <laughs> just, just <laughs> He's that man's like, a lunatic. Like, it's so funny because they the just The story made about him brand. eating the fish. <laughs> I forgot about that! <laughs> Let me fucking pull that up. Let me fucking... I have to read it. He put that... Uh... He has a Twitter account for his fake younger sister. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, he, he has a Twitter where he roleplays his fake little sister. <laughs> and he got banned for impersonating his little sister. And he had to go, guys, one, I don't have a little sister. And two, I'm posting these his concept sketches of Chainsaw Man so you guys believe this is me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my I, god. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, until age 24 or so, I lived with my girlfriend in a 15,000 yen apartment in Yamagata. The people around us were so kind and would give us fruits and vegetables. So while we didn't have much, I think we ate a well-balanced diet. Uh, even though we were poor, we had a pet Japanese rice fish. I found it dead one summer. I went to toss its body into the trash like in Parasite, but my girlfriend said she wanted me to bury it. So I went, so off I went to the park alone. I tried to bury it under this big tree, but the ground was too hard. My hands got all dirty and I had to pretend I, I had no hole to show for my effort. 
Out of options, I figured I would pretend I had buried the fish and left it lying there on top of the ground. As I watched it for a little bit, a little while, ants found found the body and began to carry it away. I'm not sure what overcame me, but in that moment, love for that pet fish welled within me for the first time. I brushed the ants away and then I ate it. <laughs> Next <laughs> Next day, I had an upset stomach, and when my girlfriend suggested it was something I had eaten, I came up with some lie to cover up the fact that I'd eaten our pet fish. I've had people get mad at me many times throughout my life, and when I'm scared of that, the lies just spill out. Most of the time, I get caught in them, but that time I didn't. That brings us to now. The memory of lying to my girlfriend is far stronger than the guilt of eating our pet fish. Please allow me to confess my sin here. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, <laughs> anyway, I feel like reading that specific anecdote will make at least one scene in Chainsaw Man make you go, aha, uh -huh, okay. Uh, <laughs> that, yeah, or, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be real, that story has just made Chainsaw Man a little bit more make of sense. I just yeah. understand where he was coming from a bit more now, yeah. knowing he's that kind of person. One of the <laughs> one of the videos of him online is him trying to levitate. It's just like the 30 that... second video of him just jumping and trying to levitate. Isn't that the only video we the only evidence we have of what he looks like? I think so. This... Like, there's other stories about him that are just equally just so fucking. That stupid, reminds me, but... this was not Fujimoto as far as I know, but there was this guy you know those like weird YouTube channels where some guy will do like one thing every day and film himself and they'll just be like like shopping for groceries week four hundred and twenty eight or whatever. There's this video of this guy who was like, I don't know, he would do like yoga meditation. And he had like 500 videos of himself just sitting in like essentially a blank white room in a lotus pose, meditating. Smiling at the camera. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he wasn't doing that. I think his eyes were closed. Um, and there's two videos of note one where he just full-on pisses himself for no reason he was like yeah i'll upload that and the most notable one is a guy a burglar breaks into his apartment and walks over and this finds him on the floor and he like turns and looks at him and opens his eyes and then goes back to meditating and the burglar runs away <laughs> <laughs> outstanding Oh my god. I am gonna go have something to eat and watch a few things and go to bed. Yeah, right, good night. I've been good talking night. about media and piss and, and you know, Thank why. You. Yeah, yeah, sorry that became a through line. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> See you. All right. Uh, <laughs> someone, one. thanks for the $2 stream chat. There's an image of his editor and it's just his Crocs. Yeah. I. Fujimoto also, uh, one of his editors made like this like yaoi porn manga and he advertised it and was like, go read my editor's work. Oh, that's <laughs> read my... See, okay, yeah. that, thank you for giving me another yeah. example. Um, that's really, really cool of him to do. And one of the yeah. other things that I, this is like a industry-wide problem where like a lot of people who become mangaka start as editors on someone else's thing yeah. and a ton of other people have edited for one piece it's like 25 years old and like mm. it's you can't look up who they are that's just not public information and multiple times in the q a corner in the volumes people will be like who voices the people in the anime i like so much and he'll be like here's their names and it's like from pre-internet days or like early internet days where like you couldn't just Google shit. But it's like, hey man, you already answered this. And then at one point, and we, Bo and I were joking, especially because it was like, Bo looked and it was like, who are the One Piece editors? And like, you can find two of their names because they became published authors themselves. And that's it. And there's one infographic showing they worked with Oda before. And um, we were like, why doesn't he ever credit his people? And specifically, um, there's this one horror themed arc called Thriller Bark. like. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. cartoony. It's horror themed, like it's in a haunted oh, castle, nice. and the backgrounds look amazing. We were like, yeah. "Who is doing this?" And we couldn't figure it out. And someone asked at one point, "They're like, who are your editors?" And he was just like, "Editors do this." And he was like, "Someone asked him point blank, and he didn't give the names." And I'm like, "You could be elevating someone 
their entire career right now and you're choosing not to and like the fact that the industry makes it impossible to figure out like who is doing all this great work and then meanwhile like Fujimoto's over here eating goldfish and going yeah I'm gonna take a break and do some stuff that I want oh check out the person who's working with me stuff it's cool porn you can check that out like legitimately that's very cool of him no straight yeah. up like, uh, <laughs> not to compare it to something that's happened with us, but Jello making the joke and point blank asking me, hey, Savvy, any news to report with the Odile fan art? Like, I legitimately got a lot of followers out of that. Yeah, I was kind of shocked you were even being coy about it. I was like, since when do you care if people know you make porn? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I get... I I guess I get the old instincts back in my brain sometimes, you know, because this is a learn. This is a behavior that I have had to teach myself of just like, this is something I believe and this is something I thus want to be okay with. But I have lived a life in the society we live in, which means that I sometimes still have those instincts. Opinions on manhwa authors, like Korean creators. Uh, I, I read a lot of manhwa as well. It's probably as much as I read manga, right? Uh, if you want one to read, uh, I always recommend Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint. Shit's really good. So one of the problems with, like, manhwa, which is, like, a problem with, like, manga, but, like, I feel like I see it a lot more in manhwa, is that, like, one person has a good idea, and then, like, 3,000 people copy it and produce it. <laughs> like, it, it, like... Solo leveling? Oh, I fucking hate solo leveling though. That that solo leveling art wise looks beautiful, right? Uh, plot wise sucks massive cock, and also the creator of it uh died from overwork. So like, you know, yeah. Like I don't know. It's it's just so real right now. Like we're we're in the find out period of the manga industry where they've been torturing their authors for like forty years, and now they're like openly beloved authors are dying very young and like yeah. you know you got the berserk guy and the fucking um akira toriyama the, akira like, toriyama just died um the hunter hunter the guy hunter is like a, a corpse. Are, 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 <laughs> yeah and, and like he i like i think he's unfortunately he's got his like medical problems even outside of being a manga cub, but like you know that didn't help right like yeah and i don't know it's, it's uh like like, obviously, it's never like, oh, these guys die of overwork, but they die of things that are caused by, like, a sedentary lifestyle of, like, you know, sitting down and working too much, you know? Like, yeah. Maybe yeah, I will never but... die. Oh, yeah, the Yu-Gi-Oh died. Didn't the Yu-Gi-Oh creator die he... trying to save like, someone? Yeah. Like, yeah. That's yeah. so sad, people, but, like... People so... got caught in a riptide or something, and he went to go save them and drowned. Which, like, that sucks, but, like, very, very cool of him. Like... Tragedy, what, what but, like, a... such a cool way to die, frankly. Yeah, no, dude, like, <laughs> I'm not generally one for romanticizing death. I just generally think, like, hey, it's, don't romanticize dying in certain ways because it's not, like, a competition. <laughs> but, like, in that case where it's, like, he was trying to save people's lives and he unfortunately was, he, you know, passed as a, a result of that, that is genuinely an incredible thing to do as a human being like huge props to him yeah did i think the person he went to help did actually survive question mark mm. i hope they did i'm not sure hmm. signs uh yeah. someone says savvy your work is hot as hell oh thank you i have uh i i appre i'm glad people like it i've Ugh, I, I, it's so funny a lot of the time being uh, a porn artist because, like, I think a lot of people think that being a porn artist is just a lot of like, oh yeah, and the tits are like so big, no, like you know, it's, it's, it's you mostly it's just, being no, annoyed. <laughs> it's 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 exactly the same shit that happens with regular art where you're just sitting there going, fuck, I really don't like how this looks. I'm really trying to figure out how yeah. to make this look better. Oh, how do I draw this well? You know? <laughs> there's, so many, there's so many things you can cheat with anatomy by covering it with clothes and with, like, a yeah. lot of not safe work there's stuff you can't really, like... All, if you want to make fun of me for my art style, notice that every character and everything I ever make, Epithet included, even though I'm not the artist on Epithet, 
Uh, every character has something going on around the neck because I hate drawing between the upper torso and the head. I fucking hate drawing necks. So, uh, scarf, big fluffy, big fluffy shirt collar. Like everybody has one or like all the collars I draw are like stupid huge. It's also like, I love those outfits, not ironically, but like, you know. Hmm. No, it's, there's always something. And weirdly at the moment, because I'm actually, one of the things I'm extremely confident in and I very much pride myself in is that I'm very good at anatomy. Haha, ha, yes, jokes, porn. Yeah. But like, well, that's it, partially the reason why. Like, yeah, know. like, people. People always, it's always funny when people learn that I have a biological sciences degree because they're just like, oh, that doesn't fucking, like, that doesn't oh, track. Oh, I think you know but... a lot about biological science. No, <laughs> but straight up, right? Like, I, mm. I have always had an interest in the human body, which is why, and, and I'm not even kidding, my understanding of the human, uh, the way that the human body and organs and, and, and muscles work has allowed me to wrap my head around, um, musculature and how it works underneath the skin and everything in a way that has genuinely improved my art there is always transferable skills um yeah but the 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 thing that i'm struggling with lately funnily enough is learn is unlearning that because good high energy porn oftentimes go. takes good takes liberties with it and bends the rules all right also, that's all books i just need to get the raccoons and i have 100 percent of this game again Fuck, yeah. Hey. Also, uh, in which case, there it's is a sleeping time. Hmm. <laughs> there is a uh, a a super chat I quickly want to address as well, which is just uh, any uh, any tips for refining sketches brackets, especially ink. Uh, here is my biggest tip, my two biggest tips. One, if you want to be doing line art and your line art isn't turning out as good as your sketch, um, the reason is because you are not doing you have got more detail in your sketch and you're not adding the same amount of detail to your lines you should be spending just as much time on your lines as you as you are on your sketch like those little bits of hash it like the hash cross hatching and stuff that you do on various parts while you're sketching or doing like the little like pseudo shading that stuff should be included in your line work as well secondly um if you don't like doing inks don't just refine, just, just, just go yeah, over the sketch, sketch again. That's just what I do. Again. Yeah, <laughs> when I when I learned that, I I fuck. It was like the shackles. Be, it was like fucking Rock Lee, you know, dropping the weights on the ground. I, yeah. Amy will root like, Amy doesn't draw very often, but I'll always be floored by how good Amy is at drawing shit. Because I always forget you can draw, and then I'm like, oh, man, what the fuck? Because I don't draw anything anymore. And uh, one one year, I drew. I was like, this is what I think your like your soul dragon would look like. Like this is your dragon Sona. And she was like, I love it. And it took me like a stupid amount of time to draw, and I didn't finish it because I was just like, I'm tired of drawing scales. And then, like, three hours later, you were like, I drew fan art of your birthday gift. And it was better than mine. It was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm curious to see Amy art. <laughs> no. I've seen Amy draw a headshot of her Final Fantasy character. I think that's, like, it, I think. Did, did I do that? I don't know. I, I could not lie. I, I don't I know. I make do, shit I think, up. I, I think I've seen you draw a headshot of a character that I probably assumed was your fucking Final Fantasy character, but I don't know. Was it a I dragon boy? Because yeah. I played... Okay, I... They... I could be lying, though. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you fucking... I mean, out, man. Siv has... Or, or Oz has um, drawn that character before. You might be thinking of that. I've seen you draw... I swear if, to God I've seen you draw. Amy... It was like in pencil. It if Amy can find, um, oh. yeah. If Amy can find the art of the art I sent you, and then the dragon you sent back, I could show. I mean, straight, I can. But... Like, bleh, look through our DMs. Sorry, I was lying in bed. Oh, sorry. Right. No, it's okay. If, you, yeah, if oh, I had uh... a fursona, what would it be? It would be uh, an annoyed goat with bags under his eyes. 
Um, Damn. Also, chat, if you want more art advice or just generally want to talk about art in general with me, uh, check me out on twitch.tv forward slash eternal underscore savvy. That is pretty much the main thing I do. Um, I haven't streamed in a hot second because I was ill for two weeks and then this week has been pretty busy, but I'm going to be restarting streaming this week. So mm -hmm. if you want some art advice, genuinely come by. I love, I love helping people out. Yeah, I used to draw a lot, but I can't. I, I can't really do it because, like, uh, my wrist is just like twenty ways fucked up from professional gaming stuff. That I have to like. I have to kill today because um, it's the feast of the Winter Star, and I don't know if I don't attend the feast of the Winter Star and I don't give someone a gift, do they get mad at me? Aloha, can you put people's media in the descriptions for easier locating of people if possible? I do that most of the time. But yeah, like, I, I don't know, it's just like, I can't do it for these random streams where we don't know what, what yeah. people are going to pop in or not. Mm -hmm. What is Demetrius like? And sometimes I don't strawberry. know who's going to be in streams, typically. But yeah. How do you get more raccoons? They'll ask you for shit and you give it to them. That's what I'm doing. I have an ice cream. Okay. I'll give him ice cream on this winter's day. So now I have to kill time. I wish I could kill time in another tab while also looking for the art. Amy Amy also sent me a uh, birthday Phoenica once that I honestly had forgotten about because I put it... I was trying to... Classic ADHD move where I was like, I'll put this in a special location and not where I usually put these things. That way I'll remember it extra special and then instead you just forget about it. <laughs> yeah. I, I also the Numo fan art. I also forgot it was um, Phoenica fan art because I had screen capped the cute sheep that Phoenica was standing next to and used that as my icon, and that like <laughs> that like overtook its memory. I was like, I got a sheep. I think the sheep <clears throat> came out better than the Phoenica personally. I, I do agree, but only because that sheep is that's a bomb ass sheep. It's a really cute sheep. I... <laughs> Uh, also for the book club, is it the first seven volumes of the Pokemon Adventure yes, manga? Yes, yeah. that is correct. It's in the title, and also the description, and also in the Patreon post. Yeah, I... Amy and I are doing... I guess I should advertise this. Amy and I have done a year-long project. You can read more about it on the Patreon. Uh, where we have decided... We, we, we watched them all. We did all the anime. We, we found them. The best 100 anime openings. With notes and studies. Uh, and we're gonna talk about it and show it off because eventually it's going to be a video and then eventually I'm gonna, we're going to we want to talk about all of our reasoning and that's going to be like 9 hours of extra content and we wanted to get people to have questions if they were curious about stuff so to facilitate that we're doing a live stream on this Monday uh I don't remember when it starts but it's going to go most of the day I think it's going to be probably like 3 to 7 hours or some shit uh, and I doubt we're gonna finish, honestly. Um, and you can come and watch that. And th that stream will not be archived. We're gonna delete it because it's gonna be a bunch of anime openings. There's yeah, Eternal there's... Savvy. Yeah, um, thank you. Savvy, people, people keep asking. So, and <laughs> thank you, thank you. You can come and watch that. And the reason I was gonna bring that up is because I posted that and then literally edited it and went, oh, I need to po put what time of day it is because it's on April 1st. And I was like, it's at such and such time. And it was either like yeah. probably, probably 3 p.m. Pacific. And uh, immediately there were two comments that were like, and I, I edited it. Bro. And I was like, it's, hey, it's April 1st. It's not a joke. We're actually doing it. That's just the day it worked out. And also it's at this time. Two comments instantly. What time is it? Is it a joke? Because this is I... April 1st. I literally, like, that, that person asked, like, the valid question of, like, can you put, like, things in the description? And, like, yeah, I, I should do better about that. But it's, like, even when I do that, people still ask. You, have, you can put the thing on screen. And yeah. And people will ask. Yeah, people in the like, internet I just can got, read. Sorry, go ahead. So, it's, it's on, so what Jell is talking about is on Patreon, you will find a link that will give you the, the unlisted stream link of the stream that Jell is going to be doing Monday. That's pretty much how we do stream like private Patreon streams is we have an, un an unlisted link on the Patreon that you can click if you're a patron and go to the stream on YouTube. But yeah, people can't can't read even IRL. I mean, like, 
like you asked that question of like what volumes but on everything it's like chapters like one through 90 or whatever and also volumes one through seven and shit like i can put it everywhere in the title description and it's like yeah it is like I, it's it's wild where it's just like people mm. people who want nice. to find information will not seek it out and they'll just <clears throat> ask the question so it, <laughs> like, it's I, it's why i've made such an effort to make my my username in like literally every place yeah. eternal underscore savvy yeah because it's just i can just go i am eternal underscore savvy everywhere if i am if it, if you search that name and i'm not on it it's because i'm not there <laughs> yeah. yeah, I wish I could have that powerful branding, but sadly I'm called Aloha, which it's it's it sucks, dude. It, like it's like I love being called Aloha, and it's like a part of me now. But like, man, is that name not accessible? I I I am named Aloha on Discord, and that's the only place I have just Aloha, and everything else I have to be something else. So, so hmm. um, I what... found the pictures, by the way. Yay! Oh. What Patreon? You just uh, put them in general. I'll pop it open. So, what mm -hmm. Patreon tier are the book club streams? That's uh, at the five dollar tier. The first, the first one's free, uh, or it's not free. One it's one of... every patron. Yeah. Uh. So okay. So yeah. Yeah, I didn't even color it. Um. So. That's yeah. That's okay. Jello's. So this and... is here. It's not up yet. This is mine, and I was like, Amy is earth coded to me. So and also. Her colors are the colors of a caramel frap from Starbucks. Not only because that's the drink you get, but like, and I was like, fuck, dragons are hard to draw. And if I had to turn, if I had to snap my fingers and turn Amy into an animal that I think suits her, I think she'd like a dragon, but my first thought is secretary bird. So I wanted to make like a bird like dragon. So I was trying to do like a secretary bird. And I was like, I don't know, here's this. And it's like rocks. I tried. And you were like, I love it. And then you you gave me your version. Well, you sent this to me on Christmas. So I was at my parents' house and I, I ran down to like my dad's office and got some like paper and just like drew in bed. <laughs> and you drew this it's and I was like, this so, is so sick. nice. <laughs> Aww. That's so nice. I, I, you have a really good control of like your lines Wait, and it, yeah. it's oh, really lovely you. Thank genuinely you. fantastic oh. and like oh man i was that like last year and i was like what the fuck i you draw so good <laughs> was, yeah yeah like oh she ate you up yeah <laughs> It's always, man, I can add you to the list of, of people who are just secretly good at drawing. <laughs> you know? oh. I don't draw nearly as much as I used to, but every now and then I whip out that sketchbook. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I, I love how much Amy hates Robin, but I do feel for her because literally every conversation that she has involving Demetrius is just like, I hate my husband. And then it'll he'll be him being like, I'm an asshole. I'm like, why are you doing this? It's like, oh, husband got me a power saw. I guess he forgot he got that for me two years ago. Again, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I didn't feel bad for her. You didn't have to marry him. <laughs> Damn. Get got, really. Who got? Who is my secret? Willie, I love that dude. What would he <gasps> give me? A Willie. fish. It's a fish. He'll probably give me a a bobber. It's a talking bass. I'm your secret gift giver, dude. I love Willie's a cool dude. I love Willie. I like Willie too. Twenty five beach totems. Yo, if I were not at deep endgame and could access the beach whenever I want, this is a bomb-ass gift. This is, like, one of the yeah. best things you can get. Willie, you, you're you awesome, dude. Willie is kick-ass, straight up. Yeah. Also, this character's pretty rad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the courtesy snort. <laughs> Courtesy snort is my not safe for work account. <laughs> oh, <laughs> for my, my cocaine fetish? I don't even know what that would be. No, that would be that would be someone with a scent fetish, let's mm. be real. <laughs> me drawing my scent fetish. And if you give me money on Patreon, I send you a scratch and sniff of my art. We were talking 
we were talking about Aloha. Aloha. I was like, how much would I have to do to show feet on page? It's like someone joked. No, it's, uh, yeah. Chat joked and they were like, when's the show feet tier? And I was like, don't. He'll do it if you offer enough money. Yeah, you, you, you made the joke that it's at $50. One thing I learned uh, very quickly with uh, offering any kind of like art stuff online, I'm not even talking about like not safe for work stuff in uh, in oh, general, yeah. just if you ever give an option in terms of like being paid to do something, it does not matter how much you overprice it, someone's going to fucking want it if it's there. The oh, answer yeah. is to simply not have it as an option. <laughs> yeah. yeah if you can't a, keep up with the yeah. obligation then don't have it but mm. like... there was a point where i was doing like style matching and like a painterly style but at like a higher rate because i didn't like doing it and i was just like oh i'll just like price oh. it like more than i would you know more than i would reasonably think is you know good for it and people still wanted it from me and I was just like, oh, I don't like doing this. And I just, if, I eventually yeah. realized, oh, I should just, I should just not. Remove it. Yeah. Yeah. Just not, uh, just not an option. People asking how much, how, what's the price Aloha? Uh, I, I got to keep this shit rare. Okay. This, this is vintage and only it's out of print and I have to keep the price going up. So right now my feet are priceless. Though there is one person with feet pics of mine. And that is uh, Mr. Aramnaze, who's no longer here. He's uh, no longer with us. Me and Aram have exchanged feet pics. Uh, Why? <laughs> it's funnier if I just don't answer. It is funnier if you don't answer. It is, you're right. It is funny. <laughs> uh -oh. Eggs. That's a lot of fucking eggs. That's a lot of fucking eggs. Oh, Aloha. I think I just found what you were talking about. It wasn't my character. I drew... James's Final oh, Fantasy yeah, yeah, character, yeah, 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 who yeah, yeah. also okay. plays an Aura. I just yeah, yeah, that's what it. it was. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I wasn't lying. No, well, not really. You were just misinformed. Oh. You were just wrong. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, I. Now you yeah. made me dig out my sketchbook. <laughs> Poggers. No, I I do always forget that Amy's a good artist. I'm like shit. She's better than me at everything. <laughs> I think the thing I'm most aware of Amy being, like, more skilled than me at in our relationship is Amy is way better at video games than I am. <laughs> God, I miss playing Overwatch with you, Amy. I thought you were gonna say you, you guys. Too, I guess. And I, I was gonna go on oh, you too. And then you, wow. I did that. I did that. <laughs> I I do sometimes miss playing Overwatch, but yeah. it's it's a very specific era of Overwatch that I yeah. miss. I had a it was, oh, it was so just fun. Here, have a another little dragon doodle. That, just that was so. That was such a weird crew to play Overwatch with because we'd play it like Glass was a really amazing diva. And then Amy was really, really good. F who did you play, Amy? I played Mercy, Mercy mostly, but I also liked. I would play Diva and Reinhardt. I also liked um, Farah and Reaper. And I was a Diva main. And Aloha. Oh, and I played Anna and like I played most supports. I liked Anna and yeah, yeah, and. And then Aloha would always get thrown in tank jail, as that's how Overwatch worked. And <laughs> I like, I yeah. like, literally, I I had a friend group of people I would play Overwatch daily with, and so I uh, was stuck on main tank because everyone always wanted to play healer or DPS, and not tank, right? And so I played Reinhardt, Winston, Arisa, because those were like the shield tanks at the time, and. To the point where I had thousands and thousands of hours in those three characters, to where on sites I would be listed as like top 500 in all of those characters. Yeah, uh, so and I for, hated it. <laughs> for people who don't know, Aloha was like minor league pro gamer actually, and is really. Yeah. Good. I we started playing Team Fortress Two for a little <laughs> bit, and Aloha went to like. 
like I don't know if I would say you you could play if such a thing existed you could have hopped onto competitive TF2 but you were like let me try heavy and you would just decimate servers and be like I figured it out in like what two days I remember uh what? I remember there was that one guy who was just like, God, your guys' heavy is so good. And I had to ask you how to type in the chat because I didn't know how <laughs> yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, also, but like. Got to scream, you should draw a clown. That is my contribution. Aloha. Aloha's really amazing. Aloha and Piff are like. Like, I, Piff could be professional. At video games, Piff is so good at PvP. He just, he hates it because he doesn't like that I, someone has to. Yeah, lose, I remember, but... I remember playing Paladins with Piff, and that was like the most unfun experience because we literally won all of our matches, and yeah. I we would go on like fifty kill streaks, and I was like, this is not that great sucks. At all. Yeah, <laughs> like I I played the the Gundam Evolution, which was the Gundam Overwatch clone, and I had a I I played that for like fifty hours, and I had a ninety percent win rate, and I was like, this game is awful. I hate it. Like if a game is like too easy, I will just stop playing it because I'm just like, I what's even the point of playing a PvP game if like I have a ninety percent win rate? <laughs> and I I was like, on your team, I was the token guy who was like, I'll go attacking character. I'll be Reaper, and I'm just dying I, off dude, in the corner. I, re I remember you were, uh, I was playing with Rube in like Tiny, right? And we had a slot open and you messaged Rube. This is before I really knew you. You messaged Rube and you were like, hey, can I play with your friends? I, I really want to play right now. And so you joined you and it was like me like and Tiny. You like a six year old. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> <laughs> and so basically what happened is like uh it was me and tiny and we, tiny was like my off tank friend who just played off tank and we were like he, he's my gaming friend who I, we just played games together a shit ton so we have like insane synergy with each other and you you were talking about it and you were just like yeah like playing with you and tiny were wild because it's just like every time i was in danger it was like a soft blanket a warm nice blanket would just cover me and protect me <laughs> yeah and then like because okay i played when i played overwatch I first played yeah. with, um, years and years ago, this was before we were even fucking dating, uh, Jay mm -hmm. was a Mercy main, and Jay was really good at Mercy, and then Amy, like, I, I, it was like playing with a handicap, where I would get so used to being able to be this hyper-aggressive Reaper or Tracer back when yeah. I made Tracer before Gam would bisect me for playing Tracer. Tracers were illegal. illegal. Um... And I, like, I could just be insane. And you guys would be so good at support that we could just, we would sweep. And and then I'd go back to playing normally and I would be awful. And I was like, why am I so bad at video games? Yeah. Listen, I, that's, that was the thing with Overwatch. It was, uh, I yeah. always loved the hyper aggressive yeah. uh, God, DPS. I Especially because my brother was this. My brother mained Reinhardt, and he was yeah. hyper aggressive. And it was I, kind of really yeah, good, I, I really great playing. tank instincts. <laughs> yeah, I loved playing with you because it's just like I could feel that. Because like I remember one time we were on King's Row and you were playing Moira, and you were just I was a Reinhardt just going in, and you were just keeping me fed and alive. And I was like, thank God, I love this so much. <laughs> yeah. But like the thing is, when you're playing with randos, everyone is yeah. just waiting for someone else to make a move first, and it's like, well, come on! And it's so frustrating as like, and then like, as like a yeah. healing main because obviously I can't push. Yeah, so I'm like, fucking move! You're waiting for like your tank to push or like like a yeah. soldier to go forward, and they're all just like sitting there. It's like, what are you waiting for, man? Clock's ticking, and yeah, but like, for so. God, I will say, I don't think I was bad. I do think I was very slightly above the average player quality in Overwatch, but I also do think I was notably like, worse than Aloha, you, Piff, and Amy. You, uh, you did what you needed to do, I would say. So, like, in Overwatch, the average player is worse than what they expect the average to be, because the average player is silver when average in the game is supposed to be gold. Really? Uh, and I think you were at least a gold or platinum player, so like you're above average. Uh... But um, I mood jello. I'm uh, 
I am not a particularly good gamer myself either. I have had very rare occasions where I've gotten very good at a game because I've gotten very obsessed with it. But like, yeah. in general, it's the reason I play support because one, I like helping my friends, but two, like, I don't, I don't have to be good at shooting the things when I'm just the guy who shows yeah. up and goes, "Hey guys, here's a heal, here's some ammo." I <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. I'm better at, I think I'm a, I'm better at Team Fortress 2 than I am at Overwatch cuz I'm good at spy. Mm -hmm. Uh where is my fish? Yeah, sniper? I I I suck at I suck Can at I say... like Yeah, go on. Uh, no, you go first. I was going to talk about TF2. Are you, are you still going to talk about but yeah, uh I, I... Okay. <laughs> Aloha go. go. Executive I decision. Go. I uh in TF2 I suck at any class that isn't uh heavy mostly because like like soldier and like sniper and like a lot of other classes require a lot more like practice to be good at while heavy mostly is just like positioning and then pointing and clicking at the like at people right uh which is just like a transferable skill meanwhile like rocket launcher like jumping is like soldier and all this other stuff is just like foreign to me so it's like you know yeah but yeah I'm going to head out, I think. Bye, Sammy! Okay, good night! It's very late. See you around. It's been a pleasure. Bye! I, Bye! I, got got two gamer. I, I was just going to say, um, you ever seen those posts that are like, oh, the reason why I'm a, su a support main is because I get to control who lives and dies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I just want to say that those posts have always bugged me because I'm yeah. like, that's not... That's not why I play support. Oh, right. I play support wow. because do you know how fucking euphoric it is to just yeah, watch like your HP. that and also just to like watch your DPS slash tank friend like look back at you and be like, I can I can go? And I'm like, yes, go. Yeah. And they get and they kill like three people and they're like, I can do this? And I'm like, you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Because I I would always play with friends who were like me and Tiny would always do our best. But I would say we w would like since we played with our friends like that were really really bad at the game and just like didn't improve at all. We'd lose like eighty percent of our games and it always felt so bad. That once like Overwatch two came out and we started playing and all of our friends like didn't play with us anymore. Me and Tiny were like, what the fuck is this? And it's just like, what is it? Is this what it feels like to win? To be unchained? <laughs> yeah, I did. There were some people, because I there were like two big eras that I played with Overwatch people. And there were definitely like some people we played with where I was like, well, okay, this person is playing. I will not be able to have fun as most of my favorite characters. I'm going to have to move to a support position. Yeah, I think the most upsetting thing is when you had a friend that was like a one trick. Yeah. Especially as like a tank, because yeah. like, uh, like if it was like a, a friend that only played like, oh uh, god, what DPS is like Genji, um, like, like, uh, like something that would force me to basically play Reinhardt every single time, because I couldn't be able to play Winston because they wouldn't be able to dive with me, mm. and so I just play Reinhardt every time I had to play with that friend. I had a friend who only played Brigitte. And mm. so I was basically locked into like Reinhardt or maybe Arisa if I was feeling spicy about it. Uh, it also doesn't help that Overwatch's player base community was like fucking toxic as hell. They were so awful. Oh, they yeah. were so bad. Yeah, I it's just my brain can't like see oh, like a, a see like the team comp of everyone locking in and not try to fit like pick the most like fitting thing. thing for it yeah. yeah because like then we're, if we don't then we're gonna fucking get shit stomped the entire time losing an overwatch right. feels terrible yeah like just losing all evening it's it's no good um yeah i we was well we don't we don't we don't play overwatch anymore but by was yeah, what are you are you kidding when the we fuck played, plays yeah. overwatch we're not idiots <laughs> the um yeah. first time joining alive hello jello and friends yeah i hello. So, for what it's worth, I will also say, the longer Overwatch went on, the more my computer hated it, and the mm. more... And I That's... did, like, not to... 
and like I felt so bad because I felt like being like the no the controller made me lose guy but I did on stream multiple times near the end get footage of uh the game rubber banding my attacks and I was like I can only play Junkrat because I can like I can figure out how to predict player movement within a margin of error as Junkrat with the lag like it wouldn't even look like lag um, and there's this, there's this great footage, it, it's like an old Twitch clip of me just being pissed off and quiet, and I throw out a Junkrat trap in front of a door, and I, it does the full animation, makes the noise, goes on the floor, and I go to turn, and I see it blink out of existence, and I turn and go, deleted my trap, and then I throw it again, and shit like that would happen all the fucking time, and I was just like, uh, I swear it's I not me. Like my i had that problem but with genshin impact where the more i played it the worse my computer got i think mm. yeah um, same yeah oh thank you for joining the patreon John, thank you for joining the patreon yeah but i would play wow. i will play reaper um reaper and junkrat were my dps and then i would play <laughs> i i really liked moira 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 was busted. Moira was way too yeah. good. Moira was very fun. <laughs> yeah, like, it's like certain things, right? I didn't get to play DPS for like 90% of my time playing Overwatch. And when I did, it was just so, it was like, oh, thank God. It's such a breath of fucking fresh air. Uh, and like, uh, one thing that happened is just like, I got DPS and I was just like, Okay, I got a new monitor. I'm gonna play Widowmaker, and Widowmaker is probably the easiest fucking character in the goddamn game, because all you have to do is click heads, and that is just like I, I'm like I'm not good at clicking heads. I'm not good. At clicking I I heads. know, but it's just like in theory, like it out of all the skills, like tank positioning, like you know, understanding that stuff, and like clicking heads, I feel like is an easier skill to learn than like understanding space and how to take space and like all this yeah. other stuff right my, yeah that's true my skill set in games that are pvp like that is kind of unfortunate in that it's i'm really good at things that don't have an obvious numerical reflection of how much i'm yeah. helping so like team fortress 2 like if, if tf2 didn't have spy i don't think i would have ever gotten into it but spy is one of my favorite mechanical character classes in anything ever. I love Spy. I, I'm i really good at, like, macro player movement. I'm really good at, like, seeing someone moving on a part of the map and going, okay, we're in this phase of the game. This is, uh, they, they were with this other class. This is probably where they're going. At what point will one of them split up to go a different way? Who can I corner off by themselves? Got them. They're dead. And going, like, and I'm also really good at being like, okay, we're getting stomped, but if I'm a spy, I can pretend to back cap, which will pull people off of the main front line area we're getting hammered on, and that will give my team enough time to stop getting spawn camped. And like stuff like that, yeah. I was really good at. And so like with Junkrat and Reaper, I was really good at like being off fucking somewhere. And that's what our games always ended up being. Cause we were like three or four players usually. And it would be like, is our other DPS good? And if our other DPS was like a frontliner, then we would have a really good time because you guys would distract people. And then suddenly there'd be like a Quinta kill from me as Reaper on the point and be like, we win. And like, I, I'm very much the type of player who eats shit an entire game and then has play of the game once and does something really, really good one time. <laughs> all the effort Jello puts into playing Spy while the sniper does the same thing from 90 miles away. Spy and sniper don't occupy the same position in TF2, yeah, even a and little like, bit. I don't think a, a sniper has the same sight lines to get rid of like turrets and stuff. No, like, not, uh, not at all. Like I, I'm very yeah. good at killing turrets. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and Aloha would watch me. So also like TF2's player base is also toxic, but in like a we're mostly racist way. They're either like really cool and like <laughs> which which Merc would make the best dad? Who would you kiss? Or they're like the most time to say the N word and the F slur every other line. 
and then be yeah. shit at the game also. <laughs> like, they, the TF2 yeah. player base is bad. Like, they are bad at Team Fortress 2. <laughs> Jello and I would get into, like, a, a capture the flag map. Oh, just, like, the cases and stuff. And we, we, we eventually took that off of rotation. But it was like, we, we, we would cap three times in rapid suggestion. And people were like, why the fuck are you capping the flag? Like, that's not the point. It's like, I'm like, okay. It's like, just, right, go yeah. make a fucking server to fuck around if you want to fuck or around. Or someone would grab the flag and then just do dance parties and stuff so you couldn't, like, really play the game. And I'm like, damn, that's... Damn, this sucks. And, yeah, this or sucks. trans and cracked at the game. Listen, not to generalize, trans people are so good at video games. It's true. Have you have you seen the top Guilty Gear players? <laughs> oh, yeah. God, I need to get into fighting games real bad. I, I like playing them, I just never do it. It's like one of the games that I'm, like, genres that I'm, like, I'm decent at, but it's just, like, I suck at memorizing stuff, like combos and shit, so... My problem with fighting like... games is I, I need immediate feedback for everything I do, and I can't do combos because in my brain... I like I need something on screen being like you okay you put in this input like I would need a mod like uh speedrunners have where you can see the control inputs at the corner of the screen like I would need that it would be like you pressed a I I, I can't do it hello how your some, wrists uh, some do have that actually my my wrists will be fine mostly because uh I ordered a, a hitbox controller that's coming in like next thursday oh, right. to try to do this which is like a leverless controller so it doesn't have the, like the joystick and stuff just so it's like easier on my wrists and shit so well have you ever seen that one video of the potemkin player that just button mashes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that that makes me cry laugh it's so yeah. funny <laughs> oh god i i love i love that shit we we had a a night when Street Fighter 6 came out where like Will, me, Austin, Brennan all played and James was there, all played Street Fighter together and that was like a fun time. It was like none of us were really that great at it. Yep, bananas. I love watching fighting games so much, but I do have anger management issues that make playing them too toxic for me. Yeah, yeah. I also I also have the classic problem of like even gay I'm such a fucking whiner. I'm the whiniest person you've ever met. And like, even if I'm doing a good job at a video game, like the fucking Doka Pun. Well, through. I'm dead. Yeah. I'm dead, guys. That's reflexive. Oh, there's no way I'm surviving. Be nice to me. I'm a chronic pessimist. The, uh, I'm gonna <laughs> lose this Trivial Pursuit game. <laughs> Amy's making fun of me. Dude, I deserve to be made fun of, but Amy's You're getting fucking fun. blasted, bro. I... If I take one damage, because I'm trying to like call out, because in my head I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get killed. People should know I'm about to die. So reflexively, I just go, I'm dead. But I take like one damage, and then like I don't know, the person killing me will drink the stupid juice, and they'll start missing. It's like, I'm fine. I no, guess. I'll left click on your body, and you will kill them, and I'll just look at you. I. I, I used to be very angry at video games, but, like, I had a realization that I was, like, I was playing a game and I was, like, so angry about it. I was, like, 16, 17 at the time. And I was, like, why am I even doing this? Why do I even play a game? And then I just, like, chilled out massively as, like, a person. I only get angry for, like, bits now. <laughs> what? Sorry. Um, Jello out here hitting E, calling for medic. I do constantly because I think it should be easier to see who needs healing. I wish you didn't call out because it makes me feel like I'm like one of those Genjis who's constantly calling I for medic. And it's like, I just want them to be able to see me because in most Overwatch game modes, you fucking can't, which is stupid. I remember in PVE, you could see everyone's health in the top right. And it's like, I would kill for that in the main game. Back in like professional gaming stuff. I I was a shot caller in a MOBA, pretty much. So that's pretty much I would call out what we needed to do and it and that you thought would make us win or something. And uh, the thing that upset me most, it, 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 I guess it's kind of like raid, like uh, shot calling in raids and stuff where it's just like, if the person shot calls it, 
uh, you have to kind of like follow through because if half the people follow through and half the people don't, then it like makes problems worse. And so it was the thing of like uh, doing that. I would call out, and then like half the people would follow and half the people wouldn't, and that would like really piss me off. And I was like, what do I care? <laughs> what do I care anymore? I should just fucking chill out. I don't. I don't the people are too stupid, and that's not like my problem. I get like my yeah. my issue is. A really good example that you can see of this, and you shouldn't watch these streams, but like people, people were being real snippy uh, in the first Doka Punch stream, especially. And a lot of the comments were like, "I don't like that this guy's mad." I'm like, "Then you're on the wrong channel. Leave." But um, <laughs> but like, I was like, "Hey, these things are problems in the game." People were like, "Joe wouldn't be angry if he was winning." I was like, "I would be angry." And then you proceeded to and, win the and, entire yeah because time I was like, "Here angry. are the problems," and then I figured out the gameplay curve, and I was like, "I win. You can't stop me now." So I stopped playing for three hours so you guys could take over Africa for free to even the game out. And I was like, now it's almost a game again. And then Lenti, Lenti <laughs> so was in the lead for a little bit, but like Aloha was fucked the whole time. And I was, it was, I, it was so, so funny. It was, it sucked. I, Go ahead. I, I have, I have a lot of bad luck in video games. Like in the Doka do. Fun stream, it was fucking hilarious. I loved it. it you really have some, retrospect, it's so You have some funny. Brennan Lee Mulligan villain monologues in that. And it's, <laughs> It's really great. I love it. Write your will. Put me in it. Write your will. Put just write your will. Put me in it. You're over, kid. <laughs> the, <laughs> so and I was like, I have escapes. So you guys can't beat me. And Vixen like kept forgetting that and kept like teleporting me. And then I would always go first because uh. Fun fact, the Dokapon game also has a rock, paper, scissors algorithm that is extremely easy to read. Uh, and to the point, I figured it out while gathering footage and went, is it just this? And then I got it a about 85% of the time. And I went, I wonder if it's this. And I looked it up and I was like, wow, your algorithm for RNG should not be simple enough that I can figure it out with my regular brain. Um... But I did, and I kept going first, and at one point I kept escaping, which allows you to never get hit. And Vixen's just like thinking, consternating over what she's gonna do. And Aloha goes, he's just gonna escape. He's just gonna fucking escape. And it goes to me and I escape, and you go, you little worm, you snake in the grass, you worm. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> All right. Uh, I just need to advance. I mean, there's not really a reason to plant more crops, right? Not really. Yeah. Let's just uh, fuck it. Let's just let's just power and let's just go to bed. Uh, I believe I need seven days. Seven whole days. Seven days. I'm just gonna wake up, kiss my wife, and sleep. Damn, that's crazy. Bisexual people. <laughs> Women don't born after this year don't know how to do anything other than farm, mine, eat hot chip, be bisexual, and lie. <laughs> what are you missing for achievements? Jelly needs to. I need to befriend the, the raccoon raccoons. family, and they're time gated. And they're like a it. fucking Genshin quest over here. Yeah. Oh yeah, like fucking we were talking about paladins. I like I like I like pre-alpha tested like paladins. Yeah. I fucking hate that game. I, I hate everything high res even touches. I'm gonna be <laughs> real though. Fucking hate that company so bad. They're one of the only people who still sends me auditions right now, but they they like they got not in trouble, but like people were annoyed at them on Twitter when uh they were like, hey, because they send like auditions out to fucking everybody they're like the barest minimum thing and yeah. they were like yeah we're we've got like an ai thing now that you have to agree to and it's like well in case your character in case the voice actor dies we want to be able to like promote their character or whatever and it's like you're lying because i have voiced like six separate characters in high-res games and i have never been called back for a second session ever yeah. not one fucking time it's a one and done and yeah um no like fucking 
the old CEO, he was such a fucking cunt, dude. Like, he would roll around in tournaments uh, on a Segway in the convention area. God, what a fucking toad. <laughs> Can't you just voice match them? But they can save $400 if they don't have to pay another voice actor. It's actually probably closer to... Probably 250 now. Okay. Anyway. Back to bed for three more days, I think. <laughs> Fuck all the AI stuff. Yeah, I think it's... I think it's on the downswing. It's just a buzzword for lazy companies right now. But I... I do think for commercial, I think commercial acting is fucked. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, actually, almost every single cheap, shitty mobile game ad, they're all AI voices already. You can tell. I mean, I can tell. This game is amazing. I was trying to come up with a fucking bullshit AI thing for a video, a shitty mobile game, but it's gonna be, this game's amazing, beat your wife, and it's like, I can't, you know, that's not impossible, but even that seems a little unlikely for a mobile game ad. God. Don't tell your wife about this game, that, that's what I was thinking, I watched that Brian David Goldberg no. video today, so that was what I was thinking about. He still makes. I haven't watched a Brian David Gilbert video in such a long time. This stuff's pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah I, I, I don't, I, like ever since he stopped doing Unravel, I, I, I his, forget. His stuff's I, more like song based, and he's a really good singer. I just like it's it's not the kind of stuff I watch casually for comedy. Yeah, but it's it's good for sure. I want to like on that like uh, that Dropout show now or whatever the fuck. Yeah, he does he does stuff with Dropout yeah. now. That's that's nice. Oh, I would I would love to get to do dropout stuff. I was watching Dirty Laundry, and again, I was like, God, I want to play this game with some of my friends. Like around the time Brennan got like released from WWE, like Dropout was looking for like, we need professional athletes for something. You know, I was like, I was like, hey, maybe you should check this out because I feel like it would be good exposure for him or whatever. It'd like, be amazing exposure. Yeah, Brennan's funny as fuck, so. He's also like everyone on Dropout beautiful. is very hot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. He is beautiful. He's a beautiful man. Yeah. That guy is so free now. I say as he flies across the world constantly and it's fucking insane. Could not do a job that requires that kind of traveling. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Got three kids, homie. Woof. He now uh, brings a yaoi paddle with him to wrestling events. <laughs> Brennan is himself. <laughs> That's what I will say. I, 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 I told him to do that. I was like, look, dude. I'm the yaoi, yaoi paddle guy. I, I was like, dude, if you bring a yaoi paddle to your wrestling events, it would pop off. It would go so hard. And he started doing it and it went off. <laughs> Fucking, because like, dude, just imagine- Brand managing as many people as Aloha possibly can. <laughs> dude, it's just like, you bring out the yaoi paddle during a wrestling event and smack some guy with it. Uh, hype as shit. The people who don't get it, it it'll be fine because you're still using a weapon. But like the people who do get it, people they'll be like, "Oh, yo, this guy knows what he's fucking doing." <laughs> I love how Brennan just made his brand being very gay. I mean, not <laughs> despite being married with a wife. I think if my math is right. Oh, great. Perfect, we're done. Yeah! These raccoons have Yay! fucked enough. Help us out. Well, all right. Does he just, does this cycle infinitely or just, is this the last one? Dried purple mushrooms. Nah, nah, I got the achievement. I got the achievement. We did it. We did it. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you got all the achievements. I'm looking at your steam right now. Yep. Yay! I re-attained -att perfection. Yeah, all right, cool. Um, I think I'm gonna wrap up the stream, unless 
I did suggest to Amy we do a, a guess the anime opening, which I still kind of want to do on stream, even though it's okay. Are we demonetized already, Aloha? Uh, let me check. Uh, if not, then what we can do is like literally just make a separate stream and this stream. And then That's true. I could do that. Yeah. Oh, it's hardwood. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, let's see where the fuck is. Uh, do you? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna set it to a random anime screenshot. Uh, do you guys, do you have the fucking pictures of the necks? I know you put that as like no, the No, that's one the, tier. Uh, don't do it as that. Ah, oh, okay. You have what to save that one. <laughs> what random anime screenshot should Use it be? that Promare one from earlier. Oh, the Promare. Oh, yeah. Let me grab it. Um, y'all said a lot of things during the anime rants. They don't, they don't care about that. Um, it's, it's copyright. That's a problem. Yeah, it's, if we play the music, then they will get our ass. It might, this stream might get demonetized due to like, on advertisement like things, but at least I can contest that and then they'll go, oops, I guess we're wrong. And then like, re-monetize yeah, those they after Yeah, they just do it bit. automatically. The, but the problem yeah. is like, yeah. Yeah, and so, uh... The problem is, is if we play music, there's no way for us to like re-monetize it. Like even if we play a song that like isn't actually it, right? And we get claimed for that song, uh, by contesting it, if the other guy goes, no, -uh, uh, we have a chance for our entire channel being shut down. So we can't it, really- It like... also causes problems for other streams for some fucking reason, YouTube. Yeah, if we get like massively demonetized for like, uh, adult behavior or like music it starts infecting our other streams that was like the problem we were having when skies was a thing like coming out and that our uh mcn at the time uh could not solve but i happened to fucking fix it uh because i'm the goat and uh i'm better than any company you'll ever work with uh that's true it's true uh uh jello and yam guess anime opening just name it like guessing anime openings or whatever i don't we're not gonna yeah. keep it we're just gonna do it now An then, anime openings if people like interactive uh, streams they can play this anime this stream will probs be deleted here's the new blue grass which animals Winky. love I am drawing a hot clown girl. I'm too busy to play. I'm sorry. Damn, you're so cool. I think... Oh, I should show you guys this uh, horse glitch, if this still works. Yep. Fence impossible yeah. to get through. do 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 dee do 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 Oh! What? How come? How come? I'm on a horse. Oh, wee does wee. he hop the fence? No, it's just a glitch. Yeah. He hops the so, fence. Uh, are, are you just going to abandon the stream like right now and then yeah, hop gonna, over I'm there? Yeah, I'm just going to wrap it up. I, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to. I'm just going to throw it up. Okay. Yeah, I think it, it must have something to do with the uh, proximity to um, the gates. Does it work if it's closed? No, it doesn't. Oh, wait. <laughs> Uh-oh. 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 All right. Well, uh, he she died in the fence. <laughs> Bye, everybody. We're going to move to a new stream so we can delete hey. that one later.